three bathrooms though. Save time. Oh, thank you for the reminder. Reminder to save your game, you guys, if you haven't in a bit. Hello? This is for real life. <laughs> Hi, everybody. It's giving you anxiety you're not even trying yet. Oh, right, seriously? Hi, everybody. Hello? I was up way too late last night playing Zelda. I'm sorry. <laughs> Won't let you in at all because it's a um, call to do laundry. I was avoiding. Dang it. I wanted to. You, dang it. Thank you so much, Peachy. Hi, everybody. This is the real Zeph. This is not fantasy. <laughs> also, we had Madeline with the best bean earlier. Hi, Cassie. Welcome on in. Madeline. Wait, I can't add. Hello. 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 Hold on. Hello. Give me a sec. <clears throat> there we go. Got it. Let me update my thingy. Infant's waiting room is what we are. Thank you so much. Um, thank you. Oh my God, I got them at Torrid. They're pretty awesome. They're big and blocky. So they fit my like face good hi welcome on in i think i got my torrid around like uh i think like black black yeah, black friday mine <clears throat> my update has also been failing you got logged in tell me your secrets let me in let me in let me in, let me in hi ghoul hi madeline oh my god we finished ocarina of time last night you guys <clears throat> i have an ice dirty chai with oat milk and two shots of espresso and nutmeg and cinnamon on top. Multiple times to get in. Oh my God. I'm just like, ah! <laughs> um, I might try to have to like re log in. Like, do I just close it and like reopen it? I'm assuming it's so good. It's like one of my things. Yeah, I know. Like, there's a uh, people are having issues, like known problems with it because everyone's just trying to get in. Molly! Welcome on in. How are you? No game. Yeah, there's a there's a known glitch and stuff. There's so many people trying to do it. 737 hours to update. Oh my god, we love that. <laughs> Talk about fast internet. <laughs> I think they have better internet on Pluto, lady. I'm sorry. <laughs> Melly, thank you so much for the raid. Welcome on in. You tried reopening it. I'm gonna like wait a little bit and I'll try again, but I mine just failed. So hi guys, welcome. I'm sorry I'm late. Like, I was up till 3.30 so, so. in the morning playing Zelda. Hi, welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. Also, um, <clears throat> we're going to turn it on. Everyone can chat mode. I think it's on now. There we go. Looks good to me. Hi, Froggy. Welcome. First ever read. That's awesome. Thank you so much. How was your stream? Looked like you were playing um sims 4 we're waiting for the update <clears throat> sardonic chaotic thank you so much for the 20 months welcome back how you doing ea app really doing well and i know she's like dragging herself through the mud today isn't she yep it's miserable <laughs> hi welcome how are you thank you so much for making our community even brighter welcome on in I was doing the 100 baby challenge, tapped up at four kids today. Oh my God, how, the four? You mean four whole children? We're like, we're pregnant with baby number 50 in ours and I'm gonna do the last stretch of it in like hard mode basically, without social bunny, without the micro home and uh, with infants. We're going big beans. <clears throat> Welcome everybody though. I'm so glad you're here. Are we ready for infants today? So here's the deal. We're going to hang out until I can download it. <laughs> or if like it just won't happen and we'll keep checking it, um, then I might switch to some Zelda in the meantime until then. Um, because I don't know how long it'll be, but hopefully I won't have to wait like several hours for it kind of thing. But we'll wait a little while and just hang out. And if I still can't get it, then we'll try playing something else and like checking it. Age up baby 70 unto a toddler and I'm not touching it for months now. Oh my god, Limey. 
I did. Jasper, yes, it's just the side. I have like my hair pulled back into like a bun because I literally rolled out of bed and like took a shower and got coffee. <clears throat> um, I'm so excited, you guys. Baby 15. Oh my God, really? Do you like what kind of names are you guys picking for your 100 babies? Maybe you should try speed. Don't use the science babies. Wait, oh my God, that would be so funny. So, so. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I was on till 3.30 in the morning. 3.30. For some stupid reason, I decided after we finished uh, Ocarina of Time, because I finished Ocarina of Time last night, for some stupid reason, I decided to be like, let's start Majora's Mask. Even though, like, most of, most of our community members were, like, in bed. So, like, we didn't get that far. So, like, I'll just restart it again to, like, so you guys can see that with us. Um, I don't know why I was thinking. Of, I don't know why. <laughs> yeah, Mozzie, for sure. Everyone's having problems. It's not just you. Don't worry. It's just like there's so many people trying to get it because it's such a sought after update. You can't log in. Aw, it's OK. It's OK. Stay calm, Mozzie. It's not just you. <laughs> if you want to hang out with us and talk about things, you can hang out with us. Welcome. I seriously, Limey, Zelda bug hit me. Be, really, talk about like my special interests, streaming, and then like Zelda. Mm, oh my God, it's babies everywhere. <laughs> Took about 25 minutes, right? What's the plan for the pack? Um, So with the update today, uh, waiting to download it. If it continuously like fails or won't let me download it, we'll play a little Zelda. But for now, we're just hanging out. And like continue to try it in the meantime. But yeah. Yeah, we finished Ocarina of Time last night. I started Majora's Mask, but I'm going to restart it because I realized like most of our community was in bed and I didn't want to do that. <clears throat> Definitely sleep, but sometimes y'all just need to go full blast, right? It was like, I was like 14 hours. It was so crazy. Yes, there's an issue with the update. Uh, everyone is having problems with the update and the, the login and everything. Because if you think about it, it's like, here's the EA app. And then this is the Sims community trying to fit through that hole. All of us can't get in at the same time. <laughs> Their servers are overwhelmed. Yeah, exactly. So here, like, we're all trying to fit through Tiny Tube, And we're all just like, ooh, we can't get in there. Cassie, don't you dare. <laughs> You guys do everything. No, stop it. You guys take everything. <laughs> I'm what? How does your sister still have origin? What deity did she have to sacrifice to? You guys, come on. <laughs> How babies are made. <laughs> I just look over to that hand gesture. What is this? What does this become? Michael, we're all trying to fit through tiny tube and it's not working. So everyone's having problems with the app. Your best friend still has it too. Oh my God. I'd hear others having problems, right? It's not just you. So you guys are good. We can hang out together and wait and stuff. And I'm excited. <clears throat> this is what I return to, right? <laughs> Origin is what we use on Mac, so I'm good. Nice. You're welcome. I hate you so much. You're so mean to me. <laughs> so, so. Welcome to the Bean Garden. Thank you for the follow. By the way, if you're new here, hi. This is the infant's waiting room. I hope you're doing good. Um, I was up till 3.30 in the morning playing Zelda, and now we're here. I know, Sims Lord, I'm so excited. Everyone's, like, buzzing. Sims uh, tweeted five minutes ago that they contacted with Ian to fix the problems. Yep. <clears throat> so it's a known issue. So we can sit here, like, like, we're a Sim with a canceled interaction. That's what we're all feeling like right now. Tiny Hill's awesome. You guys are so mean to me. Why is my, my community bullies me, you guys? You guys bully me. You guys are mean to me. Here's this downloading. Nice. Oh my God, Susel. That's awesome. I kept reloading it until it would. Nice. I'm going to wait a little bit. I tried just a little bit ago. <clears throat> I got to try to log in again, though. I'm also going to update a couple of my bars that I, I didn't do yet because I woke up at 11. Because <laughs> I'm a responsible adult. Um, <laughs> it doesn't feel complete without the new pack, right? That's what I'm saying. I know. That's why I played Zelda for the last few days. My yeah, app is broken. Yeah, mine's broken too. All the simmers in labor, I guess. Right? Oh my god, this is so funny. Nerd, you're bullying me. Oh my god. <clears throat> it's all we bully in love. Yes, we do. In love. 
Oh, that's our love language is bullying each other, but like nicely, but like gently. Consensual bullying. <laughs> Your update is available. How does it feel to be the favorite? <laughs> um, hold on, I'm doing math, I'm being smart. There we go. I had to update on my bars and stuff. Um, bully and love sounds like similar. He's pretty much right, Christy. I have the update. <clears throat> Manifest. You are the Jesus of manifestation. You are just really good at manifesting things, nerd. I don't think I could do that. <laughs> Me and Angel Kid are just sitting here like trying to log in. I'm going to try again. See what happens. Just for a little cheeky moment. Hello. Hi, B Princess. Welcome. Hi, Blair. Welcome. Good to see you. We finished Ocarina of Time last night. I was up till 3.30 in the morning. Yes. Ella, everyone's having issues. Everyone's trying to log in at the same time. Um, yeah, here's my thing. Uh, yes, Polar. Everyone is trying to download it, but the, the app is having problems. EA knows about it. We can hang out with us for a while. This makes me want to turn on my PC just because, right? <clears throat> I feel that monster. I'm all about nothing's happening, right? <laughs> no one, the lights are on, but no one's home. Hi, Kemma. Good to see you. So far, I just want my babies, right? I know, I know. But at least we have each other to like keep each other company. Seriously, I was like, I have to be Ganondorf. It was so like Ocarina of Time. Oh my God, you guys, for those of you guys who so, don't know so the, the storyline in Majora's Mask, I started a little bit last night. I'm going to restart it because I realized I started in the middle of the night and like everyone was asleep and I don't want that for you guys. So I'm just going to restart the whole thing at some point when we play Majora's Mask next, um, whenever that's going to be. But like the lead in for the story is so dark and interesting and like, oh, my God, you're going to poop. It's so good. I'm addicted. It's ridiculous. We are. Oh, my God, Blair. I don't know how <laughs> the math be math and I have to uh, go to an appointment. Be princess. That's so rude that you have an appointment today. I think you should stay and log into the app, though. It let you log in. Yes. I'm excited for you. I spoke up in EA. Also, thank you for the follow, by the way. I really appreciate that. Seriously, Mars. Oh, my God. I haven't played it. I got through, like, the first little, without any spoilers, because, like, we have community members that haven't seen it before. <coughs> and I haven't. But, like, I got through the first little bit, if you know what I mean. Um, And then... Uh, that's about it, honestly. But that's all I know. I knew Ocarina of Time, like, a lot. But yeah, Majora's Mask is very new to me. And it's so dark. EA is messing with me. It didn't immediately deny the login, so I didn't get excited. Then I got the error. Be like, oh, oh. <laughs> Logged in, but it says I have no games, right? We are patient people, though. We got this. We can do this. We are strong. Hi, I did not. I'm wearing it back in a bun on the back of my head. I'm going to wear like a little mascara and put my hair up and stuff while we're waiting because like I can't log into the EA thing. But I'm so excited to so, be so. here hanging out with all my friends today. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. By the way, if y'all are here, um, I'm a full time content creator and I am addicted to The Sims. So welcome. Um, I hope you are enjoying yourself. This is the official infants waiting room. I hope you'll drop a follow. Um, I really let me in. It's not letting me log in. I'm just going to sit here for a while. No library, but in. You're in the house. The lights are on, but there's no one home. She's lying. I'm addicted to Zelda. That's fair. That's fair. So, so. I am. But I'm also addicted to The Sims. Thank you for the follow. Welcome. Mm. By the way, ads are about to play. If I'm playing a game, I pause them, but we're not playing a game. So we're just going to chit chat. So thank you for hanging out through ads, you guys. They really do support me. I really appreciate that. Um, <clears throat> But thank you. Yep, it'll, yep, in good time, we'll get in. In good time. Um, EA, <clears throat> the EA app is kind of working, but the Sims team is in contact with EA to get things resolved, but there's a known problem. Control R to go offline. Unrefresh offline and back online. Oh, that's actually nice, Castorina. It's mean. It's so mean. If you can get in the EA app and you don't see anything, you can refresh the app in the menu in the upper left-hand corner. That's what I was doing. I was an idiot and logged myself out then because I thought I had to log back. Oh my God, it's fine. 
<clears throat> I locked myself out of the house <laughs> essentially right now. Dang it. I locked myself out. They should have uh, Simmer's panic attacks like this, right? It'll be okay. Um, just keep logging in. I'll wait for a while because like everyone's trying to do that, if that makes sense. I wish they had like a queue. That would be honestly genius if they had a queue. I'm going to do a little bit of mascara or something. <clears throat> but your library is empty. Yeah, everything is glitching out. Um, hardest Sims challenge you've ever done. Um, probably decades challenge, honestly, because it's really difficult because there's not really like any goals per se. It's just you doing what you're doing. That's what was the hardest for me. Um, like the waiting queue for the right for the Taylor Swift tickets. Oh my God, that's so crazy. Swifties went feral for those tickets. Twitter's flooded with people can't get in, right? Reset your game and just told me to have an update required. Yeah, um, there's a there's issues with everyone like logging in right now. So everyone's trying to log in, so we can't. <clears throat> the Swifty PTSD, I bet. That's so crazy. Hi, Tropical. Unpack my sister's got tickets to the concert. What? I think a couple of our moderators did too. I think. <clears throat> it's the biggest update in Sims history. It is. <clears throat> I could log in. Oh my God, could you really? What? <clears throat> Hi, Martin. How are you? Ceiling Taylor in May. Oh my God. That's really exciting, though. I'm so jealous. I'm not a Swifty, but like I understand the hype. Yeah, I can't log in yet. I'll keep waiting and trying. <clears throat> I'm like the ASMR hilarious. Really? Oh my God. My EA app is now empty. No games. Aw, that sucks. They'll be back. They'll be back. April 28th. Ooh, oh my God, that's coming so fast, Star Dreamer. I hope that everything goes well at those shows, you know, because I know how scary that is without like how sought after these were. <clears throat> uh, building a new house or just adding proper rooms? Uh, oh, uh, when I do, I'm not doing 100 baby challenge today. Maybe, maybe, I don't know. Um, I know we're going to check out the infant stuff and like all the new build by things that's coming out. But I think that, <clears throat> um, we might play some whimsy legacy stuff. It randomly kicked you out again. No. Oh my God. I just got logged in. Nice. <clears throat> It randomly kicked you out. Uh, but yeah, I'll build like an entirely new house, I think, is what we're going to end up doing. Maybe maybe we should do that today. I don't know yet. Uh, the Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge is the new Legacy Challenge we're doing, and all of it's like very heavy story based. I have not got the update yet. I can't log in. <clears throat> I was one of the people that got booted and like I've been waiting on it. <clears throat> I have not gotten the update today. Be right back one moment, please. I am so excited. <clears throat> Seven infant challenge. What? Oh my God. That's so ridiculous. Had a fur. Um, I was on break. Or I, I walked away for a second. I expect it to freeze at times because mine did that before I got kicked out of the game earlier. What? Oh my God. The library is empty. Click on the three dots and go offline for about 10 seconds. You can go online again. The game should be there. Nice. Nice. No, good to know. 
seven infant challenge. I know I do not manifest any of this. James Trimmer doing it looks so scary. I don't even know. They all like move and they're probably so needy. I hope that it's good. <clears throat> yeah, try not to spoil things for anyone who hasn't been in yet who might want to experience it. So please be mindful of that as you guys. I love the excitement though. Update complete. Yay! Look at you. Be mindful of spoilers. Um, the game updates, I want to play with seven intense infants. Oh my God. Cause like, yeah, cause they have different, um, <clears throat> I took out all my saves today, just in case like I copy them. Um, The new stuff is so cute. I know I'm so excited to see it. I can't wait to see it all for the first time. I haven't been consuming any content, like early uh, access content. Yes, you should absolutely like make a copy of all of your saves before you do anything. Uh, may, uh, remove all of your mods because this is like one of the biggest updates in Sims history. So like there's a lot going to break. How do you save your saves? You go into your folder like where you save like your CC and then you take the save folder and then you copy and then paste it to your or cut and paste to like your desktop or somewhere. <clears throat> so just take it out completely. <clears throat> Never usually uh, keep a backup, but I did for today, right? I usually don't keep backups either, but like I did today for sure because this is a big deal, big update. You're very welcome, Katara. Never finish or continue a save, so I will make one of those update. Nice. I feel like I might make one from scratch just to like check things out and then we'll like do it in there. Oh, that's weird. It flagged your message and then it deleted it. That's so weird. Fingers eye. <clears throat> what is going on? Yeah, the timer in the corners for my subathon. That's how many hours I have left for stream. The stream is going 24 seven right now. Uh, I can't even imagine working for EA customers. To I know everything. They're like, this is fine. Everything is on fire for them. Fingers isn't allowed. I don't know, like, why? That was so weird, Kit Kat. It said fingers. Like, and then we hit accept and it still deletes it anyway because Twitch is being weird. For the new base game, same. There's so much new base game stuff. Hi, Star Dreamer. Hi. Star Dreamer, it's just a glitch. You don't actually have to re-download all of them. Hi, Chi. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a good day. Oh, my God. Um... The EA app is on fire right now. <clears throat> yes, ma'am. I will check that lady star. I can't wait, Kat, watching your stream very patiently. Yay, so Oh my I goodness. Can't wait. My cat and I are watching your stream. Thank you very so much for the two Romantic months. Place. I really appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, just so our moderators can keep up with stuff, we set slow mode on just so you guys know. So thank you for hanging out with us. I super appreciate you. It's just easier for them to keep up with things. <clears throat> it's so overloaded with everyone trying to I know, right? It, it's like everything is on fire right now. <laughs> Says, thank you so sweetly. I really appreciate you. Is like, how do we have this many people? Is probably bringing people back that usually don't play, you know, as well. Like people that haven't picked up the game in months. This is fine, right, Joey? Hi, Joey, I love you, good to see you. Thank you for your guys' help earlier too, by the way, our moderators. Is there the bomb.com? Hi, Rose, welcome, how are you? <clears throat> the USB, I usually back up your files because I don't have space. Oh no, yeah, it's a, uh, so this is like a 20 gig download or something like that. I guess apparently. <clears throat> right, the non summers Oh my God, imagine, I didn't even think about that, Melly. Imagine not being a part of like the Sims community and knowing, like if you just use the EA app for like a different game that they have on there, 
And just imagine, like, not knowing why you can't log in or why things are on fire. Um, no. Mm -mm. Um, I haven't created myself for the new, the new infant challenge or something. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff in 100 baby challenge for sure, though. Mess up the game is currently I have no mods, but debug stuff is everywhere. Weird. My pronouns are she, her. Thank you for asking, Hadifar. Meanwhile, the FIFA players, would you say? Um, trying to play their game right. <laughs> Pretty much like they're just like, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, thank you so much for asking. I actually also use the pronouns exten extension. Um, if you want to set your pronouns, you can use the first link. If you want to see other people's pronouns, <clears throat> see other people's pronouns, you can use the second link if you have Google Chrome. It's really awesome. All while cramping. Aw, Arrow, I hope you'll feel better. I'm so sorry. Yeah, this is a known issue, like, for, like, the login and waiting period and stuff like that. Um, yes. The, what released today, Zella, the infants update. This is, like, one of the biggest updates of all time for The Sims. It's, like, 20 gigs or something. Hi, welcome. I'm glad to see you. Oh my God, I'm so sad. I'm so excited. I can't wait to work on some builds. I know that like, I'll probably honestly wait <clears throat> to do a house renovation when we get growing together on Thursday. So like in a few days, um, if that makes sense. Do work instead of play my silly little family. Dang it, that's me, Anna. Yeah, I've been trying to log in like every few seconds, basically not seconds, but every few minutes. Nope, login failed. It did not go as planned. Oh, we eat spaghetti. Oh, that's awesome. I love spaghetti. I'm eating string cheese. Hi, gaming kiddo. Welcome on in. Yeah, reheated spaghetti is the bomb. <clears throat> I got logged in when I refresh. My game li library goes away. When it comes back, it's kind of funny, right? <laughs> it's all glitching. Hi, Whitaker. I'm so glad to see you. How are you today? Welcome on in, my friend. Waiting for the EP comes out. Uh, just to update my legacy builds for sure. Right, exactly. I'm totally waiting. Where's the cat? Which cat? I have two kitty cats. They're, I think they're just about the house. They're a little, they're probably sleeping somewhere. The pronoun thing. Oh my God, that's awesome. Isn't it polar? I love it. Yeah, I use the pronouns extension. Actually, I wonder if mine broke. Because I can't see like anyone who usually has pronouns on their names. I just noticed that. I'll have to figure that out. Yeah, even mine. Oh. <clears throat> Whoopsie. Kyber is off somewhere dreaming of attacking Richard, right? <laughs> he dreams of Richards. Hi, welcome on in. How are you today? So good to see you. <clears throat> Thanks for coming by. Last shamrock shake of the season. I had one and it tasted like super weird and medicinal to me. You took all my pronouns, Chi. Showing double pronouns. You took all of mine. I don't have any. I'm just kidding. That's not how it works. <laughs> all three of your cats have been waiting together. Nice. I love that for you. I don't know if that even worked or if you just guys heard my voice like kind of failing a little bit. I can't drink shamrock shakes. They taste like toothpaste to you. I love I usually love mint stuff, but there's something weird about like maybe it was just they added too much of the like stuff. Pronoun co collector. They're like among my Star Wars collection in cute little boxes. I love this. <laughs> so not only do you share brain cell, you also share the pronouns extension, right? Exactly. We love sharing in the, in the mod squad. <clears throat> it was very subtle mint. Ours was like very, very minty when I got one the other day because I love mint stuff. Mm. Um, The pronouns extension link right here. 
So if you have Google Chrome, you if you click the if you install the extension, you can see them. If you want to set them, you can use the first link. What inspired my subathon? Uh, three years of being full time is what inspired the subathon. Um, <clears throat> three years of being full time. So March 24th is three years on the mark. So next Friday. So disappointed in McDonald's the ice cream machine was broken. So no shamrock shave for me yesterday. Aw, that's so disappointing. Hey, dude, or something like that, right? I suppose that's understandable. Like some people like, hey, guys, or some people don't mind saying, hey, guys, and other people don't really prefer that. That's a valid thing. Halo, the tours are on the 29th and 30th of this month. So in a few weeks. My dog just turned off my whole computer. That's rude. I try to say y'all. I try to say y'all now. Like I say, I like it's such an ingrained habit in me. Is it an EA problem? Yes, there's there's known issues with EA because everyone's trying to fit in the door at the same time, basically, and we all can't. Thank you so much, Wittek. Hey, that's awesome. I really appreciate you. I'm so lucky. I've been having so much fun. I played Zelda until like 3.30 in the morning. Seeing recap videos about the time loss of the day three years ago by the hour by the hour the news is interesting so much i've forgotten yeah are you talking about like covid because covid lockdown started yesterday three years ago yesterday was the three-year anniversary of that my eyes will be square right because they're just going to be like <clears throat> in the shape of the monitors it makes me feel so southern too i know right and i'm just like i'm in the midwest Mm hmm like a lot of people are having problems updating and stuff I can't even log in like um I'm sitting here like yeah um we couldn't log in because the network failed to do its network thing try again in a few minutes Michigan shut down on my birthday and I was like well happy birthday to me oh my god um I think the Madison area specifically on the 17th, which was like St. Patty's Day. I think it was like the day after or something. But a lot of places started to like last year or yesterday, like the 13th. Is it weird that you listen to music constantly? No, that is not weird at all. I think that's wonderful. Music is so motivating and, you know, calming or, you know, emotional. I love it. Crying to my computer chair because I want to play The Sims, right? Going AFK now. Will I get started painting for the day? I'll be lurking until something happens. Nice says. Thank you for that lurk. I appreciate that. I'm literally just waiting. Only if you don't like the music you're listening to, right? I mean, Limey, you're not incorrect. Does EA? No, EA does not let me know what the update is. When the update is, um, I'm not an EA game changer or anything. I don't think they even let people who are on that program know. I think they know literally just as much as like everyone else does. Um, I don't think so, Sushi. I thought I did, but then now I'm just stuck out. <laughs> I think you can refresh it. The musical, the best uh, music. I've never seen the Beetlejuice musical. I've seen like the movie before, but I've never seen the musical. anxiety about opening the game why is that I'm just worried it'll like break or something i want to go check out and knit my blanket for a while Aw, garden sim that's self-care i'll see you soon offline for a good 30 seconds before you logged in and back and online it worked my update is now downloading y'all are mean i'm just kidding not really but like i want to log in what if it's totally broken Aw, it shouldn't be I understand the hesitation, but it shouldn't be. I had to close the program and open it again, and I was able to up get the update. Let me try, like, straight up, like, closing the app again. Where is it? The EA app. <clears throat> Let's see if it'll work. Hi, Liddy. Welcome on in. 
after several repeated attempts. Okay, I've tried like three or four, maybe five different times now. It's not letting me. Plot twist. It has, um, uh, the wrong password. I'm just kidding. It's the right password. <laughs> Different techniques for handling this, right? I'm just waiting patiently, really, honestly. Hi, barefooted mama. Welcome. This is the infant's waiting room. Patch notes are out if you want to hype yourself up into get in. I, oh my God. Ah, I don't know. Patch notes are out. Okay, let me see. Let's open that. That might uh, keep some of us <clears throat> engaged and excited as well. So that sounds good. <laughs> I love Twisted Mexi. I'm just going to let you guys look at this. Twisted Mexi made the tool modern better build by. He's a modder in the community. <laughs> Limey, oh my God. <laughs> Limey's like dial up noises. <laughs> I know it's such a good gif. I like, I like, I know, I love their mods. Same, me too. I'm looking for this. Ah, uh, The Sims. Where are the patch notes? Uh, how long do we have to go? Uh, yeah, I wonder. I mean, this is like a really big update. I know that like uh, whoever, uh, the person that made that, um, the UI cheats mod is usually pretty quick, but I wonder how, cause this is a really big update. So like, there's so many things that change. Like it might be like almost a few days, maybe even hours. I don't know. One modder said it was several paragraph explanation at the top is that TLDR, TLDR, all mods are broken. Every one of them, every one of your mods are broken, right? Exactly. Cause this changed everything um whimsy story or probably whimsy story honestly because i don't want to start building a house um for the new phase of our 100 baby challenge with other new pack uh karma i can't even log in at all <clears throat> so i can't even log in do you want uh patch notes link uh yeah give me just a sec aisha because i got to um Thank you, though. Thank you, Karma. Um, yeah, give me a sec. Let me give you permits so then you can post it. So go ahead. Wait. Uh, oh, try now. <laughs> I tried to permit you. Give us back origin, right? I think this problem still would have existed in origin, though, honestly. With how soon after this one pack is coming out, uh, not even going to try to play the mods until the pack comes out, right? I feel that. Um, well, yeah, because they're just going to break on Thursday again anyway. So we're probably going to have like Wednesday and Thursday and maybe even beyond without mods and stuff for a while till everyone can get them all updated because they're going to break again. I have... Uh, Exactly, it's the servers, right, exactly. Oh yeah, and it's spring break and like one of the biggest updates out there. Let's look at some patch notes together, you guys. Thank you for linking that. CC does count as bots, yes. Um, a lot of custom content will probably break because there's so many things that are changing at its core. Um, and the way that like lifespans work and everything. I will try to keep my on my no CC save them, right. Madeline's, yeah, it's my spring break right now, right? I love that for you guys though. Quite a few cast categories under body. Oh, they're really, oh my God. Um, yep, everyone's now bald, right, Rachel? <laughs> um, 
Okay. So the update, all the new information that you need. I think this is the news article right here. Where are the patch notes? Hashtag free the baby's infant base game update and bug fixes. Ooh, pickup line. Hmm. Ooh, magic, you're so sweet. You're giving me a toothache. Oh, <laughs> looks so different textured. I'm so excited. Uh, they they did. They they updated the new babies and the old bassinet, I think, is what they were saying in the live stream. Um, so, so, so simmers, today is an exciting day. We've heard you, and it's time to free the infants. Learn about what this is in the new base game. Um, you can expect from growing together and some issues the team has dealt with. So basically, they made babies not objects anymore, from what I've gathered from like the live stream and stuff. Stretch marks. Yeah, the I know the stretch marks look so good. The game is verifying. Ah, I'm so excited. Um, what's new? Infants are now in the game with the free base game update. You will now be able to interact with your young Sims earlier than before and set them up for a lifetime of excitement. Once your family's newborns age up into infants or you decide into the go the adoption route, they'll have their own needs, emotions, sentiments, and about their caretakers. I don't have a household inventory. Oh, uh, maybe, maybe not. Because I think they said they made them, like, different. I don't know. They made them, like, not look like a weird sack of potatoes, basically. They look so different now. Yep. Infants can get sentiments. Yep. Um, if your sim doesn't want to adopt or can't go through a pregnancy, they now have a brand new option. Babies of the power of science. So we know about science babies, which is IVF and, um, uh, like, surrogacy. As long as they've got the funds. Um, <clears throat> Sims will spend less time as newborns. The life stage will only last a few days before they age up into infants. That doesn't mean they haven't gotten new stuff, too. From the very beginning, newborns are going to seem like more of the family with the addition of range of skin tones that other Sims had. So they can have, like, any skin tone, essentially. Not just one, two, or three. Um, they also have to enjoy the eye color they'll have for life. So you can see, like, your babies will have the eye color, so you'll know what your baby's eye color is going to be before they in age up into infants. There are some other changes to their appearance and movements that will really help newborns feel like an active member of the household. Uh, I think, Gamer Nanny, I think it was confirmed that they're not. I believe that um, they just look bigger because of infants, if that makes sense. I don't think they're taller. I think they, I think uh, Nova, like one of the gurus said no on Twitter, is what I heard. <clears throat> Uh, caregivers will no longer put them back into a bassinet between reactions, making caring for a newborn feel more natural than before. Plus, toddlers and children will be able to interact with the new family members by doing things like entertaining a newborn in a bassinet with childlike behavior. That's so cute. Hi, Kirsta. With new life stage comes new looks. Infants have their own clothing, hairstyles, accessories, and most excitingly, personality traits. Find these new options in Creatism. There is also the addition of new furniture, decor, toys, and more to help those infants feel like feel at home and truly a part of the family. You can find these new items in the kids section and in build mode or in build mode. So kids section and build mode is where you can find these new items. Once an infant is crawling, um, they're ready to go exploring. Keep them where they belong with a new baby proofing option for doors. So you can lock doors and like fences and stuff like that or gates and stuff. Sims can get uh, kept... Kins, Sims can get kept out of door with door permissions, and now infants and toddlers can get kept in. Child skills have gotten a few adjustments. Sim will, Sims will gain skills, some skills quicker now, and things they learn as children will now matter as they grow, plus UI improvements. <clears throat> Don't worry, there's new stuff for your older Sims, too. New skin details, which we've seen, and birthmarks from, uh, from a birth as they age. They can have stretch marks and C-section scars. I like the stretch marks that they've added and the, the vitiligo and stuff. That's big. Cass has found another great feature. You can now decide whether, sim, or, sim or, whether or not a sim can produce milk. Um, this new option can be found in the gender section of the more details menu. 
With more ways for Sims to interact than ever before, it was getting a little overwhelming to try to find what you wanted to tell your Sim to do. So there's a new interactions menu. Um, that's a deep thought. Um, so basically, when your Sim to ask another Sim to have a science baby, for example, that's a deep thoughts kind of conversation. Multiple trash market options, that's, that's big. I love that. Uh, silly behavior menu, if you want to give a funny gift. So they have different, like, that's so big because I feel like it was just messy. 19 new sections in the interactions menu to help you find what you're looking for in less time. Um, so baby's skin tone in the skewer um, and household portraits should now match their skin tone in game. Aging up a baby will now properly take into consideration the genetics of the parent's skin tone. Live streaming as a tech guru should no longer reset your sim. Um, family members will now call your sim less often, ask about opinion about having a baby, and so they'll just hear the news from a chatty aunt. Hair swatches and create a sim will now be more consistent across hairstyles and ages. So hair swatches will now be more consistent across hair, hairstyles and ages. Interesting. So we have addressed an issue where sometimes after traveling, toddlers will no longer be able to interact with extended family members. Um, who could blame them? Just finishing a long trip. You're tired, probably need a change of clothes, a bath, a good sippy cup. Who wants to talk with family? Uh, the update will be available um, as soon as basically the app is having a lot of problems with all of the people, um, with all the people trying to download stuff. So it's available right now, but it's like we're having errors, like problems logging in and stuff like that. So for fear of unfulfilled dreams and fear of a dead end job will appear less often and feel appropriate when they do. Neighborhoods. Neighborhood stories will now become welcome newer, fewer newborns into the world. They've come to realize the amount of care infants require. Don't want ma a miss a single precious moment. Okay, so basically Sims aren't just out there being rabbits. Uh, Sims won't constantly drop everything in their queue to check toddler. Okay, that's that's helpful. Um, it's yeah, it's a really big update too. Um, food that's in a container inside the fridge will take longer to spoil in a container inside the fridge. Can you put the food in containers? <clears throat> um, the amount of babies and our birth lamb grubs. Seriously, the lamb grubs were out there like doing it. Pack them for lunches. Okay, that makes sense. Moving to a new lot with twin babies will no longer ostracize one of the twins at the edge of the world. Flat worlders rejoice. <laughs> okay. So tell a toddler to run around. No, they actually run, run when running around. Interaction selected. Wait, you have a tell a toddler to run around? Ooh, so toddlers can now run. I think with, after probably they have like high enough walking skill. That's cool. So toddlers can run instead of just like waddling and stuff. That's really cool. Okay, if they were to get a toddler to run around, they would never stop. This sounds like toddlers. I know this should no longer occur. Um, Sims will now be able to perform read to child interaction while kneeling or standing uh, something is now available to sims so there's like a jumpsuit thing decor likes and dislikes industrial holiday vintage da, 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 and shabby decor are now available op options okay oh got it marion got it um that uh that one's been out for a few months um for the wear medical wearable stuff Black swatches don't need ash anymore. What really? Did they really update those? The base game hair hairs black swatches aren't ashy anymore. Uh they how long has it been since you played? Because I know they did like an update on those. So I'm just wondering if like that was the previous update that you're seeing or if it's like new. Because it did say something about updating some swatches, but not like that. Um events decor. Oh my god, right. Imagine like what the heck. Um, styled looks are a little less styled now. Choosing one won't change a sim's hairstyle, eye color, eyebrows, or facial hair. Okay. Thumbnails are fixed in creative sim to show off cheek scars properly. Um, several nursery wall decorations have added a color consistency update. <gasps> Ooh, nursery wall decorations have had a color consistency. There's some swatches out there for some nursery decor items that are new. Toddler creative sim has gone through spring cleaning a bit early. They can't wear it. It's not an option on the menu. Okay. Um, toddlers are now taking care of at daycare instead of taking care of themselves. How do they even manage that? Alien diapers are now only available to aliens. Sims 
uh, will now keep skin details added while on outfit category besides every day when re-entering create is them. You're regardless, uh, you're you regardless of your clothing choices. T child, toddler, and infants are being a little stubborn when it comes to birthmarks, which will we are continuing to look into. But as long as birthmarks are selected well everyday outfit category, they will keep their birthmarks. Excellent. Okay. Um, toddlers can now pick up toys that ended up in under bookcases. Sims will now scoot more often as expected in a, uh, when directed to sit or nap on a single or double bed. Several gates, fences, and stairs were casting improper shadows. We've spoken to their architects and instructed them proper shadow casting behavior. The Sims stats panel will now track total wants completed. This is all base game, by the way, you guys. Sims will no longer mistake the outdoor mailbox for a wall mailbox when publishing a book. It all gets go to go uh, gets the same outcome, just the without shoving a book through the side of a metal mailbox part. <laughs> I love their sense of humor too. Uh, be aware. Wait, uh, child Sims underwear category is now properly displayed according to their preferred clothing option. Be aware, acting, debating, and dancing in front of the mirror do actually increase your skill. I'm not really sure how that is possible. I've spent hours dancing in front of the mirror and I'm still horrible. <laughs> Same. <laughs> Sims can properly use a mirror to practice dancing. I'm just going to say this is why I've not gotten better at dancing. <laughs> Searching for stuffed animals will now result in more stuffed animals, even if they aren't stuffed, but more of a molded plastic. <laughs> stuffed toys are now toys and will count towards the play with three toys goal of the artistic prodigy child creativity aspiration. So that's cool. Um, several text updates have been made to skill level up text notifications to clarify benefits provided by the skill. Attempting to sleep or nap in a bed your sim can't get to will now tell you that you can't get there. Toddlers are more likely to be content in their high chairs when their needs are taken care of. They may, however, be con continue to ask to be removed from the high chair if left alone for too long if another or another sim checks on them. So basically, toddlers are more comfortable with the idea of a high chair. Male sims with masculine clothing, clothing preference should only see the swimwear category and not swimwear and swimsuits category. Swimsuits sounds way too formal for swimming. Toddlers asking uh, for book help that are greater than three spaces away from the location wherein the book help action shall be set forth to take place shall forthwith no longer be a sense of failure of action to the desired outcome, but shall rather expect that the book help shall be unto provided to said toddler what okay shakespeare oh my god <laughs> great the away from the location where the book helps action okay okay so basically regardless of like how far away they are from like the book help thing they should get it um Intimate sims that choose to chat will no longer reset and cancel interaction. How was your day? In the middle of an intimate moment seems, feels like a reset moment to me. Um, console players should see an improvement to input performance after opening the relationship panel. The singing skill tooltip has been added to all showers that supports singing. Those showers that don't supply, support singing are too critical for of my talent. <laughs> Oh my God, that's so funny. Uh, console players should be able to see an improvement to input performance after really opening the relationship panel and randomizing likes and dislikes and creating them will no longer collapse the likes and dislikes panel. Um, so this base game bug fixes. Cats and dogs. Ultra speed is ultra fast as it's supposed to be, even if there's a stray on the lot. Um, pets will now be nice to other pets when they're told to. Cats and small dogs should now... Uh, should once again be able to route under dining tables. Yay, more efficient begging. <laughs> Get famous. Shoes are no longer distorted when Sims are wearing any color of a specific pant. Marine biology, in island living, the marine biologist uniform now has work appropriate shoes. Um, so basically, there's like a boot in island living that no longer includes missing leg sections on lower graphic settings. Discover university. Seems the intuition. Institution has faith after all. <laughs> Sims who sit in on a skill class as will get the proper certificate in their inventory when they're done. Not a mixology one for every class. <laughs> the only thing I learned at college is how to drink. <laughs> That's really funny. <laughs> oh my God. 
Uh, passing the lawyer's exam will now let you try to pass the lawyer lawyer's exam. Rather than just failing you right off the bat, it's supposed to be hard, but not that hard. Um, eco lifestyle. So maker mentors were no longer speaking strange coming soon language in their speech bubbles. Um, your sim will know where to go when trying to update hot tubs with a water recycler when using eco parts option. You tell me that it's that hard, right? <laughs> Joey, Joey's like, I should know. <laughs> Items that uh, be, can be used off the grid are now labeled as such. Oh, that's so cool. So there is like, there's more updates to that. Um, cottage living, wooden bridges now sound like, well, bridges made of wood. Vampires, Sims who are vampires, but are now Sims that aren't vampires will now be able to sleep more than three hours when tired. <laughs> so basically if you cure your vampirism, you'll be able to sleep more than three hours. Realm of Magic, randomize sims who will no longer randomize with curse warts. Got it. Um, awesome. Uh, Star Wars Journey to Batu. Moon bathe interaction has been removed as an option well for sims while on Batu. Becky! Thank you so much for the two months. I really appreciate that. Welcome on back. How are you? Welcome, welcome. Um, thank you so much for the sub. Uh, uh, well, I'm bad too. I don't know. That's a good question, actually. I don't know. That's what I bet you if you look up at the sky. Oh, my God. I wonder if it's the if it's the the Death Star. That's no moon. You know, like they say in the in the movie. I wonder. That's no moon. Exactly. I wonder if that's like a, a nod at that. I'm going to cheese chi here. That's no moon. Oop, I just tagged you in Discord because I wasn't sure. Um, the, the Batu patch fix. Moon bathe interaction has been removed as an option for Sims while in Batu. <laughs> we were just talking about the that's no moon thing yesterday. Um, my wedding stories, that pesky empty blue screen is no more. You'll be able to plan wedding events through the phone or calendar now that the menus show up as intended. I know, now we're trying to look up Star Wars or right? That's not supposed to be. The, is that a werewolf thing that's not supposed to be in the game? I think it's more of like a pun or a play. The werewolf thing, like, I think it's on, on Batu specifically. So like the moon bathing is a thing elsewhere. But I think in Batu, moon bath interaction has been removed for an, as an option for Sims 1 Batu. I think it's probably mostly a play on like the that's no moon thing, maybe. My guess. I don't know. Uh... Like, because in Star Wars, there's like this whole thing where they look at the Death Star that it looks like a moon and they're like, oh, that's no moon. <laughs> I wonder if it's something related to that. That's no moon. It's a space station. That's no moon. It could be something like that. Just a guess. I don't know. The gurus always input like random little things like that. Um, who knows? That's my guess, but I'm not sure. So we have werewolves. Wait, no, my wedding stories. That pesky empty blue screen is no more. You'll be able to play in wedding events through the phone or calendar now that the menus show up as intended. If you have the moon phase is on, it's a full moon in the, uh, down in the UI. It looks like the Death Star. Yep, because we. I think you just saw that yesterday. Um, Finnish, Norwegian, and Swedish options when choosing bouquet and now have fewer mid-word line breaks. You can now schedule your wedding event on the same day as holidays in the calendar. Oh, that's so good. Um, Werewolves, the icon coming soon. Icon for the full moon dream. Buff has been replaced with a really cool moon icon. Totally worth the wait. Um, so there's a onesie with the, for the toddlers. Should now should be safe to wear shoes now. No more fear of their shoes ripping through the feet of the onesie. Werewolves ripping clothing. I'm sure it was fine, but Sims were getting tired of the darn whole thing. Okay, so if we don't translate the issue from dev speaker for players, what happens? Werewolf sim level of detail model displays pixel tearing different deformation for HH household and pre-made sims when they are in beast form. Hmm, wait that hmm, that's that that's fixed now. 
So basically, basically, it says like the level of detail. So like there was like pixel, like distortion, I think is what they're trying to say. <laughs> this dev speak stuff. That's funny. The agave abode washroom will no longer trap your sim within its four walls, closing in on you, refusing to let you leave, even if you wash your hands after you use, which you should do. Nifty knitting. Sims can now add the same knitted items in different colors to their wardrobe. Bathroom clutter. Wall decals should no longer appear when viewed from the back. This is a lot. Like, a lot of stuff. This is so ridiculous. Uh, all these updates and I still can't woohoo in a closet. What do you mean? Are you talking like the, the city living ones? Hi, Libby. Welcome on in. Uh, you can only make out on them now. Weird. You can't. It's just glitched. Oh, really? Um, I'm going to try to log into the EA app again and see what happens. Thank you, Nate Nate, for doing that. I have like all my buttons on OBS, but they won't work because it's been on too long. Ah, I can't even log in. Oh, my God. I'm so sad. I'm going to try closing it and try again. Where is it? Oh my God. Okay. So EA, EA app. Uh, it's letting me update now and it should let you soon. Hopefully it really depends on the person. There's so many new clutter items. I'm so excited. Um, I just thought it was down due to server all over. Oh yeah. No, we were, we were talking about that earlier. I've been trying to get in for like, uh, probably almost a half an hour or more or an hour or more almost had to log in like three times in a row before it let you in. Okay. I'll try a few times in a row. Manifesting, right? Dang it, it took a little longer than before. The TwitchCon bar for. So basically in October, I'm going to TwitchCon. It's in Vegas. Oh my God, it logged me in. It logged me in. No one panic no one move yeah i'm going to twitchcon and i'm gonna be off for about a week or more and all of that is to help offset the expenses of being off stream and like all the travel and everything and the tickets and whatnot to help towards that um but now i don't have my game so basically is it like this i don't know what to do so like, how do I control R to refresh the app? By the way, guys, ads are gonna play. Um, there it is, oh my God. Ads are going to play um, in about 50 seconds. So I'm just gonna let them run. Oh my God, squid. Thank you so much. Happy Infant's Day. Two more days until the expansion. I cannot wait. It's Frank Cozy's Frank. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate you. Welcome on back. EA Auto updated yours. Okay, I'm wondering. Like, I almost wonder if I had it this entire time, but I just assumed that I didn't. You know, like, because I was able to, like, log in before I even started. <laughs> like, I had the game booted up when I was still, like, in my waiting screen. Could I have done it this entire time and I just bamboozled myself for, like, an hour? Probably. That seems like a very me thing to do. I know. I'm seriously so excited. Squidward, again, thank you so much for two months. I really appreciate you. Thank you for making this community sparkly. Um... Hmm. Okay, so I don't have the update yet. Got it. Um, what? <laughs> Hello? Kept waiting for mine and I uh, realized it's already downloaded, right? That, so it wasn't that for me, it seems. 
Hello. Yeah, Origin's gonna be going away permanently. Uh soon. Um, had to click a download button on my EA for the updates to start. So like a download, is it download manager? Hello? Uh, updates I forget. I forgot if, right, Becca, I was forced to as well for a while, a while ago. I had, uh, reload it by clicking the Sims 4 in your library. I haven't got the update either. Okay. All right, which is fine. I just want to make sure it's not me. You know, so. I just did that star. I'm not, I just got logged back in after almost an hour. You can hit Control R to like refresh it. Offline, wait for 30 seconds, go online again. Update should be there. Okay. Hi, Crystal. How are you? Welcome on in. Okay, so you said go offline. Wait, it says up top left menu. And then log back in again. Uh, I say I saved all I removed all of them and I put them on my desktop. So all my saved games are still there. I just saved them all outside because they all could have potentially broke. Go to your account settings and scroll and enable auto updates. Oh, really? OK, I'll do that when I log back in. Oh, wait a little bit. Yeah, like all of my mods, all of my saves, all my screenshots are on my on a different like on my desktop. And stuff. I think it's up here. Offline thing worked for you. Oh, my God, I'm so excited. Also, welcome back from ads. Thank you for hanging out with us, you guys. All right, please work. I swear to God, if this update tanks my internet and like ruins stream, I'm going to be really sad because I want to hang out with you guys while it happens. Uh, I was still logged in from last night, auto updated, right? I was like, I wonder. So basically, if I go here and go like settings, I'm not going to show this just in case I actually dox myself. Hold on. Application, download, update games automatically. Okay, if you go under there, you can you can do that. Right, EA? It is. It's weird without the mod, isn't it? I'm probably not going to reinstall mods until like Friday or try to because like the new pack is coming out on Thursday. So everything's going to break again anyway. Um, yeah, we're almost at 600 hours. It's crazy. Um. Right, here we go. Um, I'm going to try and see if this works again. Yeah, bugs were almost at 600 hours. Isn't it wild? It was like 620 yesterday or something like that. Hi, Nick. Welcome on in. Oh, my God. Everyone stay calm. That's basically 20 gigabytes. Hello? Twenty gigabyte download. Ba, 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 Pretty much. Thank you. Oh my god. Seventh Rotten Lady. Thank you so much for the seven gifted subs. Almost. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. You are so nice. Thank you for the above and beyond support like that. Oh my goodness. One minute. That's so, the biggest so lie ever. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Thank you so freaking much. Oh my God. And thank you guys for letting me know that you could like refresh the app and stuff like that. 
I think it could be a hint for fairies. I think we're going to tweet something. Wait. Guys, put on your tinfoil hats. We're going to Twitter. Put on your twin, twin tinfoil hats, guys. Let's go. Okay, Nova, what, what are you doing? I will poop my pants. Where? It was Nova? Where is it? So, so. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. My twin foil hats, everyone. Stop it. <laughs> You're just jealous of my hat. It's a plant of some kind. Am I overlooking it? Uh, control R. Tyrion. So, so. There's a lot of horse stuff in the infants. Oh. I'm manifesting fairies. I'm manifesting it. Nerd, nerd, where's nerd? Where's our manifestation so, person? So. Nerd! Where are you? I'm just kidding. I don't want to pull them out of lurk. But like, immediately, nerd, I need you to, I need you to use your powers. Fairies, so, horses, so. castles. Please, nerd! <laughs> nerd is like, thank you for the follows, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Hal, how are you? Wait, Nick, where is it? So, is it a mushroom, like a planter? Okay. Tinfoil hat be hatting right now. Is it here? Okay, those are so cool. I'm so excited for those bookcases. Welcome on in, everybody. Welcome. The update's applying in the bottom. Okay. Everyone shut up. This unit is called the Fungi Reality Incorporated Studio Apartment. This unit is a steal and will not be one of the, on, on the market long. This studio apartment has been hand carved from a wonderful specimen of fungi cultivated in-house by Fungi Reality Incorporated for our for only our most miniature of clients scenic staircase leads to into a spacious front garden that boasts great views of the neighboring giant's backyard the interior comes furnished with adorably sized mycelian furniture note fungi reality incorporated is legally obligated to warn potential renters of dangers from unwieldy miniature young versions of giant neighbors and any hungry furry beasts and the giant neighbors keep as companions that is such a hint. If, if they're ever hinted it, nerd, you need to use your manifestation, manifestation powers immediately. I will literally, this could, don't quote, don't like take this to heart, you guys. This is a theory. I want to be clear. This could be a sign of fairies because the gurus are known for doing this like this, but don't take this to heart, but like just have fun with it. Don't get your hopes up. But like, this could be... Nerd, you need to use your manifestation powers for fairies, uh, horses. I'm putting in an order. Do I need to invoice you? <laughs> your manifestation powers. I will poop. I will poop. A theory, a game theory, right? Nerd manifest, please. Thank you. <laughs> you need to open a, man a nerd manifestation hotline. <laughs> There's a lot of fairy references. Shut the frick up. Is there really? I have not seen anything. We're going, we're going to dive so hard into the tooltips and stuff for things like I usually, I'm going. Nerd, can I also have uh, spare staircases? <laughs> ah! Update is completed. Okay, guys, everyone stay calm. Everybody, stay calm. Hint or not, I know, hint or not, it's a little, it's an adorable one, though. Um, it, it's adorable. I'm with you. Can I play? EA app isn't showing any any packs. Oh man, pill this sucks. Um, try to refresh it. There's some glitches going on right now. Um, yeah, nerd, can I have world peace? <laughs> I would like some world peace. This is such a tease, you guys. Look, look at I'm so upset. Reboot, no, um, control R. Control R when you're in the app, it'll like refresh it and stuff. 
on the past pack. Oh my God, I seriously, I want like, Star, I think I'm on the same page as you. Even if it didn't contain time traveling. Like there were some, there were some like nods at like kings or like things like that in cottage living. Cause they had like the king's like crock and it was like a crock pot thing that came like a clutter piece that came in a pack. And then they, they had some other references and other things too. And I try to take things very lightly. And there were also in werewolves, there were hints to Princess Cordelia too, which is like the bust and base game. But there were also, there's like Princess Cordelia's mirror or something like that or whatever. Oh, you're very welcome, Ginger. I got you. <clears throat> they changed the interface for communication with other Sims. They did. Yep, there's a whole new like base game update with that. Uh, I searched Sims 4 in the search bar and I clicked the game and it loaded and I had the update. Oh my God. Everyone. Oh my God. Cordelia, zone back in. What's this lore? Cordelia, uh, Crow Witch. Basically, there's like a base game bust. It's like the, uh, like a, it's like a statue thing. It's like gold. Um, it's been there forever. It's called Princess Cordelia's like statue or something. Um, but then also there's references to it in werewolves. There's like Princess Cordelia's like mirror or like wardrobe or something like that. There's like an item, uh, like talking about Princess Cordelia. And then, um, so like, uh, yeah, there's a Princess Cordelia bed in another pack. I think that one might be base game. I think, that, but there is a bed somewhere. I don't know if it's in a pack or base game, but I, I think it might be the most expensive bed. So if you look up, if you like search Cordelia in the category, the catalog, then you'll be able to see some stuff. Um, but also, um, the Cordelia, there, oh, Cordelia's Secret Cottage. Oh my God, you're right. I did not make that correlation. Yo, the tinfoil hat is secure right now. Like, I'm on. And then one of the Sims gurus tweeted this. It's a studio apartment, and it talks about, like, miniature and, like, giant stuff. So I'm thinking we might be seeing something about fairies coming in a new pack in who knows how long. So I'm so excited for this. Okay, guys. Oh, my God. Monster, welcome back. Um, I don't have any saves, uh, cause I have them all saved to my desktop. Hmm. Everyone, shut up! Oh. I'm literally so excited! I like the little bumper chair! Oh my god! The little bumper chair is so cute. I'm so excited, you guys. It's finally here. What is happening? Oh my God, this is like such a big day. If there's, if there's any gurus wa watching, thank you. Thank you so much. Like, okay, let's go. Face, okay, like we obviously have like all of the skin tones and stuff, the face, there's like some preset faces. We got skin details. Oh my God, the birthmarks. You can apply up to like three, it looks like, and you can layer them. You see that? And there's even ones that are like different colors here. Okay, so cute. Teeth. <gasps> oh, I love them, the, the little teeth. Look at how cute. Not expecting swatches on birthmarks, right? There's a few of them that don't, though. Brow, there's no brow scars. No cheek scars, no eyes, no mouth, no scars for infants. Okay, so hair. Oh my god, okay. So we have, like, um, some textured hairs. There's some wavies and some coilies. We got the... Like, this one. And then we also have the bald one. There's little itty-bitty pigtails. And I'm obsessed with this one. I need to hear because I'm not hearing what you guys are. There was a hiss. Was there really? 
Okay, so there's also like very light hair, which I'm in love with because some some kids don't like have hair for a while. The little buns, the the teeth and they hiss really. Oh my god. <laughs> Why does it sound like that? <laughs> It's definitely a child, though. Like, they definitely make those noises. Like, what is going on? Right, Ellie? Oh, my God. The Emperor from Star Wars. <laughs> Vlad could never. Um, <laughs> That's where it started. <laughs> we have a hissing habit. Okay, I'm, like, actually in love with this one. This is so cute. Okay, all the, the hairstyle colors... Oh my god, the little baby! I love the hair! I'm so excited! Go to, um, you have to go home. Uh, you have to go by a uh, home later, you said? Oh my god. Hi, Cater Tot. Welcome on in. We're checking out the new update. Um, so you can get glasses. Oh my god. Look at the glasses. And there's even sunglasses, too. Okay. There's, like, a bunch of different colors. So I have some glasses if we want. No piercings, uh, there's only glasses, no necklaces, at least in base game. So that's what we have for this. And then, okay, so there's some clothes that were like from the toddlers and whatnot, but it looks as though we have like a few, mm, at least one or two new items that I can see, potentially. This one existed for toddlers. So this one here, um, oh my God, I love this. Ah, this is so cute. I love the little sweater. Look at how adorable the hats. <gasps> Wait, they have hats. Wait, where are they? Okay, let me, let me look at the hats. Oh, <gasps> stop. Okay, so this one, it has like little pom-pom ears and there's like little bears, little lion or tigers and like this funny one. Oh my God, how sweet. And then there's a little bucket hat. And there's this, uh, the helmet to help with head shape and whatnot. That's awesome. I do like how they did include something like this though. That's awesome. It's got some really cute swatches on it too. And then we have the bunny hat. <gasps> Bye, I'll see you later. You are going through the new update stuff. And then there is the bunny hat with a bunch of different swatches on it. So cute. Oh my God. And then they have this one with a little bow on the front of it. I do like the one with the bow. I know the bunny hat is so cute. And then there's like a big bucket hat too. So we've got like two different style of bucket hats. Oh my God, the little whale, all the little patches that are on the front of it. How sweet is that? I'm so excited. Thanks, Krissa. Oh my geez. Thank you, Simmered Mango, for the follow. Welcome on in over the raid. Welcome. How are you? All right, so we have this here. And then we've got some pants. So there's like a little diaper. Oh my God, the way that they like flip over. That's so cute. I love the little babies. How sweet. We're checking out the new update. Okay, so then there's like some uh, some shorts with a bunch of different swatches, some pants, um, some things that we can see that were used from like the, uh, the toddlers and whatnot. So there's a lot of items uh, coupled with like a few new ones and whatnot. No, that's self-care, Connor. <laughs> this is awesome. Okay, I want to do like this right here. And it looks like there's um, all the bunch of different categories and whatnot here. Under here, we have socks and tights. So there's like a few tights and then some socks that we can use. That's so cute. Uh, treat yourself, exactly. Hi, welcome. Thank you so much for rating. I really appreciate that. I hope you had a good stream. And shoes, we have a few options. So these ones are very similar to the ones that we have with toddlers or are the ones that we have with the toddlers some really good start like starts oh my god oh yeah there's full sets <gasps> stop wait i feel like their outfits oh my god we see more of these there's like a little onesie little cat 
And then, oh my God, Among Us? Among Us? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I know the little bear shoes are always so cute. And then there's a full snowsuit. I like how they have this for the snowsuit, just by default, even though if you don't have like seasons and stuff. I know, isn't it so wholesome? Okay, then we have, oh my God, why is this so much cuter on little ones than, oh my God, I love the, the little overalls. The little noises. My sim is cradling in front of my heart is just bursting. I can't wait to see. We're gonna make like a quick little family just so I can look at stuff. Uh, sad office? That's a good question. Uh, they did. Oh my God. Pride and joy. And then tiny tot in a tank top. Onesie twosie. My sleep shirt. Simple slumber. Precious little partier. Got a bunch of different swatches too. Best striped sweater and pants. Oh my God, I can't handle that. That's so cute. Oh my God. Okay, let's look at full body stuff again. So we've got a bunch of things. <gasps> so, oh my God. There is nothing like a baby in a bear onesie. Like, nothing like a baby in a bear onesie. This is the cutest thing ever. And there's like a few new items that are like unique. Oh, this is a nifty knitting item, by the way. This one is. You can see the pack icon. I just missed that. Um, A lot of these are just base game, though. Okay, so then, oh my goodness. Look at the little clouds. I'm obsessed with these dresses. Look at the little clouds. How freaking cute. I need an adult version, seriously, same. Okay, so here's like a little snap onesie. Like footy pajamas, okay, so cute. I love these pajamas. Then we have a um something similar to the toddler outfit. The, oh, this is similar to the toddler outfit, but different. So the other one looked like sprinkles, this one is polka dots, and we do have some really cute, the sunflowers. The stripes. Oh my God, the sunflowers are so cute. Oh my goodness. So very, very similar, but different. Um, And then we have like another little uh, long sleeve onesie without like the, the long legs on it. These would be good for like sleepers and stuff. Oh my God. And then we have this outfit. Look at how cute the little bumblebee, the strawberry. I know Kelso, isn't it so cute? A strawberry, and then we have, oh my God, some basic swatches here, and then there's another little overall one. Oh my God, I am obsessed with this. Um, Seriously, right, Sunny? Sunny, I'm like feeling like that's the, the case for a lot of people too. I wanna use this one, and we're gonna do like a little bee outfit because, or no, the strawberries. I don't know, guys, oh God, strawberry. Okay, I'm going strawberries, and then I'm gonna do shoes. We're gonna do like these ones and they're gonna be red or yellow. I'll do the, wait, no, oh my God. I don't even want shoes. This is so cute. A simple white onesie. Um, Let's see. Yes. There's a simple white onesie on the long sleeved one. And then, um, this one is also kind of simple white. Yeah, there's like a simple what like white white one too. So you can see that there. Yes. Oh my god, so cute. Legacy is starting, right? Oh my god, legacy definitely. Um, do they work with content creators to make cast if I remember when pack these fashion designers? Uh sometimes they do, but usually it's like showcased if they do it. Every once in a while they do. But it's not like all the time. There's ones with like the little green markings that you can see. I think there's like a top. Uh, it, it looks like this. It's like a little green box thing. And then those items are made by content creators and you can like mouse over them. This is Story Legacy Sims that made this top specifically. Yeah, I love, I know I love it when they do the lots with creators. That's awesome. It's my, my dream one day. I want to do that. Okay, so, oh my God, wait. <laughs> I'm totally gonna put you in like a little, oh my God, the little dress. Let's do the little lavender dress. 
No, wait, no, this one. This one's so cute. Oh my God, it looks like Boo. <laughs> I know babies, I'm so excited. I don't know what hairstyle I want to use. I think I'm going to use this one. Uh, look for uh, to decorate a house for your vampire family. That's exciting, Rage. Good luck. I hope you enjoy yourself. Okay, then we're going to do um, some... No, the shoes are actually fine. The nightwear. Oh my God, what are we going to wear? Totally going to do like a little sleep onesie thing. Oh, no, bear onesie or even this one. I'm going to do this one. This one feels like more pajama to me. My little ray of sunshine, little bear. That one's so cute. I'm going to do the sunshine one. And then party outfit. This one is looking really cute. And then I'm going to change your shoes, my dear. To be pink. Oh, look how cute you are. Okay, then this one's for warm weather. Oh, oh my God. And then cold weather. You're definitely going to be wearing the bear onesie for this one because that's the law. It is what it is. I don't make up the rules. Okay, so cool for warm weather. What about this? That's so cute. Hi, Blind Gamer. Welcome on in. This is going to be Cora Whipple. Wait, Cora Gibbs, because <laughs> I just came up with the name. How about... Okay. I like the little trait icons. They're so cute. Okay, so we have Calm. These sims like to watch the world. They are less likely to cry or become angry and don't grow tired of activities as easily as other infants. However, when they are less likely to explore the world on their own, so they're less independent, they're just like, so chill, chill little baby. Cautious. These sims appreciate the familiar but are slow to warm up to new experiences, location, and sims. And we have intense. These Sims have big emotions and are easily entertained, but they are also more difficult to calm when in a bad mood. So sensitive. These Sims are prone to diaper rash, are often picky with food, and can more easily become overstimulated by too much play and social interaction. However, they also rest more peacefully through the night when soothed. Oh, I love this. And then Sunny Sims. These Sims are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other Sims, but do they do require more social interaction. Wiggly. These Sims are on the go, are always on the go and want to play and move about. However, they often struggle to fall asleep or pay attention for extended periods of time. I like how they have some neurodivergence in here, if you think about it. Wiggly. And then sensitive and like specifically are like raising to me uh the find of the changing table i think that um i think that uh uh everything is listed under kids section i think is what they said on the on the update thing yeah they can try food Oh, the changing table. Is it in the pack? Oh, the table. Okay, the table's in the pack. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Hi, Aaron. Welcome on in. My app lied and said it did not in fact update. What the heck? Oh, my God. Pack exclusive, unfortunately. Aw, dang it. Dang it, dang it. Good to know, though. I'm going to have you be... Should we have a sunny little baby? Maybe sunny. You're so cute. I like their little baby grunts. They're so cute. I love toddlers so much. Ah, okay, here we go. Oh, shoot. We can't just have a house on our own. Um, Let's make a new sim for you. What's your parent going to look like? Can I mess with genetics, maybe? Sibling, let's make your parent. I'm going to make you a mom. Okay. <laughs> the townies be townying. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, I'm very concerned for what our child will grow up to look like. What is this outfit? I don't think I've seen that one before. 
So I'm like, who is she? <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> okay, this one's not like the worst I've seen. I was just gonna make like a random sim. So I think this is probably good. Maybe. <laughs> Sweater and skirt is underrated combo. It's so cute. Right? Like. So it's a single mom. Um, and I'm not going to mess with any of their other outfits because like, why? <laughs> or maybe. maybe oh, have. Jesus. That's not what I meant to do. Pomeray Here we was. go. I just wanted to do this. So, so thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. I really appreciate ya. That works for me. Okay. What are those accessories? Why do they always accessorize so heavily? Don't make DNA parent for babies. Seriously, they're so bad. So bad. What are these accessories? <laughs> like, okay, I'm gonna have her wear this, but I'll change it to the green one because it's cute. Um, that's actually not bad. I'll keep it. And then I'm just oh. creating random things. Oh, nailed it. Oh, yeah, there you go. Wait, I mean, the game keeps suggesting it, so I'm just gonna go with it. We're just gonna do it. A husband recently saw the jelly bean sticker that you have like a uh, sent like a year ago and he still didn't put it on his computer. Nice. That's cute, Aaron. I love it. We're checking out the brand new update. Um, so this is gonna be mom. You're gonna be Tiana. And you're gonna be family oriented and then have I don't like the party animal trait because that's what that one's annoying. Ah. Hates children? That'd be so mean. It would literally be so mean. Yeah, we're going to be like on the, the pack is when I'm going to start doing some more things. Like building and actually and, and all that stuff because I don't want to do a lot of work to like make a new house without the new pack yet. Okay, I'm just going to pick some traits because y'all are not picking good ones. Let's do something. I actually want to make you like a good parent, like family oriented. <sighs> Maybe oh, socially no. awkward. <laughs> and then so probably sad. a bookworm. Ooh. Polino. Here we go. Oh, um, Alongside this Animal Crossing Luigi's Mansion or Zelda. Ooh. Zelda. Zelda. I don't know. I might be, I might be, uh, I might be biased. Oh my God. Duh. This is so cute. The way that they're holding the baby. <gasps> Stop it. Family dynamics and base game. Uh, I don't think so. I don't remember though. Don't quote me on that, but I'm not sure. I guess I should say. All right. So we're going to go summer. Guys, I'm so excited. Let's live in a tiny little house somewhere. Like, let's go live in a little starter home in Willow Creek, I think. Family Dynamics is pack. Got it. Okay. All right. So we're going to go live in, like, a tiny little house. Let's go to Daisy Hovel, because why not? <gasps> Wait, I'm going to redo. I'm going to do the thing. I'm going to, like bulldoze it i'm gonna use the house that i made not biased at all exactly definitely not biased not even a little bit the pack is released on thursday yes that is correct the amount of attention integration i'm seeing even more the gurus have told us really i think they only scratched the surface because on the live stream they said like i we couldn't get everything we just hit the, the high points but there's so much to this update in this pack you guys this is like what a time to be a simmer I'm just saying, like, what a time to be a simmer right now. <sighs> yes, yes. So basically, stream is going to end on the 31st. Um, or if we end up hitting 1,500 subs by the end of the month, then I will plan some things for April. 
Oh my goodness. Okay, so we're gonna use this lot that I made before and then we're just going to add some infant things in here and we're gonna check things out. <gasps> oh my God, a present? Oh, it's Steve book stuff. There's new things in here. Okay, I don't know what that is. Why is that like weird like that? I think they said everything is under kids. Uh, they don't have a changing table. That one's only in the pack. And I don't have the pack. So, um, so. Welcome. Thank you for the follow. Oh, my God. Here we go. Base game. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so all of this stuff is in here. Let's sift through. I wish there was, like, an easier way to sift through this stuff other than just like this. Oh, my God. There's the new rugs. I'm going to make this into, like, the baby room. Because, yes, we're just going to do a little facelift on this. The bassinets also look better. Everything can be found in the kids' room area except for two things. Got it. Okay. So we have, like, uh, another rug right here. Which this one has so many cute things on it. Oh, my God. I'm literally obsessed with these rugs, you guys. These are going to be so cute. And then we've seen a lot of this stuff in, like, the... Oh my God, the watermelon. Ah! Why is it so adorable? I don't know what I'm gonna do, but like then we have a pack and play. Okay, so this is a travel crib. Supports infants. Supports newborn. So it says like on the, the tool tips now what they support. Supports toddlers and infants in here. I'm gonna put that up there. I love the wicker bassinet. Oh my God, wait. <gasps> what? There's a crib. Okay, so this crib is for, there's new, oh my God, I forgot they have a new bed. This is big because I feel like the base game ones are really bad. Y'all, so we have a crib. The dad played peekaboo and the daughter started crying. Oh, right? I know it's so cute. It's accurate though, isn't it? It's so accurate. Um, I'm gonna like make this room the cutest gosh darn thing. Okay, then oh my god, the bassinet. Oh the fact that we have a new one for newborns is beyond me. And that you're right, I think they did update it a little bit to look better. And whatnot. Hi Emma, welcome on in. The cribs to fit the base game beds too. <gasps> Are they really? Oh yeah, that's right. Um Oh, yeah, all of this stuff is base game right now that I'm looking at. So we have this. There's a new crib that matches like the bed and whatnot and like all the existing sets, which is so cool. Yeah, the bow is no longer painted on. Yup, look at the rainbow. How sweet is that? I'm obsessed with this bassinet, you guys. Hi, oh my God, I'm obsessed with the update. Have you looked at it yet? There's also a mission crib. So like this matches the other sets that we have, like the more wooden things with the toddler bed that you see here. So it goes with that. Um, we also got, it looks like there's like a toy. There's a rattle, which I'm gonna put this out in the living room. I think the crib you have out can be modified into a toddler bed and child bed. Nice. Good to know though. So many baby foods. Oh, I'm so excited. So there's some more stuff here. So, so. We've got, I'm just gonna put out all the new toys so we can just do a little gameplay test and whatnot with this. Thank you for the follow, welcome. Um, We have some new things on the walls. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do move objects on. So this is actually a, that's a bookcase. You guys, this is a bookcase. Okay, that's exciting. Hi, Blair. Yes, oh my God, I am so excited right now. This is going so well. So baby care clutter. So there's like little clutter items. Oh my God, there's diaper, there's wipes. It's like little wipes. I'm gonna put some of this stuff down. So there's like diapers, wipes, some clutter. Cause I'm gonna make, I'm gonna put these like on a dresser that we're gonna put in here. Small things like an emotion overload, right? I know, Blair, I'm so excited. So we have a stack of baskets, moisturization station. 
So there's like different looking ones for baby care items that you can get. Um, there's like a little basket full of stuff here. Obsessed. So, and then I guess there might be like more. So they, they said they updated some things uh, from nursery decorations. And I'm wondering if they updated these, because this is the first thing that comes to mind. Some of these didn't have these swatches. These did not have these swatches before. Um, I'm just putting that out there. Um, I knew that because like I keep looking to those to do things in our our challenge uh, or our gameplay or not our gameplay, but our um, uh, what the heck is it called, you guys? Yeah, like they never match, right? And now those are so cute. Look at all the different colors. That's so sweet. Yep, they finally match. So they said they updated some things. Oh, our uh, shell or not our shell. Um, save file. Cloth diaper. Oh, if you have laundry, you can do a cloth diaper. What? That's the cutest thing. Oh, my God. That's they they really did try to implement it the best they could. Into a lot of different packs. There's like some ga gameplay features in each pack from what I understand or a lot of the packs, I should say. That is so exciting. Okay, so we have those. Um, and then what other swatches do we have? Because I really, really like this one. I like all the toys. And then I want to grab like a little dresser. And then we're going to put this. Oh my God, what should I do? Do they have like a new base game one? I don't think that they do, but this is cute. It could go well. Flossam, thank you so much for that lurk. I appreciate you. I'm going to change this like to that. That's cute. Um. Oh my God. I have lots of clutter stuff. Look at all the clutter stuff. I love it. And this is like. Oh, a space nursery. Oh my God. It's so sweet, isn't it? I adore that. There, we got some clutter stuff. Why not? Or maybe even put this towards the back. The little diapers are sending me. Okay, that's cute. Um, But like maybe a little less back there. I'm going to do a little bit of music too. I just realized that was off. Um... Maybe, oh, my lamp top. Maybe like a little lamp or something or like the giraffe or whatever because I feel like we need some more stuff. If you do styled infant rooms, oh, are they really? That's so cool. They really did a lot with this update, didn't they? I am in love with this idea. The giraffe, I know. That one existed already though, but I'm in agreement that it is adorable as I'll get out. I'm gonna put the bear chair here. Oh my god, I forgot about him. I know he's precious, isn't he? All right, so we have like a little bit of infant stuff that I just popped in here for mom. And I'm gonna like go see if I can play. <gasps> Hello, baby. So there's no skills for infants. This is very good to know. Fourth update for the infant update. Woo! I'm so excited. Put Cora down here. I'm just testing out some of the gameplay before we jump in. Cause like I have no idea what's gonna happen. Oh my god. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, I know, I know, I know. Baby care. Let's see. Choose feeding preference. Let's do breastfeeding. Cause like why not? Change outfit. Friendly. Let's do affection. Cuddle. Aw, you're sad. Oh no, missing being held from being put down. Hello, is anyone there? Cora is crying from being put down and left behind. Oh, <laughs> I love this. This is so oh. sweet. <laughs> okay. Here we are, friendly. Let's see, do you have affection? Let's comfort. So that means, okay, so I comforted her. 
And it immediately took the sad mood little way. So I just like the way that they're like interacting. Also, why were you looking at the TV? I know, right? May? <laughs> okay. Uh, friendly. Small talk. Talk to Cora. I know, seriously, Pandora. I can't. Uh, the end table new. Uh, which one? Which end table? Wibs. Oh my Bina god. Cora is a sunny infant. These infants are bursting with smiles and giggles and enjoy engaging with other sims, but they do require more social attention. Um. Yeah, that is scary. You don't have any mods installed or anything, right? That's like broken. Oh my god. I like all the outfits. Looking through the stuff, I've seen something might be new. Oh, um, maybe? They, they, uh, they added a bunch of new stuff to base game. I do know that, but there's a lot. Um, I'm not sure. Which one are you talking about, Blair? Like, what's it called? Change outfit for Korra. No, not like this. Um, we have friendly. I'm going to do some more affection and, like, comfort and stuff. Aw, what are your needs looking like? Okay, so they have all of the same needs. They have a new end table. Oh, do they bland company? Oh, contemporary end table? I think so. Because they came out with like this. Um, with just like a, a crib that they have. Aw, that's so cute. Put Cora down here. Tiana is family oriented. Family oriented Sims are happiest around family and grow sad as a result of extended um, separation. A circular end table? That's so cute. I like it. All right, so what are you gonna do? Aw, she's happy. Look at her. Love shown from receiving affection. Cora feels occasional warm affection. It sure does feel nice, if only if it was more frequent. <laughs> Aw, look at that. <laughs> Thank you, Sims Gurus. The little drool. They really... A circular end table. Oh my god. Wait, like, get toy from... Nope. I'll have you play with this toy. Oh my god, this is so sweet. So... I just want to sit here and watch some of the interactions that she's having. Yes, you can control infant infants. Oh my god they really popped off Sina. i'm just saying like oh my god here's uh between toddlers and infants that's a good idea we're gonna add a an a toddler to the household now that's a good idea just so we can see like the size difference and stuff. Um, add new sim and we're gonna give you a sibling. Oh my god, the little hair. Actually here. All right, so we're gonna play with genetics and we're gonna give you a big brother. So sibling, not sibling, oh, child. It's gonna be a toddler. I know, really, they really did outdo themselves. Oh my god, look at how cute she is. I love her. I like her chunky little legs, too. Look at that. The new animal lamp. I know, aren't they so cute? Blair, they really did good in this one. Honestly, like, incredible. I can't believe this. Um, The little pot belly. Look at his little chunk. Chunky. I know the chunky legs on toddlers. I agree. Look at how chunky. I love the chunky. I'm such a sucker. For, oops. Chunky. Um, I'm such a sucker for chunky babies. And we're gonna give you a different pair of shoes or whatever, and I'm just gonna let it go. All right, you got that. Oh, pff, nailed it. Okay, this one is so cute. And then I'm gonna do like some shorts. Oh, that's adorable. 
Those cottage living shorts, hello? That is so cute. Um, baby fruit having a baby. No. <laughs> no, that's not wrong at all. I think that's like a completely normal thing. These infants are stinking cute. I feel like you love funky shoes, because why not? Warm weather outfit, sure. I'll let you do something here. Do full body. That's cute. Oh my god, the chunky babies. Ah! Oh, what are those? Oh my god, I don't even know what half of these outfits are sometimes. Okay, here we go. This is gonna be Madison or Jamie. Jamie is gonna be angelic my niece was a uh, little we had to clean her neck rolls oh my god <laughs> just so they didn't like get like yeast or like little infections and stuff oh my gosh that's so funny <laughs> i love chubby babies um all right so this is gonna be the girls room so now i'm gonna put down like an actual toddler bed uh little gunk we called it oh poor baby <laughs> Um, the other way bigger, are they? Uh, oh yeah, the, oh my God, they are. <gasps> it's, it's pretty accurate actually, like way bigger. That's really nice. So that's why toddlers look mongo gigantic is because like they're so tiny. Uh, just put a wall light section, a base game string of uh, star lights. Oh, really? Is there really? Stop it. I want these for me. It does, right? It does seem so nice now. I'm with you. Oh my God. They come with all sorts of different colors. This is so cute. You guys, I am dead. So we've got some more base game options. I could see y'all putting these in your like little rooms here. Oh my God. That's base game too. Um, where's like a little night light? I just realized I should probably put like this in here. That is so cute. I have a mighty need, right? I need those. Uh, I've like you have an animal crossing. Nice. Everywhere. Exactly. Every wall in every house from now on. Doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm glad we've got some good string light options for base game though. And they come like in neutral swatches. It looks like. They come in white. Oh my God, I like these better. Like this, alternating a little bit. White and yellow mix. I know, that is so cute. Obsessed. I just want to find a house to play in and the actual cuteness of the family pictures of infants in them too much. I know. I know we could take you could take photos with your camera. You said that's so good. Also, one of the cribs can be upgraded for toddlers. Not sure if you saw it. <gasps> Wait, you, I think someone mentioned that earlier. So like, can you actually like upgrade that or like, how does that work? <gasps> convert to toddler bed. Oh, OK. So with handiness level two, you can upgrade or convert to toddler bed. That's really cool. So like as you you can save some money and like do that. That's really neat. Hi, Brittany. I'm going to do this toddler bed here, though. So like, is it this one in real life? You can do stuff like that. And true to life, it is. It is, isn't it? Because people often buy furniture that like grows with their families like that it just saves money. All the way up to children beds, right? Wait, does it? Oh my God, that would be legit. Oh, OK, so you can convert the toddler bed to a crib. So like if you have a newborn that comes in and then a child that ages out of that, 
you can convert it to the other way. So you can go back and forth if you want. I'm doing good. Welcome on in. I am just like, my ovaries are exploding right now. Oh my God, how cute. Baby hair, not, be, not baby hair, but like. Friendly, let's do affection. Er, babble. Friendly activities. Friendly. Entertain. Oh my God. Right, we'll probably induce your period right in May. <laughs> I want you to not sit on the couch though. I want you to like go here or sit here on the floor and talk to them. I wonder what this will look like if I can go have her sit here like next to her sister. Yeah, yep, we're testing the new babies and stuff. Or the new infants. Hi, Strammy. How are you? Welcome on in. Oh, good luck. Oh, my God. They can sit on the floor together and you can just straight up have them interact. What did I know? That's so cute. Wait, why are you sad? Oh, rest time? Oh, okay, so like, we see that she's getting a little sad. So that's kind of an indication that we probably should put her to bed before she gets angry. Because you know. Um, I'll have her lay her down. I'll do like, birds, because that's cute as heck. And then I'll have her put Cora to bed. Toddlers look so big now. They do, don't they? It's more dynamic for sure. Um, I know she's so tiny, right? Okay, wait, I don't want to do that. That's fine. I thought I always thought it was just gonna be like an instant thing. That's all right. So we're gonna go put her down for a nap. She's also gonna get hungry, so I gotta figure out how to feed her soon. <gasps> the onesie. Lifespan of the stage? That's actually a very good question. So this is normal life stage and you are an infant for four days. Um, toddler stage is now seven. I think this is normal lifespan, I think. Don't quote me on it. Yep, this is normal life stage. So all of the other life stages are longer from what I understand. It'll definitely make it more challenging. Um, I wonder what it's like on long. So toddlers on long life stage is 28. And then infants are 17 on long lifespan. And then 110 for a young adult. That is really good because then you can really play through your family without feeling rushed. I like that a lot, actually. I really like that. That's a huge jump. I don't know what it is for like adults yet. They made that significantly longer. It used to be like seven days for like a child or like... 32 for a, a young adult or something like that. Young adult is longer too. It's 110 days and it was like maybe 30-ish so, so. days or something like that. Welcome on in. Thank you for the follow. I really like that. That's on long lifespan. I love it. I'm so excited. You get attached to these Sims. Our legacy challenges, you guys, are about to get silly. How long is 110 in game time? Um... A lot, generally speaking, I don't know. Like, so basically, so each hour is a minute. If you want to die, if you want to dive into that. So each hour is a minute. So like 110 times, 110 game, yeah, game in game days times 24. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, it's a long time. 110 in game days. So an in game day is 24 minutes. If you just go on regular lifespan. Like normal speed. 
Uh, yes, they, they increased long lifespan. I think they increased all of them. All across the board. Which, is, that's really good. Um, the way I'm making a Barbie and the Sims and she's enough to do, like, five careers. Nice. Aw, wait, can I settle her? Soothe her to sleep. Aw. Oh my god, wait. Aw, we gotta figure out how to soothe her. Tell bedtime story, maybe? Barbara Muldorne. 44 real life hours. Yep, for, so 44 real life hours is the Sims like long, like long life stage. That's a lot. This is gonna change the way that like so many challenges operate. Imagine the 100 baby challenge now. It won't be as much of a challenge to have a single matriarch anymore. Um, a full week of full playtime plus overtime, exactly. Like, if, if you go, assuming you go on normal speed. Right, Bergs? Right. Um, the 100 baby challenge just got so much harder. It did. Aw, oh, okay, so we soothe her to sleep. So she's resting easily. I love this. You know, some people are still having some problems and stuff. That's true. Should I have mom... I don't know, like, can I feed? Give food to Jamie. Help Cora try first baby food. As soon as Cora's awake, we're gonna have her try first baby food. I am really excited for whimsy stories, you guys. Also, not me wanting to redo the Not So Berry Challenge altogether. Because, like, especially since I'm barely, like, touched into it because infants are gonna change everything. Um, hi. Oh my god. The, yeah, the infant update's been out for a few hours. Baby food does not decrease hunger. Don't forget that does not decrease hunger. What do you mean? Or baby food doesn't like solve their hunger need. So I, I moved my Sims into an apartment with an onlay line and I had them woohoo, not remembering that increases of likelihood of twins. Oh my god. That's a nightmare. Not also berry challenge. It's 10 generations. Each generation has like a specific color assigned to them and each generation has like specific things they have to do and like certain traits they have to have and um like skills they gotta get and aspirations they have to have and then once you solve and once you complete all those then you can move on to the next generation oh okay you have to use milk to solve hunger need got it okay so it's just like testing food baby food i guess like trying things out i see that's kind of cool it's like you're trying to eat things essentially and have you go use the toilet Why aren't you able to use that? I'm so confused by you, girl. You should be able to. Hello? Why aren't you able to use it? Um, it would fit this, uh, fit with the Sim as the father from the gallery as a twin himself. Right, right. He said, that makes sense. Babies eat food to try it, not to fill hunger. I don't milk is everything in the first year. Right. Or like formula. Formula or milk and whatnot. I love this. Lurking. Aw. All right. Thank you, Sky. I hope you have a good rest of your shift. I'm so glad to see you. Oop. No, don't prank the toilet. Go use the toilet. There we go. Every generation has twins on the each time they have kids. Oh my god. Legacy where like is your legacy like are you planning it to be that way? I like how toddlers and infants can play with the same toys. Can I potty train you? I mean I know how to do that, but yeah. Right, Meteor, isn't it awesome? I'm so grateful for our community. Just wanted to say thank you guys once again for all the support you guys have shown. We have two little girls. It's an idea. Ooh, that would be so interesting, though. Hi, Abs. Welcome on in. I'm so sleepy. I hate working, but only an hour and 15 minutes until I can go home and make some Sims babies. I love this. They're so sweet. We laid down um, our infant for a nap. Her name is Cora. It's more of a random chance, even with the likelihood. Oh, really? I see. That makes sense, though. It does. All right, Jamie, what are you doing? All right, we're gonna try to potty train, but then I'm gonna see, 
like toddlers look so giant now. Like they're not the same, they're like not different, but they look so much bigger because in comparison to the, um, sorry about that. Um, anyway, uh, shoot, so I had like a, a payment fail because I had to like get rid of my debit card and I had to get a new one issued. Uh, anyway, uh, do you, did you have your infant have creepy eyes? I've been hearing this on having to a lot of people. Uh, no, no, there, uh, mine just came out with like blue eyes. I couldn't have a guarantee of twins. Otherwise I would tell, love to tell a story where one bloodline introduced twins. Oh, that would be so cool. Hi Sage, how are you? So basically like vampires always have twins, you mean kind of thing, like is a, a lore piece or something? I had an issue with the infant's eyes because the default replacement ICC and I removed it and they were fine. Ah, uh, that makes sense. It does. Oh my God, the little sleeves are so cute. I love them. I love them so much. I'm doing good, Sage. Welcome on in. So that would be really interesting though, Magic. Like you could live, you could create a world where like twins weren't a thing or like if you had twins, then it was like you were the chosen ones or something. Um... You know, like, oh, it's only in legend where twins, twin vampires were like a thing, but the moment they were, then it was actually like, yeah. Oh my God, I love that update too. Like that is such, like just a simple update. I'm in love with that idea. Um, So she's learning the parenting skill and then she's learning potty skill here. That's cool to know that like, I don't, the parents never leveled up parenting skill before. I don't think. <laughs> but you know what? Or maybe they did because they never had it above their heads. That was like in the last Sims games. You know, it was always in like the Sims 1, the Sims 2 and Sims 3 because they didn't have that in here. It was just in this panel, wasn't it? MC Command Center, you can have only, uh, or you can have the online line trait, right? Some of the social updates too, right? Oh, mom, so that's exciting. Yeah, um, it was definitely in Sims 3, from what I remember, at least. Unless I'm confusing it with Sims 2. I know this is so exciting. But yeah, that's a really nice update, though. I know this pack. I'm so excited for it. Physical intimacy being an option. Ooh. Um, the social updates. I'm so curious about that. Like, physical intimacy is an option? Huh. So, like... Instead of like it being romantic yeah. or whatever, or like socially, I don't know. Words are hard. The way the chat looks is different to you. Ooh. Let's see here. I wonder if I can give you a little bit of lunch. I'll have you make something like really simple. Like let's do grilled cheese. I wonder, can you breastfeed toddlers too? Are you on food? I think they're on food, which is totally good. I'll get food to Jamie. Keep confusing Todd's for infants, right? Oh my God. It takes a little bit to get used to, that's for sure. It's different. Okay, so she's gonna give her, I think like little animal crackers. How cute! Oh my God, I mean, I know that the toddlers are still the same, but they are a little more comfortable with remaining inside of their um, like high chairs. That was really fast. And her hunger need is completely solved. Aw, what's mom cooking? Oh, grilled cheese. Okay, that's a good choice. Oh my God, I love this. I know the animal cracker crunching. I feel like that was already in the game, but like it feels new because all of this is like stuff that I never really explored because the high chairs are like nightmarish. You know? You're making a grilled cheese and then we're gonna breastfeed the child when she's awake. I wonder if I should go wake her up. Hey, Muffin, thank you so much. Welcome on in. Oh my God, I'm gonna let her out. Uh, no, I'm not going anywhere for St. Patty's Day. I'm going to stream. We're going to be live that day. 
I know, sis. I feel like they really did that. Emerson, thank you so much for the seven months. Welcome on in. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. How are you doing? Love it here. Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. Seven months. Thank you guys so much for going way above and beyond with all your support. Welcome on back. Almost one year with Muffin and seven months with Emerson. That's so cool. <gasps> Aw, is it because I woke you up? Oh no, you're hungry? Needs help from low motives. Okay. I'm going to... The baby care. Um, I want to feed her. Feed. Let's breastfeed you. Um, I don't do the holiday of this month. That makes sense, though. Green for the Sims 4 challenge for St. Patty's Day or something, right? Uh, I have a green screen suit thing I forgot to do on the meatball day. So maybe I'll do something that day. I know the animation where they stretch. I know. It's so cute. Okay, so we're breastfeeding her. I wonder how... Okay, that's pretty good. Oh, and they get extra sleepy when you're breastfeeding, too. That's really funny. Accurate, because usually you breastfeed and send them to bed, like, take a nap when they're this little. That's so cute. Uh, putting the infants to sleep is difficult, right? Oh, <laughs> the burping. Aw. <laughs> Aw. Oh, hello. Ma'am. Ma'am. Ma'am, are you good? Oh, no. You dropped your baby. Oh, no. <laughs> what are you doing? Please. Hello, bug. I have found you. Um, help. Wee woo, wee woo, wee woo. Uh, <laughs> where are you going? Okay, I guess we're just scooting her a little way outside. Okay. Her arms. <laughs> What's this gonna look like? Oh, okay. <laughs> oh my God. That's so funny. Erin, thank you so much for the seven months. We'll come on back. What was this? <laughs> Can someone clip that for me? I usually throw it on a marker, but I can't because of my stream thingy not working for me. Can someone please clip this so I can go back and reference and so I can like see it to like upload that for TikTok? Uh, well, there we go. That's the, I know this one glitch, right? Make sure that you're reporting the glitches to the gurus and stuff like that because um, there's no humanly possible way in the developer world to like launch something super perfect. I'd say that it's really solid so far though. Oh my god, that's a hype train. Hello? Thank you so much for the gifted sub, Sam. That is so nice. Thank you for the hype train as well. You guys are awesome. I super appreciate you. Raining, right? I know. We just autonomously put her outside. Like, I can't. Like, what are you doing? Um, Do I use diaper? Try go night night? Lie down? Fuss? Cry? Crawl around? Turtle. Oh my god. Mingo. Hello, everybody. Hello? Oh my god. I am so like ah <laughs> thank you so much. Mad. Welcome back. Thank you for the 16 months, Matt. And thank you, thank you so much to Mango for the five gifted subs. Thank you guys so much. This has honestly been such a fun month. I am loving hanging out with you guys, playing Zelda, like, and then the this update is coming in. Like, this is amazing. Uh, we have not found the hidden one yet. I don't even remember what I said it to. Angel. Oh my god. Thank you so much for the biddies. EA, thank you for the three months. So, so. Oh my god. And thank you for the follow. Welcome. Hello, everybody. <laughs> thank you, lady. Hello, everybody. Hello. Thank you so much. I'm so excited. Um, I have not played Breath of the Wild or Age of Calamity. Last night, we just finished um, Ocarina of Time. And then we're going to dive into Majora's Mask um, just because it's next in the chronology and I wanted to play it. And then after that, I'm going to be... Thank you, Justin. Oh my God, Justin, good to see you, by the way. Thank you so much. <laughs> um, and then Mingo, oh my God. Hello? 
Thank you so much for the thousand biddies. What is happening? I really appreciate you guys. Oh my God. I really, really appreciate that. Oh my goodness. Um, but after Majora's Mask, I want to play Breath of the Wild and then I want to play Age, uh, Tears of the Kingdom because that's the Calamity era in uh, Zelda, the chronology. Like, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. Ocarina sound cool? They do. They're very interesting. There's different types too. Oh my God, seriously, thank you so much. I played Zelda games before. I grew up on Zelda. I love it. It's like one of my favorite game series of all time. Are you like, oh, you're sad from being wet? Why are we outside right now? I don't know why she just like randomly went out here. And like, can I? I wonder if Cora can like crawl her way out here. I like my hat. Thank you. It's a hype train hat. It's a train connector hat. Which is all the games have I played? The ones that I have played personally, um, I've watched most of them, but I have I've only played Ocarina of Time, and now I have only um now I'm playing Majora's Mask. Um, the side quest for the giant sword. Are you are you asking about um, uh, Ocarina of Time? I'm assuming, right? How's everyone? Hi. Oh my God. Yes, you can control infants. So cute. I wonder like if I can have you crawl here. So she can't get up there. We just left our baby in the rain. So under actions, we can pick up. Oh my God, I'm gonna go put you to sleep though. Let's go sleep. Not that infant, that infant is ind indignant, right? <laughs> I don't want to have to do all the running around an awkward of time for a bigger sword. Um, it does help, but there's a way, like, you don't have to have it, if you know what I mean. But it is nice. You don't have to have it. Aw, hi, cat. Thank you so much for stopping by. Welcome on in. Quirks and milestones tomorrow, too. Yes, we, those are coming on Thursday, right? I think the quirks and milestones... I think because that was like a pack thing and not like this. What are you doing? Please pick up your child and put her inside. Hello? I'm sorry. You can't just come inside anymore. You are just here. Hi, Molly. Welcome on in. Those are pack things. Got it. Okay. I, I know. I wish it were tomorrow. Seriously. Your game refuses to update. There's so, so, a lot going on with the um with like glitches and stuff with the app right now because so many people are trying to do it. Um, you can do Control R with the app open and then try to like get it to update because it it will after a while. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I'm gonna have you put Cora down here. He was having issues before the launch though. Yeah. Um, mine took a while to update. Had to log in and out. Right, it wasn't completely our fault, exactly. I think it was definitely a lot related to it for sure though. Okay, so you're here and then I'm gonna have you go ahead and watch some TV. I did send her to sleep. Like, oh, what? <gasps> There's a diaper? That's right, I forgot. Oh my God, I forgot that like when, di when they dirty diapers, you get diapers now. So it's not just like, oh, an invisible thing. That is so funny. And then, oh, it had connectivity users. Ah, see, that makes sense though. <clears throat> that really does. Um, I'm gonna put like a cute, oh my God, there's this one. And then there's this. I'm gonna slap this here. Hello? Miss ma'am, that shouldn't have kicked you out of bed. That's very strange of you. Very annoying though, Eve, it is. Thank you so much for the hype train, you guys. I'm so grateful for you. Thank you so much. Cloth diapers? Yeah, I heard about the cloth diaper thing. That's so cool. So like, I'm gonna have mom. I just throw that away there. So we got like a diaper trash in here. Aw, are you feeding her again? She's like already full. What are you doing? I guess she has to pee. I'll be uh huh. Aw, they're so cute. I like the little burp bubbles so much. I'm in love. This is such a fun update. Dirty laundry in these diapers. I know that would suck. Like all of it. 
I hope that they nerf, um, eventually nerf, um, diapers or not diapers, but, uh, like dirty laundry. Cause like, I feel like it accumulates super, super, super quick. Or the, the hampers fill up really fast. The, I, honestly, if the hampers filled up slower, I would do it. I would have laundry more often in my builds. Update on the skill bar above their head. It's so nice, isn't it? It is. It's such a huge like quality of life thing. That's so minor, you know? And I have a sack of Blanco diapers and I live for this level of depth, right? I know, the the it's the clutter for me. They understand their like clientele. They know what's going on. They get it. All right, Tiana, what are you doing? Are you gonna, wait, where are you going? Are you just gonna, okay. Put you on the floor and then send her to bed. Okay, I guess we're just in here now. I mean, I suppose it's like 10 p.m. I am going to have her put her in the crib, though. So put Corda to bed. This is going to be so hard with the 100 baby challenge. Imagine when we have twins. Cotton diapers, too. Apparently you have a washer and dryer in your house. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah, that's the, that's the laundry day one I think they were talking about, Cat. Perhaps laundry instead of diaper on the floor. Nice. That's a little more controllable for some people. I think... Like, that's wonderful, actually. It does. I love the idea of having a laundry room and having them to do laundry. Is there a mod for this where the where the hampers, like, fill up slower? And ball that's something I'm willing to mod. Like, I like to keep my mods pretty trim, but, like, that is a quality of life one that I would put... Then I would put laundry in my, in my, in my game fully. Cloth diapers, I also appreciate that. Right. It's so nice, isn't it? Um, I'm going to soothe her to sleep. Rotten lady, thank you for that lurk. What was that countdown for? Sage. So the countdown is um, for an uncapped subathon. Um, oh, she's fighting sleep. I'm gonna tell her a good uh, bedtime story. Um, so it's for uncapped subathon. So that means all bits and subs at time to the clock. And um, so right now it's like it goes beyond the thirty first. So like, the the uncapped so, so subathon ends on the thirty first. But if our sub count goes above. 1,500, which is when our moderators will get tattoos with me because I'm getting a tattoo because we hit over over 1,000. Um, they will get, uh, um, I'll do some more April stuff. I probably won't do uncapped in April, but I'll do something different. I don't know yet exactly. But yes, um, more ink. Hi, teeny fart. Wait, I think I already said hi to you, but I'm gonna say it again. Also, thank you for that follow. I really appreciate you. Um, so there's, a there's like a whole piece so, so. that I planned out. So I'm getting Benjamin in it. Yep, that that was the thing. That's the whole deal. So I'm getting Benjamin. But in that hi. Okay. See you later. Um so I'm getting Benjamin in the tattoo, but I will show you. I don't know where I put the notes for it. Um I have like my own little discord server for like my organization stuff and I don't remember what thing I put it in I think it's here anyway um so okay there's actually oh. hello you're clicking all the voice ones apparently thank you for the uh the gift and stuff that's amazing I really appreciate that so I'm gonna go and I'm gonna show you real quick um, it's under other photos. I can never remember where we moved it to. There we go. Okay, so. Um, this is work by an artist that I like track down on stuff. So it's gonna be like a bunch of flowers. So the main flower, I want, I want a sunflower because sunflowers and they point towards the sun and it's amazing and I love them. And then... Um, I'm going to have the birth one flowers of all of like my dad, who is the aster. Um, it was it's in it symbolizes love, wisdom, faith and color. And it's so him. And then my mom is in December and it's the narciss narcissist, I think, flower. So it's like a daffodil, essentially. Um, creativity, inspiration, awareness, inner reflection, forgiveness and vitality, which is so my mom. So my mom. And then my my oldest brother, July beautiful spirit, swiftness, and generally of positivity and strong bonds of love. Absolutely him. And then my middle brother, April, his birth flower is uh, 
a daisy and I love daisies. And that is purity, innocence, and new beginnings, joy, and cheerfulness. Absolutely him. And then all three of my cats that I've had, so my old cat Dave, if you remember, and then both of my current cats all were born in August. Birth And like, you know, I loved my cat Dave so much. Um, the birth flower, uh, one of the birth flowers in August is a gladiolus. And it, rep it represents strength of character, faithfulness, moral integrity, and remembrance. And I love it. Um, so then March is a daffodil, which is like a narcissist flower. Um, so March is when I went full time on Twitch. And it, um, a narcissist is essentially like a different breed of daffodil. So I'm thinking about just doing a straight up daffodil and having Benjamin pop out of it. So like it's symbol symbolic of like my birthday and my mom and also like the bean popping out of it for like that. So Benjamin's going to be in there. Like, um, and then amongst all the flowers, I'm going to have like a Star Wars Rebel insignia, which I love Star Wars, if you don't know. Probably a Dave paw print of my old cat, Dave a Triforce because I'm obsessed with Zelda and I have been since I was tiny. Um, a four star Dragon Ball because I love Dragon Ball Z and probably about three Sims plum bobs throughout. And then so, yeah, that's the tattoo that I want to get. And Benjamin's going to be in there, too. But um, it's going to be like a big work in progress. Um, and I've wanted to do something like this before. So that is like all of these different pieces and it's going to be either a quarter sleeve or half sleeve budget, all that stuff. Plum Bob leaves. No, I'm going to have like Plum Bob's them. And like, I think all of the things from like the fandoms are going to be colored at least to start. So like the Triforce, the insignia, like all that stuff. And then the Plum Bob's I want to have up to three that are going to be red, yellow and green, like different colors of the plum bob to kind of represent different like the moods that life brings and cause sims and stuff and i think they're just like cute little diamonds that are all over the place like exactly like moodlet plum bobs yeah so i'm a sentimental sappy person and i really wanted to lean into it and i was like i've been thinking about this tattoo for a really long time and y'all believe me <laughs> i'm just kidding but now you guys finally gave me the courage and like that push to do it I'm um, about to play Sims. I was able to fix my game yesterday and gave successions to boyfriend, but yeah, I'm so tempted to download CC now, right? Or to add CC, right? I, um, Everything is broken. And it, just so you know, this update was absolutely massive. And there's probably not um, gonna be like a lot of fixes for things until after the pack comes out on Thursday. Um, sort of one tattoo, right? Like I was like, you know, cause I've been wanting this tattoo. And I'm like, I might as well just implement Benjamin into something and like, and make him look like he's a piece of it, you know, rather than just like there. And here I'm going to get on my left hand, my left arm, I'm going to get my dad's, uh, handwriting there. I think I'm going to wait for the expansion to start my legacy, but I have an idea, right? Uh, I'm like buzzing right now. I want to start, like, I want to work on Whimsy's legacy today, I think. Oh, she angry. Okay, awake and angry. Cora's awake and in an angry mood. Oh my God, it's like one in the morning. Oh no. Okay, wake up. I wonder if I could have like co-sleeping for the babies or for the infants and stuff, at least when they're little, when they don't really sleep through the night or not like co-sleeping or like in the same room. Instead of that, thanks Tyrion, you're so sweet. Um, Test out werewolves of this expansion. It's gonna be so good. Yeah, that's my whole idea behind the tattoo. And I've been thinking about this for several years and like it's all coming together and like it just it works. I was just going to get like a little Benjamin, but I might as well add him to it. And ma make it cohesive, I think it just makes sense. Um, baby care here. I want to like soothe you. Kiss goodnight or go soothe. <laughs> I've had werewolves, but um, have you had to try the gameplay? I've tried a little bit of the gameplay. So basically, we broke into someone's house, we ate their fridge, and then we peed on the rug and then we left. Because <laughs> you can pee on people's rugs, Magic. I think it was like we broke into Nancy Landgrab's house. I broke in, ate her fridge, and peed on a rug and then left, <laughs> as Nancy Landgrab deserves. <laughs> Fitting, it was so good. It was so funny. She deserves it, right? <laughs> I really, really love it. Nancy Land grabs a turd. All right, y'all. Ads are going to play. Um, oh, shoot. So I'm going to pause. 
but I'm gonna go on a quick break and go um, grab something more to drink because I finished my coffee and probably grab like a slice of leftover pizza that I have yesterday. So I'll be back. Oops, hello. So I'll be back in just a few. Oh my God, hello. I can't. And then I think we're gonna play Whimsy Legacy Stories is what we're gonna do. Okay, I promise. Here we go. Um, so yes, I will be right back. Um, pizza is pie. That is technically correct, and I love that. Um, all right, y'all. I'll be back in a few minutes. Let's go stretch our legs and um whimsy legacy stories now that I kind of have a feel for what infants are gonna look like. Be right back.
so so.
Woot. 29 months. How the heck are you? So so. So so.
We're doing chaos. Behave. I don't know the meaning of this word. I figured out how to summon Ahsoka, <laughs> like from anywhere in the house. <laughs> um, she's so sweet.
Look at how big she is. She's very, like, doesn't like to be held, but she's so, like, gentle and friendly. Hi. You're very confused right now, aren't you? <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Are you little baby? She's very soft. Kyber is too. Oh. <laughs> she's like, Mom, what are you doing? Right? I'm going to put her down, though. She does not like to be held, but she's like, I just want to look out the window. Here, honey. I'll put you in the window. Here you go. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. She's like, nope. Yeah, she is not a very touchy-feely cat. Yeah, she's like super silky. She is. Like her fur almost has like a sheen to it, you know? She's like so, so silky. She's, uh, <laughs> it's fine too, right? She's like, excuse me, I was at the window, mom. <laughs> I tried to put her back and she's like, you ruined it. You ruined all of it. <clears throat> hey, what are you doing? What are you sniffing over there, huh? You little gremlin. What are you doing? <laughs> she's like excuse me um hello anyway i'm back hi everybody and she's back in a window again <clears throat> oh yeah you forgot the yeah you forgot the um <laughs> what is it oh my god um the space so it said she's like i want you to put me down but i'm confused about your tensions right <laughs> Richard Marsh should be a thing, right? I think so. If I can work with a brand, like one thing that I would like to do um, is get like a pocket t-shirt and have Richard popping out of it. Kind of like the secret that we have in Discord. Like, I think that would be so much fun. Curl up next to you like in the most awkward places. Oh my God, Cooper does. <laughs> Oh my God, you give the infants a bath. They have a, ba a baby bath chair. That is the sweetest thing in the world. I love that. So guys, I'm going to uh, put my saves back in to the game and hopefully it won't like destroy everything. But should we play some whimsy stories? I'm thinking that we probably should play some whimsy stories today. I honestly think that's so fun. <clears throat> um a hoodie with richard eyes on the hood when you close the strings you become richard that would be awesome i have to work with like a pretty in-depth like merch company to do that though and i want to oh my god now i want to i wonder i don't think like so i can't do that like on Redbubble or anything or like basic merch companies it's like a signed merch thing i oh, know benjamin hoodie would be awesome you know, I'm not, I'm not going to say never because like I would love to have like a rainbow hoodie with like Benjamin eyes on the on the hood. Goals, actually. Uh, or like a green Richard hoodie. With like the eyeballs. Hi, Mystic. Welcome on in. So glad to see you. So I'm going to do. whimsy stories episode two that's what we're doing so, so. today hey thank you so much for the follow welcome on in i'm back welcome i'm gonna put my saves back in my folder <clears throat> and then we're gonna play some whimsy legacy stories I'm actually, wait, no, I'm going to paste or I'm going to copy, not do that because I don't want my saves to get corrupted and then me not have anything that we're working on. That would suck if I lost all those. Oh, my God. I would not be able to like, would not be able to imagine what I would even do. Frustrated because Reddit is down right now and I need to find something on there. Oh, my God. <laughs> is Reddit really down? What? A refresher on whimsy stories. 
So whimsy stories. Basically, um, each generation has like a specific like to- like a like something they gotta do. That's really brag. Hold on a second. That's really bad. Give me a moment. <laughs> so <clears throat> whimsy stories. So basically, uh, each generation has like an outlined story that you work with. So generation one is without a home, but not without love. And essentially you're homeless and you meet a Sim that is also homeless. And um, so our Sim, she uh, she's carefree, nature loving and a naive dreamer, naive dreamer. Um, and we make our money by creating candles, fabricating our own furniture. And then um, <clears throat> instead of like a suburban home, we're going to be making like a little compound place, like a bunch of like little DIY eco homes in uh, the eco lifestyle, like Evergreen Harbor, and then have like a community garden thing in the middle. And I think that's going to be really cute. Um, so kind of like that. And then uh, we're going to stay in this house for the rest of our life, which we're going to kind of like bend the rules to kind of shift to like what we want to do. So we have to find a love, level homeless and name uh, all children after nature. We must live in a suburban style tiny home, but like we are going to make it not suburban just to like fit the story a little better for what we're doing. Foster a healthy garden and then plant parents. We're going to have tons of plants everywhere, all over the place, have at least three tattoos. <clears throat> Master fabrication, handiness, and wellness skills. Um, and we love outdoors and freaking traits. And then we have to complete the maker aspiration and be self-employed with a freelance, simply create a career, which we are right now. And we rarely wear makeup or dress casually. And then this is like the next generation. And we're not going to read that until we're there. But uh, that's kind of the gist of it. So hold on. Um, I also started a Google Doc. I haven't like listed. I haven't listed it like in a command or anything for you guys yet. <clears throat> Give me a sec here. Um, <clears throat> people are already moaning about everything in the pack of the clothes are so ugly. Seriously, right? Like people, you know, no matter how much I've been, I'm staying off of social media whenever there's like a pack release like this, because no matter how well someone does on something, it drives me up the wall that like there will they will there will be people who are so like they will always find a problem with something no matter how perfect it is. And it's like, could things be better? Sure. Are things great? Absolutely. You know, like. <clears throat> like literally be grateful for what we have right now. And I think it's awesome. Um, the update seems so like so good so far. Me just a sec here. Beans. You go quiet when you tell them to apply the Sims 4 and create something so we need to see how better it is. All right. <laughs> exactly. Well, because like the developer side of things, though, like they can't just wave their magic wand and make it happen. There's like so many like different steps of what has to occur in the developer world to get like approval, get funding for whatever, you know, there's project hours and all sorts of stuff that I don't even know, but you can't just like wave their wand and make and appease every single thing that everyone wants. They have to tackle things in such a specific order, you know? Um, give me a second. My authentication stuff, I'm, I'm getting into my email again. Okay. So. Okay, so whimsy story stuff. So this is like the background story of our current Sims that we have. So it's the whimsy stories and we began it on March 11th. And then Ren Meadows is our Sim. And she's a Sim that has moved to Evergreen Harbor, giving up her corporate job in San Myshudo. And she set out to heal from burnout and build a new life that she is proud of so, and so. that aligns with her nature-loving freaking mindset. She chose Evergreen Harbor as a place to settle down and find others with the same DIY, eco-conscious, and mindful mindset of her own. Um, she's, um, uh, and then we met Poppy in a bar. So Poppy is also someone who is homeless, and we randomly met them at the bar. And thank you for the follow. Um... She's a musical, nature-loving, fun-loving sim. She finds herself in Evergreen Harbor trying to begin a new life after a brutal breakup. 
With only the clothes on her back and her guitar, she sets out to find work, and she is certain that she cannot trust or love ever again. Exactly, yes. I Like, criticism is healthy. Like, it's a good thing. But there's, like, so many ridiculously lofty expectations that kind of, um, and things that just get so caustic and unrealistic, I think. Uh, yes, Peachy, there's the link to the, to the challenge right there. Um, supposed to be, uh, a changing table. Yeah, it's in, the, it's only in the new pack. Um, it's not in base game. So we should, if you get the pack, it'll be out Thursday. Um, all right, I put my saves in and hopefully I don't die now, basically. I'm so scared! Wasn't there supposed, isn't there supposed to be like one, is it the wall one? That's like a bathroom one that's in the pack as well. It's like a changing table. Like... For bathrooms. I agree. I think they should have done a base game changing table. Um, one good thing, exactly. Like the Oreo method hide is something I'm always, always like a major fan of. And the koala stations, yeah. Oh my god. All right, so I think this is our whimsy stories here we go oh my god how cute maybe it'll come with an sdx drop or whatever they're called sometimes they do that you're right sis that totally could be it um so magic you said that you're a fan of what lot again is it um nox greenberg i'm obsessed with that sim okay i don't have a problem oh nox greenberg where does nox greenberg live like where is he is he up here it's, I think this is it, isn't it? On the Harris lot or whatever over there. The sandwich method, right. I heard the Oreo method. So it's like you layer it. Oh my God, this is like such a cat magnet. The freaking thing. So I made this into a maker space. This is so cute. I like how it like updates it or whatever when you, when you do that. So I'm very excited for that. Hmm. So, like, depending on, I guess you can just assign it, like, when you, when you do your save file, I have to make, like, a maker space. I have to do, like, all the different lot traits that are here, it seems. Like, if this is, like, something else rather than a maker space. Oh, it's in the crane house. Oh, oh, that guy. Okay. That's right. Oh, he lives with his moms. I love that. Oh my God, that's so cute. I guess I never noticed it because I really don't mess with like townies all that much, you know? It's honestly just like a flaw in mine because like I'm not really doing that as much. Um, okay, so the last time that we played, I can't remember what we were having Ren do. I gotta remember. He's dreamy. He's like <laughs> your gay dream. I love that magic. That's cute. We so gay. Okay. Oh, yeah, I have my eyelashes. We're going eyelashes, uh, eyelashless out here. Also, look at how cute she is, though. Even without her eyelashes, I'm into it. Um, okay. So, basically, I gotta remember what we had her doing. I'm also gonna play a little bit of light music in the background. That fills the holes a little bit. It's kind of nice. Okay, so, um, Poppy is at home. And I honestly, I kind of want to like bring Poppy here, but also you're kind of hungry. So maybe should I have her continue fabrication? Because I have like a bunch of stuff that I can go and like furnish our house with, furnish our house with. So maybe I'll send her home because it's like 5 p.m. Poppy's home from work. I think it's just a good thing. We're going to go home. Fills the holes a little bit. Tyrion! <laughs> Why are you guys doing this to me? Come on. All right, I'm excited to like have a baby somehow with them. This is gonna be so good. Remember back to when MM needed the expansion pack to play something I didn't know when I first bought it? Yeah, I remember Donkey Kong 64 also was that way too. 
And um, I remember my dad grumbling that he had to go buy that in addition to the game. And like we went out to the store because we couldn't play it. So we had to wait. I remember like Donkey Kong 64 was like the first game that we had to that we got that we had to have that with. I remember that was like a big deal. Like the expansion bag that's so fun. It was like the red thing with like the holes all over the top of it that you stuck in the top. It was the nightmare. It was. I think it was like a $60 upgrade or something too for like your system. And it basically made the bit rate like better or something. So that's why Majora's Masks, where Majora's Mask looks better than Ocarina of Time. Um, so this is Poppy. Okay, you're kind of stinky too, but I'm gonna have you grab. I'm gonna have you grab something. I have a quick meal. I'll have you have some yogurt. And almost uh, impossible to find towards the end of console's lifespan. Yes, right. My bro my oldest brother has that. Um, has like our old Nintendo 64 from when we were little. I remember that. Okay, I wish they wouldn't like automatically sit here. Because I want multiple people to be able to use this like cooler. Almost impossible to find, right? Like, God. Um, I so I started Majora's Mask a little bit last night, but I really want to um <clears throat> start it again. Uh, because I barely I didn't get like that far into it, but I think um it'll be good so that way i i started like at a halfway decent time and then you guys that are like that weren't around at like two in the morning when i decided to start it for some reason um could experience it i don't even know if there would be any around not hoarded by fans right like i don't even know either because you know people like hoard stuff like that <clears throat> maybe throw that away so you're not having fun at all, but I feel like that we need to just have like romantic affection, not romantic. I'll just be friendly. Affection. No, maybe uh, small talk. Let's do get to know. I like that. Uh, how in love with the new pack are you? I'm very in love with it. I haven't, I don't have it yet, but like I get it on Thursday, just like everybody else. But like, I am so excited for it and I've heard really good things about it. Like it's going to be really good. From what I've heard. Small talk, let's do talk about warm temperature. And I just want to be a better friend of you. It's really what I want. So right now we are as homeless as homeless gets at the moment and maybe we're talking about i wonder if i can put down like one of the boards or something here actually we can make candles so i'm totally gonna go have her harvest this because we can make candles eventually sarah's glitching through walls i was mentioned earlier what sarah's glitching through walls what do you mean in what way in what way? Which gameplay mods do you use? Um, I'm mod free right now, but the mods that I use for gameplay, I use, uh, sometimes I use the live in business mod. I have also been known to use MC Command Center, MC Woohoo. I, I actually have to add UI cheats to that. And then I use, I think it's a little Miss Sam fix for like the gardening stuff. Cause it just like deletes itself or it goes back to like the planted like soil stage. So it fixes that. Um, it's just a fix mostly. I asked earlier, are, um, and sorry if I missed it. Do any of you guys know if, um, there is a mod out there that fixes how quickly laundry accumulates? Like, is this like a thing? Because I feel like it's like a, a pretty big issue and I would add laundry into my build if I didn't have the problems that we did with that. Let's do interests. Let's do evangelize vegetarian benefits. Um, with the stair railings no longer intertwined with regular banisters. Really? I didn't know. Rival, someone just said that um, in our chat. Uh, Magic just said that. That's awesome. I had no idea. Like, I wonder, I'm going to try it. I'm just going to throw it on some things real quick. With regular banisters. So basically, you mean like... If we have something like this, um, I'm just going to throw this down. Oh, oh, gi oh, giraffe, you really? You were the one that mentioned it? What? OK, hold on. It's like this. And then I think I can get like a staircase to put down. Oh, my God, wait. OK, uh, oh, no, you're good. I, it was it was you, apparently, Rival. Sorry. 
Welcome on in. Is that like, how did it? So am I, am I misinterpreting this or is it like something like this or how? I like the banister. Oh, right. I really do like those banisters. Oh, they're so cool. Um, I wonder, do they also work better to the second story too? Right, like, I wonder what it is with the second floor. Maybe, let's try. Just gonna throw this down real quick. Um, hey, Rotten Lady, welcome back. How are you? Good to see you. Um, would glitch, uh, railings going, walls would glitch? Okay. Maybe it was the walls thing then instead of like a foundation, which is totally valid. Oh my god. Really, Siri? Oh my god. I, I'm not surprised. Little Miss Sam has all sorts of little fixes like that. I have, uh, the, like, a few of her mods. Um, laundry overhaul is amazing, if I remember it correctly. Increases the amount of hampers can hold, but it does a few other things as well. Thank you, Siri, because, like... Thank you. I had to check to see my phone. <laughs> um, thank you, because especially since we delve into this, I actually want to get more into, like, the real family gameplay stuff, so thank you for mentioning that. She has so many things. Windows showing railing. Oh my god, that is such a big thing. I'm a builder. Like you guys know that though, but like. So so. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. So many use of other mods. Oh shoot. I'm gonna pause though, but I'm gonna check this out. Oh my god, Joey. Uh, Joey! I don't know why I was saying Joey. I just like saying that because it's funny. <laughs> Look! That looks so much better. Oh, the windows. Yeah, like the walls. To the window, to the wall. <laughs> that looks so good, seriously. Imagine the loft stuff now. You're not going to have like your silly little things showing through. Try to banish her for the serialing along the side of the building. You will notice that the serialing doesn't show anymore. Oh my God. So like this. Wait. So like, are you talking like this? Oh my God. Look at that. The fence. It looks so 90s. Anyway. Or what one are you referring to? I also might be doing this incorrectly. <clears throat> Stairs on diagonal walls and floors. Right. Um, it does look so much better. I'm in agreement with you. <clears throat> uh, referring to is still this that little part. Yeah, it still does this apparently. It's still showing. That's weird. Okay. But honestly, this big, very big, like massive even. That is so good. Thank you for sharing that. I wouldn't have even noticed it and I didn't see that in the patch notes or comprehend it with the railing. Yeah, basically. So before when you put the railing on your stairs, if the, if your staircase was right up next to a wall and you had like windows on it, it would like have the railing inside the windows and like on the wall and it was really weird looking. So it only made it essentially like one sided in a way. Live stream that we couldn't fix it completely or something. Got it. OK. <clears throat> That's good to know, though. So, like, that is still very big. And I'm totally okay with that. Like, the progress that has been to up to this point, or I made that up to this point right now. By the way, we're in an ad break right now. Sorry, guys. I have a little cookie dough granola bar thing. Hey! Brunhilda! Thank you so much. I really, really appreciate that. I really appreciate you. Welcome on into the Beanie Weenie Club. I hope you're having a good day. Like, I know, I, I think they probably can fix it, but it matters with like their budget and everything that they are allowed to do, if that makes sense, you know? Oh my God, I really wanna go download that Little Miss Sam mod now, but I know it's not gonna work because everything is broken right now and I'm very depressed, but also we don't have the ability to have laundry right now because like we're homeless. So like win-win, lose-lose, I guess. Let's go, I wanna... 
If you guys don't know Little Miss Sam, they're making progress. They are. They are. I'm so proud of them. Where's the 10 from? I think this one is from Outdoor Retreat. Yes, Outdoor Retreat. It's something that you can even put in your Sims inventory like they packed it away. Like you can move it in game in like live mode too. But uh, even two Sims that don't have a good relationship. So like these two Sims, they barely knew each other. They can sleep in the same tent. Priority is focusing on infants. Exactly. And I am a-okay with that. <clears throat> when they say they couldn't, they probably meant like they couldn't yet or they didn't have the means to. But, you know, most of a lot of the community wouldn't be as responsive to that answer. I need to outdoor retreat like I own and I have to use it. Yeah, yeah, to use the pack content. I think I've used the tent like twice. Oh no, your horrible challenges. Honestly, you're good. I've used the tent twice. I've used it once when we had to go trek up the mountain in our decades challenge in that storyline that we did. And then we also are using it now and this is my second time. So, okay. Okay, so gameplay mods, is it like bug fixes or is it just gameplay mods? Probably not bug fixes. Probably small mods. Laundry. Okay. Um, I'm looking for the laundry overhaul. A little hard to navigate there's so much honestly and it's kind of a lot maybe gameplay mod i'm really smart occasionally okay so this basically Clothes of Sims without lazy and slab trays that get autonomously uh, to be thrown in the hamper. Um, with this mod part, you can choose when clothing pile gets generated. Also, only at least uh, least used clothes will get generated instead of clean clothes and you can't wash. Okay, so prevent all, prevent all except neat tray, prevent kids and teens only. So basically like you get to choose what prevent, what makes piles. So new interaction by hamper, put laundry in inventory. Put laundry on community loss when changing clothes. Doing laundry on community loss costs money. So there's like a... You can make a laundromat. Is that what I'm comp... Is that what I'm comprehending? So like doing laundry on community lots costs money. Washing via washing machine or drying via dryer clothes on community loss costs two simoleons. Added option lets you wash and dry clothes on washer and WM dryer, even if they are clean and dry. Oh my God. It sounds like it. Oh my God. I want to make like a little community lot, like a little community center where they have a laundry room. Imagine. Imagine. There's a coin base one in build mode. Is there really? Excuse you? Is there? I knew there's like this one. Uh, not good. Oh, be princess. I'm so sorry. Sending love, my dear. Yeah, I think I don't think there's I think these are just all the same. I think. These ones are the stackables, which is the same exact because you can stack these two. Like they're just unstacked and stacked. Like they're the same ones from what I understand. Same price and everything. Um, it's one of the wise watches. Oh, is it really? Are you kidding me? What? That's new. Is that, is that new? What? Oh, 
Um, I have never seen this. Then again, I like avoid laundry like the plague because it sucks like with the how. Oh, my God, with how much it like. Accumulates white with white swatches for laundry. Yeah, there's one without a coin slot. And then there's the one on the far end, like the very bottom, the last one um, that has a coin slot on it on both of them. I'm making a laundromat in this. We're going to make a little community lot upgrade thing, and then we're going to make it into a laundromat room or have a laundromat as soon as I can get this mod. I know, isn't that so? Like, just like a little area where they can do laundry and stuff. There's a computer, there's like a laundromat in it. Like, imagine how fun. So this is with the small laundry overhaul mod that I'm looking into right now. Yes, oh my God, absolutely, mimosas. So basically, um, they changed some of the buffs and how to put away clothes. Better hamper. Increased hamper capacity to 100. How? All hamper on lot will be emptied when one gets emptied. That is seriously amazing. Oh, Raven, I'm so sorry. I needed some love. Oh, for sure. I'm so sorry, Raven. Absolutely out of spoons today. Get some cozy action here, my dear. Be princess. I really hope everything goes okay. <clears throat> this sounds so fun. The stories of Sims interacting, especially come growing together, right? I'm so excited for this, you guys. Thank you for letting me know this exists. Any mods fixed yet? Uh, you'd have to check all of them individually. I don't know. Not any that I've looked into, but I'm assuming that probably not. I'm like so excited for this laundry mod, you guys. Oh my God, I might choose the other one because it's closer to the color my grandparents wanted to try to make it home sometimes. Right, that makes sense though, Hide. Like, I had no idea. Like, I um, someone mentioned this to me, so like, I am so, so stinking excited for this. Um, where did I put this? Uh, Sims mods. Here we go. Okay, I don't know. Oh my god. I want this mod immediately. Personalities that conflicted a laundry mat, uh, fighting over machines, right? Imagine the gameplay stuff. Hi, AK, welcome on in. So glad to see you. I am so gonna do that. Um, colorful laundry, Miriam, you said. Um, but in real there's colorful laundry machine, are there even colorful ones? Yes, they, certain brands do have ones where you can get colorful ones. Yeah, they're very, they, they can be more expensive for sure. But I have a friend who has like a yellow laundry machine and wa washer and dryer. Hello, Katrina, what are you doing? But I want these two to like actually go and sit and have a conversation or just chit chat or whatever. We should probably go somewhere. Like why is your fun tanked? Maybe we should go to the bar together to go take a shower or to go bathe in the sink because <laughs> we've been doing sink baths. Depends on where you get them and the color and uh, and when it comes to price, exactly. Yep. Like my brother has like a, a navy blue set. Mine's just white and stuff. Is there a gym? Um, There's not a gym here. I've just been having them go take sink baths because I, I think they probably would like have to hitchhike or wouldn't go somewhere for like a shower, I guess, in the story. But if we did a gym, if we, if we did have a gym, that is absolutely something they would totally do. A pink one online, but it was for a dollhouse. Oh my God, <laughs> that's so funny. I know a lot of people also like paint them too. Um, You can do stuff pretty well or pretty nicely with that. So I'm emulating sink baths for them. Uh, oh, a giant sticker. Yeah, like vinyl. Uh, some people vinyl wrap them uh, or get like some sort of decal or even like a peel and stick wallpaper style thing. I've seen that. Depending on what look. Hi, Tawny, welcome on in. So I just realized there's like a coin operated laundry thing in laundry day, like the washer and dryer. And I'm going to make a eventually going to make a community lot where they can take their clothes and then do their laundry. 
and stuff. Hi, uh, infants yet, Ludo? I have not. Oh wait, yes, I have a little bit. I have them, what do you think of them? Um, I really like them. I think it's really cute. And I think they did a really good job of everything. Um, and I'm very excited to um, have our Sims like adopt a little child and get a little home together and whatnot. Like, I'm so excited. Oh, from Alice's doctor point, poor girl's ears are still acting up a month after surgery. Oh, oh my gosh, that really stings. Just wanted to feel so much better. I'm sorry about that, Tawny, though. I'm really glad to see you, though. Um, you were just relaxing and doing the whimsy legacy stories. So we've got uh, Poppy and Ren doing their things. So I have these two set to long lifespan, I think. And their age, long lifespan used to be like with adult, it used to be like 30 days or something like that, I think. Now it's like 110. That is going to be so much fun to see these kids kind of grow up. Eardrops now? Oh, I really hope that does help. Poor girl. Ear pain is no fun at all. It's so uncomfortable. I can't even imagine because she can't like tell you, you know? Poor baby. You go here. I'm having her watch some TV for some fun. I can also actually just have her do this too. I forgot about that. Earbuds turn on. And we're going to listen to... I feel like she'd be into like focus music. You know? Did you clean this up? Oh, you're good. Having her wash her yogurt bowl in here. What a dweeb. Let's go travel somewhere together. Uh, the coin laundry and laundry day. Yes, um, they are. I just found this out too, Garris. Um, yeah, I didn't know there was either. So it's like the, um, there's like all the swatches. There's a the last white swatch. You'll notice that like instead of like the heat or like the little droplet for like the dryer, it'll turn into like a coin slot. Um, it's the last swatch on the on the on the washer and the dryer both, and you can make them both coin operated. Um, I know it's one of mine, but I never play with it. So okay, I'm going to do there's like a laundry overhaul mod because that my one qualm that I have with laundry day is that it accumulates too quickly. And I just found out for some reason, like without questioning it, that there was like a mod for it because I'm not used to like relying on mods that much. So I'm going to be doing seriously, Angel, I'm going to be doing this and little Miss Sam changed it. So the hamper capacity is 100. So like doing laundry isn't like tw a five times a day thing. Like I would actually do laundry now. Hey, how often they break, right? Yep. That is really irritating though. I agree. MCC was just updated. Was it really? <gasps> okay. After we take a little break, I'll totally do that again actual laundry concept exactly so i think this would actually make it like a little bit better for so many people and dryers can find it right um it's gonna be interesting to see like how people can do um uh or how people get like there i can't remember um or like upgrade it i know but come on i know it is it's a little intense isn't it I agree with that one. Um, yeah, I really want to have my Sims upgrade it and whatnot. You just throw away. Maybe I'll have her go ahead and go to sleep. Wait, no, we're just going to sit up and talk for a little while longer. Like, let's do some friendly interactions, maybe hobbies, local fishing spots or something. Gotha. In the house. Mm. No a house of six with laundry and sometimes house. sims don't want to do it oh, right up. i mean also fair <laughs> okay you are gonna be funny maybe tell some ooh, potty humor um yeah the lint trap right even even when you do clean the lint trap it's just crazy <laughs> it's a hot fix also the major stuff is fixed but there might be some uh, some little issues uh that's good to know Excellent. Avenue Smishy. <laughs> Green Noy Foiby. Oh. I wonder, okay, we're both in like a happy mood. I wonder if I can like test the water with like hitting on her. Don't go to bed. Wait, you are kind of uncomfortable and about to like get sleepy, so I don't want to make this weird. 
So maybe I'll try to send you to sleep. So we have like some DIY things that I can definitely use in this whole thing. Or like uh, in our inventory. Because I made a bunch of furniture for us. This one's also like... I can sell that because that one was like a dumpster dive thing. There's also an entertainer career thing. So I'm just going to get rid of this. And then we just got some DIY things. So like we have a little bit of furniture and I think I might be able to help her just continue to do stuff. Have her go grab a quick meal. How are your needs looking? You're hungry. Like what time do you have to go to work? 5 p.m. Oh my God. So she works night shifts now. That's so annoying. Right jokes are practice music. Okay. I wonder if I can get them to like get like make a little shanty because we have 4,000 simoleons. I don't know, maybe like a few thousand more simoleons because then I might be able to use like the A-frame that we had. I don't know though. Um, I don't know how else to describe it, but I also have the issue with laundry day when you clean the clothes and then it says it's clean and it turns to filthy when you actually take it out. Only thing I think it fixes is buying a new washer dryer. That's weird. I wonder if it's like, if you have to like upgrade your laundry machine to like clean more efficiently or something. Um. Hmm. Let's see. It always happens after they're upgraded. Oh, that's really weird. I don't know. Um, I almost wonder if that's like a little glitch or something. You have to buy a new one or like reset it or something, I wonder. Why are you having fun? <laughs> Tessa, thank you so much for 39 months. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Holy shnikes. Hello, welcome, everyone. Welcome. Good morning from here. Good I morning. hope everyone is having a great day. I'm having a wonderful day and I really hope you are too. It's update day. The infants are adorable and I think they're so cute and I think you'll love them. Um, I've always had to buy a new one. Even reset object and work is so weird. That is really weird. Um, a feature that makes clothes dirty after a while on a machine that has glitches. Oh, that's fair. Because I do know if you let it sit, it gets like stinky. But yeah, maybe that's a glitch. That's a, that's a good point though, Mirian. I see that. All right, so y'all are sleeping, just relaxing. Oh, I'm gonna go and have them go to the bar and take care of like some hunger and some needs and stuff real quick. So we're gonna wake up. I'm actually gonna have you change your clothes too. Outfits, change outfit, it's cold. I'm gonna change to this, mm -hmm. so cold and rainy. Um, here we go. I forgot about the 14th is my nephew's birthday. Uh, so it's a double great day for you. That's amazing. That is a happy birthday to your nephew. <clears throat> I know the patience with a declining health of a older, you know, of, of elders is really is a difficult thing. That is, that's so scary. Um, let's see here. The waterfront. I was like, oh, no, we need to go to the bar. See if we can take another bath. Their hunger get, declines like so quickly because of the fact that they're like basically living off of snack food currently. But it's saving us a lot of money at the moment. I'm going to go ahead and go inside. I'll have you order food. And let's do hump pita hummus and papas or whatever. I'm also gonna have you go to the bathroom. Victor Feng, you know, you can like watch TV at home, like in the comfort of your house. Back to the doctor, a sinus infection, medication and go back in a week. Aw, I hope it gets better. I know I had a sinus infection 
um, that led into an, uh, a, st a starting ear infection earlier this year, or earlier, or mid last year, I think. It was last year. And do not claim that. <laughs> I really hope you feel better soon. All right, so Ren, what are you doing? Um, also, there's one thing that I forgot to do. I'm gonna go modify and create a sim because I forgot to set them to have... Oh, baby. Which way? oh shoot. Um, romantic preferences and stuff. So cast. Full edit mode. Here we go. Six of five. I know, right, princess? I feel so fortunate. Mashi, Thank you all so much again for hanging useful. out and subbing and having fun with me. It's been so great. <laughs> Sexual orientation. Women. No. Women. Women. No. Women. Only in women is finally an infant. Ah, that's awesome. I love it. That's so good, Sisset. Wish you could set romantic interest without going into full cast. Right, I agree. Almost like a preference menu. Kind of like you declare your favorite weather or something. Um, okay. We are back out. Convince to support nap. Five. Wait, influence. Okay. We have to start talking to people about nap stuff. All right, so this is Poppy's like cup of tea right now. I'm gonna have her talk to people about naps. We'll go downstairs. Wait, where is the plate of food? All right, so she's just hitting him up. Okay, convince to support nap. What should we do? So. This is like an overall one rather than um an overall one rather than like a community lot nap. I like this. So I'm going to convince like green gardening. So basically support the nap by gardening, tending your own colony of bees and then your own insect farm. You'll be able to even go greener, go even greener with a biofuel you can collect from an insect farm. Let's all dig in. So there's the rock your body and mind. So like, this is being healthier overall upcycling initiative. Um, influence everyone to recycle and fabricators to turn those materials into something that I kind of like the idea of like the green gardening one instead of all the rest. Green initiatives in Port Promise. So sometimes green doesn't always mean completely green, but at least a step towards it. It's time to blanket Port Promise with luscious plant life. Um, cause I want this, how do you make it, do, do you do like keep voting on things to like clean up all the pollution? Um, for a while this is amazing, nobody makes them better salmon pasta than Factor and there's not even a DoorDash fee, right? Isn't it awesome? I love, I'm so glad you've tried Factor though, Obo, I love it. Um, by the way, if you guys are interested in trying Factor, my code specifically is good for like another two days. Um... So thank you to all of you guys who gave it a try. I really like it. Um, so my code's good for two more days. And then we are done working with Factor this time around, but I'm so excited and I loved uh, their food. It's wonderful. Um, not gonna compare a conversation at Laundry Glitch, but I got that after the upgrading my item. My fix is that I take both a washer and dryer and put them into my family inventory. Then I go back into live mode. Then I go back to build mode and replace the washer and dryer and it works again. Okay, then that's good to know. Sisset, did you hear that? I have to put no refunds and I, will, I don't want a grandma in my shell description before I uploaded. Oh my God. <laughs> That's fun. Green and is the one that clean pollution. Okay, cool. I'm totally going to like politic off of that. That's awesome. Right? So just in your inventory, out of your inventory. And there you go. Oh, COVID. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, Tibby. I really hope you feel better soon. I'm so glad to meet you though. The bartender is just chilling out with us. I like that. Hi, Piper. Kitty. My sweet cat rubbed on me. He's so sweet. You're very welcome. Hope you're staying hydrated. 
Um, we are playing the Whimsy Legacy Stories, and I'm thinking that we are going to have our Sims, um, like, adopt a baby, I think, or probably IVF. I would like for Ren or for Poppy to, like, do IVF, and I don't know how to do it, but we'll figure it out. So did we get support? It seems like she was able to convince that guy. So I'm actually going to have her go ahead and convince to support. Like, maybe we'll make a little bit good friends, like, hit her up and, like, talk to her a little bit. Maybe interests. Enthuse about meal. And maybe I'll have her, like, small talk, brighten day, and, like, spice her up a little bit. Oh, these oh, feel like these two honestly feel like the kind of sims that i would love to run into in the bar like ren and poppy they'd just be so much fun to like talk to and stuff all right so let's do um not hobbies but like interests where is it um small talk here let's brighten day Okay, that's so fun. I wonder if I could like introduce. Let's do friendly introduction. Let's do friendly and then maybe some more small talk. Ask about career. Hi, Mustang. Welcome on in. Crystal, welcome on in. Whimsy Stories is going really well. So we are continuously like having um Poppy and Ren kind of just like hit up and talk to um, some of these people that are just kind of hanging out and they're talking about like the green initiatives with things so they can like clean up the area. So I'm going to see if I can convince her. Maybe they're having like a good conversation. I'll see if I can get some support on it. I feel like instead of just diving right in, maybe this will work, but I don't know. Let's do some small talk. Maybe try to talk to who's this? Hillary Laurent. I hope everyone's doing well though. Welcome on in. Um, <gasps> did you really just convince two people like back to back? Because she just walked away and I think she's going to go vote now on some stuff. Like, hello? That's awesome. How many influence points do you have? Hello, can I talk to Myra? Myra, you're into gardening and whatnot. Are you going to be good? Hi, Casper. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you. How are you doing? Uh, I'm convinced to support NAP. Maybe let's try the green initiatives one. Introduce self to 10 different sims. I don't know if that actually worked with that interaction or like if it completed it or if that sim just walked away before it like did it. We'll see. Don't turn me down, Hillary. Lorraine, the North. Talking about it. Like, yeah, you know, this garbage is not very good for anybody. So, I like how she's just behind the bar. <clears throat> oh, I hope you feel better, though, Tibby. I love Poppy. I know Poppy's so cute. Ooh, she's like she's bought it. Yeah! All right, at least two Sims that I can confirm right now. Um, What about Katrina? We hit up Katrina. MCC just put a hot fix. Yeah, yep. I'll definitely, like, if we, um, I definitely am gonna put out or, like, go uh, download that later. I wonder if we're gonna get the green thing going, like, the green initiative. Clean stuff up a bit. It's gonna look so much better around here. Um, so there's, like, some other one. That, oh, Katrina's feeling tense. Maybe I shouldn't talk to her about things, but maybe I should do... A like compliment outfit or something? I don't know. So I'm just gonna whip out my hummus and have them eat. <laughs> just sit here and grab a serving of things. Pocket hummus, we love that. <laughs> Literally just installed it. Oh my god, thank gosh it's back. I just need UI and better build by now. Right. I knew UI Cheats is going to be the next one. I don't really use it as much, but it's still good. I'm going to see if I can convince. Oh, not that one. I don't want the bags. Sorry. Green initiatives. Uh, 
That guy's feeling a little tense, though. You can see he's, like, uncomfortable. You gotta go poop. So she's being very confident. I don't know if I'm gonna convince Myra. This is probably gonna be, like, the end of this train right now for us, because we've convinced at least two people back to back. I wonder if I can convince... <gasps> it looks like she did it. Oh my god, dang! Okay, Poppy, go off! Poppy is, like, really... She's got golden, like, jaws or whatever. Golden chops or whatever you want to call it. Okay, I want to try to see if I can then... Because I think we only have, like, a few. How much influence do I have or whatever? I don't know if it's, like, listed down here. Golden jaws or something like that. You know, chops like she's, like... <laughs> Good at talking, UI. Uh, your UI cheats is a mod where you can basically like, click on anything on the UI and like change the weather, change the time, all that stuff. We have, you've never heard of that phrase though, Rotten Lady, like the golden chops um, or golden jaws. It's, it's really just where you're, someone's like really charismatic and good at talking. But Automod would pick up on that just out of context though, straight up. Where is there a board around here? I don't know if we have like a voting board anywhere in the area. Unless I think I think I straight up have to go over here. Oh, your mind just went to the gutter. Oh my God. <laughs> I could see that. Okay, should I have her convince her? I don't think I can like convince someone who's working. Oh my God, wait, Poppy's in it. I'm gonna have Poppy like just straight up get I said Eleanor here. Silver tongue, and it's actually out of context, so that sounds... Oh! Out of context. Oh, I think maybe it's silver tongue that I've heard of. I think that's it, rather than golden chops or something. I know it was like some sort of metal, like that, and like mouth. <laughs> Very accurate, though. Silver tongue is really bad sometimes. You've been convincing everyone. Oh my god, really? What a machine. I think that's like four people. Poppy is like a, an activist, if I ever saw one, honestly. Poppy's been doing so good. Poppy is popping off. MCC just announced the update on Mana. It's good to go download the new version for the update. Yeah, I'm excited. There's It's like a hot fix, so like there might be some glitches in there, but not like everything. Fabricate five items, so level five in fabrication. So I just have to keep fabricating. So, oh my God, it's only like 1 p.m. I thought it was gonna be so much later right now. I'm also gonna have her eat more hummus. Imagine how gassy you're gonna be. I'm gonna make you do a quick little shower or... Actually, you know what? I'm gonna clean. There we go. The testing sheet's true gonna be so much better because like it's not our deal it's not our house it's the bar so i feel like it's fair are you able to like talk to marcus flex can you convince him maybe do she's not as charismatic as the other girl so maybe i should honestly leave this up to poppy to have her like convince more people to vote because that's not really ren's part Maybe I'll try this. Maybe I'll have you just go introduce yourself to people. I'm so excited. All right, so Myra and then Marcus. Those, those two are from Get Together, I'm pretty sure. Poppy, you coming? Okay, so Poppy's on her way down right now. Uh, hey, Marcus. Huh. Cheerful introduction. Because we know that... Oh, my God, Marcus, where are you going? Because we know that she is, like, super charismatic. Oh. Well, you know, decently charismatic, at least. Salvadorian culture? Oh, weird. I think it might have been the music. So she's at least level four in charisma. There's this. How influential are you, my dear? I'm going to have you just have like a good conversation. Try to cheer up maybe because she's feeling sad. You're feeling kind of energetic, so maybe I can influence you. So I'll see if I can get this to work. 
Una Narca Nap. Watch out. Introduce. Hi, Kristen. Welcome on in. Right, Casper? I really want to see. Does anyone know how to do like the IVF thing? I wonder if it's on the phone. Runa. Do home. A science baby. I think they would spend 1,200 simoleons. Wait, no, they haven't even, they're not even like romantic yet. Though. So, like, maybe not. I need to have them uh, be romantic with each other first. Oh. Is this person hitting on me? Oh, she's gloomy? Oh, okay. I don't want anything to do with you. Sorry. Are they being flirty with me? I'm gonna see if I can convince each other to vote for things, even though we know just for like the influence points. And I think that's really fair. The update? Oh my god, I really like it. I want to have a science baby and have a an infant or have you know have a baby. But we need to find we need to like get ourselves into a little house, I think, before we do that, because we're still homeless and we we're still like establishing our relationship together. Which I think is an important part of that comp um that like context here. <gasps> yes! Okay, you're going to vote. Yes! Okay, get it! I'm gonna go here. Where are you going? Are you going? I don't like. I guess they automatically go to the board. Is there one? Oh, there's one like right here. Vote on neighborhood action plan. So we need to put our money where our mouth is. We like I have like the entire weekend to make this work. So we only had like a few things vote on, or a few people vote on stuff before. So I'm honestly like a giant fan of trying to get influence points so we can farm it and then all that. Projected winner, green initiatives and ports promise. Yes. I like the projected winner. I guess we can tell like how much we want, how much more we want to do. Hi, Blanca. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. Are you voting? Okay, I think she voted on it. I think you use your influence points if you do it this way seven votes for the rest um hello i think i'm gonna save some influence points you guys what do you think i think we're gonna save some influence points and then i might decide if i want to use it later so, so but like we're already seven and everything else is zero so like that is pretty much sold hey thank you for the follow welcome on in almost i know seriously kristen isn't it amazing i hope you're having a good day we finished Ocarina of Time last night. I started uh, Majora's Mask, but I'm honestly thinking that I will probably restart Majora's Mask because I realized it was the middle of the night and I want to like restart it after we kind of get our fill of infants on like the new pack and stuff, if that makes sense. So we finished Majora's Mask, or not Majora's Mask, but uh, Ocarina of Time. It was awesome. Such a good game because there's so many like fun story tie-ins tie and stuff. Okay, I might go send, um, I might let Poppy kind of do, wait, I, I think I should probably have them go somewhere together. We're going to go to the makerspace because I feel like we can just sit down and chat for a while. And it's raining outside. And then we can work on making things. I've always wondered how Sims have a dinosaur suffocation with bags on their head and nap, right? Apparently the paper bags are just breathable enough, I guess, but still get warm all right y'all are gonna travel together oh poppy's gotta go to work so maybe we can just chill out for a little while at the end of ocarina time is so fun i hope you enjoy it oh you're getting all wet oh So maybe I'll have them go inside somewhere because there's not really like a good spot to sit inside. So I'm actually going to go ahead and like do this and put like a little couch or like a hangout spot in here. And I think that's going to be really cute. What can I find from like Eco Lifestyle? This one's really cute. Um... there's no way for like sims to get around and there's not just like a thin one so i think i'm just gonna go with what we got right now 
Um, naps turn off in your game because the bag on the head nap always wins, right? And you have to like actively like politic for people to do certain things, you know, or like for certain naps yeah, to get in. You can disable them on the on the thing though. Hi, Crystal. Welcome on in. You can disable them if you like shift click on your like mailbox or something. I think you can like take off the naps. Oh man, she's all like soaking wet. Gross. I really want to rebuild this. It's so interesting. Like the railing on the top is kind of well. <laughs> Um, the infant update. Oh my God, I am. I'm so excited to see what kind of things we... Can you dry yourself off? Um, actions, not actions. Can you dry yourself off or change your outfit or something? Maybe you change into like something warm. There we go. Very cool. I'm gonna have them talk about some of their interests. So like, do so at the outdoors together. I know, it wouldn't it be a fun rebuild? Yeah. I'm heavily enjoying the infant update though. I think it's so sweet. We're gonna have a science baby. And I think that out of these two, who would carry the baby? Would it be Ren or would it be Poppy? I feel like Ren would be the one to be the mom or like have the, the baby, obviously. To carry the child. Um, I know, aren't they so cute? I love them. They're lesbians. Um, they're getting to know each other a little bit too. Confident. I'm gonna have her just like gently flirt. Oh shoot. So so ads are gonna play, guys. I'll be right back. I'm gonna pause. And then we're gonna see. We have like maybe we'll do, I don't know. Poppy has to go to work now. But thank you so much for the follow. Uh, yeah, it's on Thursday. Cloth, yeah, Amy, cloth diapers. Yep, if you have laundry day, which is awesome. I love it. New infants yet? I had to run errands before my newborn became an infant. Oh my God. I'm so excited for it, Kara. I love it. And have you seen the, the changes and the lifespans and stuff? Because there's some pretty significant ones like i think the adult or the young adult lifespan or something like that um yeah the young adult lifespan um i think it was like 30 days or something and now it's like 110. let me look up lifespans um so sh before there was short medium and long um and then before it was young adults were 12 to 94 days now it's 110 I think that's like a total, how many of these old you are total or something. Legacies are gonna be so hard, they are. Short lifespan, I don't know what it's what it's gonna be like, but like, I think I'm on long lifespan right now. Um, Cause I really wanna take the time with this and like develop the story and the Sims and bond with them and, you know, be miserable and all sorts of stuff <laughs> when they die. I remember a time when someone moaned at me for playing ads. Um, so I turned them off, which caused Twitch to auto run ads every 20 to 20 minutes and stopped complaining after that, right? Yeah, honestly, the best response that I have for people who are uncomfortable with ads and like it's a free way to support, you know, like Twitch is free and it's very appreciated when people hung hang out through them um and whatnot and like making it intentional when you do play ads and stuff legacies are going to be so hard right works one of them that doesn't happen right <laughs> like get out of here until they're about food when i get hungry right <laughs> that's fair 
get into gameplay with sims i'm mainly a builder and decorator i do want to try to raggy riches though right crystal this one honestly um the whimsy legacy stories that i'm doing right now give it a read i'm like oh my god <laughs> thank you guys so much for coming by i really appreciate it and we're back <clears throat> lesbians let's go Hello, lesbians <laughs> lesbians <laughs> Okay, I think Poppy has to go to school or go to work. Uh, nothing says I pause. I always pause for ads. Welcome back. I just paused right there and Poppy's off to work now. Uh, do you want us to put on ads for uh, works for our community TV amount of uh, TV work network amount of ads? Right, exactly. <laughs> Hello. Oh, there's like a little kid. Gideon Harris. Yes. Yeah, see you later, Gideon. Um, she literally is like, I'm leaving you. See you later. Where am I going? I'm going to go here. Um, so she has some more like fabrication stuff to do. I cannot wait until I have these maker things in our house. Like I can see us with like a little shed somewhere and having these maker things and have her go scrap this fabrication because maybe I'll have her work on things when Poppy is at work. And I think that's perfect. They do stuff together. All right, so she's here. Um, achieve level five in fabrication. Hi, Luke. Welcome on in. Um, and fabricate five items. So I'm gonna have her fabricate something. Um, maybe like a rug or something like that. I think that sounds kind of fun. Maddie, thank you so much, Maddie. Welcome on in. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. Welcome Happy back. Happy 25 months. This Over is one of the best communities to be a part of. Sfrine dances, Sfrine hypes, Sfrine loves, Sfrine hearts, Sfrine hey. I really appreciate that. Welcome on in. Thank you for making our cozy little corner on the internet so much brighter. I appreciate you. Welcome back. I am doing wonderful. Thank you for asking, Luke. Um, we checked out the infant update, and now we're doing our uh, our whimsy legacy stories right now. Um, and we're... I'm going to start making them get romantically involved and stuff um because we have a pretty strong friendship i think one of them is gonna probably make the move and i feel like it's gonna be poppy because poppy's a little more charismatic and a little more bold and daring i think so i think that's the way i'm gonna play it out i think i'm gonna have poppy make the first move purchase dies i'm gonna have her purchase some die let's do i feel like ren might do oh my god what if they did everything in like the brick red color that would be so cute I have to have four dyes or a bunch of different dyes. I'm gonna have uh, like shale white. There we go. I purchased dyes, which. Oh no. It says have five dyes. I wonder if I can have her. Like pick all of them up then. Maybe. Um, lurking this month, I just saw it hasn't been a blast. It has been. Thank you so much for being a part of it. Okay, that's weird. Have five dyes. Huh. And I have her fabricate something though, and I am honestly thinking that like this brick rug is gonna be really cute. What's the dye for? Um, to dye objects that you fabricate. So like when you fabricate things, you can like make them be different colors and stuff. Um, so this will be like a brick red or canary yellow or like shale white, basically. Um, Crystal, thanks for the lurk. Welcome on in. All right, so she is going to fabricate. I'm going to make her make a brick rug. Because I wonder if she would be doing things that's like red because Poppy. That would be really cute if like she fabricates everything that is red because of Poppy. Because Poppies are red. Think of how cute game it would be. I'm going to do it to die for hi Janie welcome on in so it like it didn't give me any credit for having the die I know wouldn't that be so cute <laughs> Lucia is a recycling guru you say I'm 
New townies. Um, no. The game auto generates townies, though, but uh, I, from what I know, I don't think there's new townies that I know of, I should say. Yeah. Hello. Both Lilith Present Pleasant. Okay, that's right. I forgot Lilith Present Pleasant is like a sim. Never fabricate something. Um, I don't have enough bits and bobs, so I think I actually have to go like recycling or something. A new townies. I know new townies would be awesome. We could do that. Can't use these or like repair those or do anything. Um, where should I go then? Hmm. Because there's no dumpster here, but there's a dumpster right over here. Here we go. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, I'm going to have her go sort out recyclables so we can start recycling things again. So some of her needs are kind of tanking, though, too. Found Lothari over here, and we've got Kiyoshi Ito, and then Lucha Harjo. Masaru Yoshida. Some people I've never heard of. So on Monday, we should, um, the community voting board. Okay, so there's this one. Wait. Hi. Hi, Junior. Welcome on in. I don't think voting availability Friday through Monday. So I think this one is like permanent then, right? Is that what that is? Like they don't vote on it and like change it or something? Like you don't have to keep voting? I would imagine. Welcome. We're dumpster diving. Um, so we've decided that Poppy is going to be making the first moves on Ren because Poppy is a little more like ambitious and not shy. Never die for deals, too, so we can sell some more things. It's so frustrating, like have five dies. Dyes can be purchased on the computer and the candle making table and uh, and or on the fabricator. Like that didn't count towards anything at all. <sighs> if this doesn't count for me, like if I can't get it to work, I'm going to cheat her aspiration to the next level because we did it and like we satisfied it, but it just didn't count for credit. So that's what I'm going to hand. That's how I'm going to handle that then. All right, sort out some recyclables because I got to get more like bits and bobs things. Uh, it says buy from the computer. Do you think why I didn't count? It said it said or from the uh, and or on the fabricator, which is where I bought them. But we could try to go buy them on a computer again and see what how or buy go to the, like a library or something. Oh, no, you're good. You're good. Um, updating my sims now. Oh, my God. It's literally so exciting, so, so Tina. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Extroverted yeah. all the two, exactly. Yeah, but... Like, Ren is definitely, like, the DIY, like, willing to, like, dive in a dumpster and get her hands dirty thing. And then Poppy has a silver tongue. Um. Okay, so I'm actually going to send her over to the bar. Likes fitness. I'm, I guess this is a spicy dice moment. We haven't done spicy dice in a really long time, you guys. Like, literally. Um, these are dusty. Like, my dice are dusty right now. If you guys don't know what spicy dice are, this is something that I use to help determine outcomes of certain scenarios and make decisions for us. Um, I wonder if we should make an exclamation point spicy command. So basically, um, this is a one. If you're familiar with D&D, it's like a crit fail or a crit success. Um, and yeah, so it's got odds and evens there. There's six numbers on here. There's six sided. There's three of them. So it's best of three. Um, and I'm wondering if it should be, I, I don't know, because sometimes I do different things. Sometimes I do, yeah, sometimes I do it where like, this is an automatic fail or automatic succeed, automatic fail. And I don't think I'm going to do the auto ones for this one. Yeah, yeah, from the from the decades challenge, right? 
Dice ASMR, I know, right? Um, so, okay, uh, evens or yes, odds or no, it's best to three, essentially, is what we're gonna go for. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna roll. Best of three. That is one yes. So we have a four at least once. One no. And a no. All right, so she doesn't like fitness, but she doesn't also hate it. Like, I think that's just she's neutral on fitness, I think is the way that that works. Um, likes and dislikes. Yep, see, it didn't add it to it because it's only that, like she likes that. Oh my God, it's Ahsoka. Hi. Hello, Ahsoka. Ahsoka. She's ignoring me. She's a cat. Hi, New England fan. Northeast getting dumped on snow. Oh my God, 14 inches so far and it's still coming down. What in the heck? I hope you all stay safe. She's like, uh, don't you interrupt my window time again. I did try to pick her up before. She's like, mm -mm. I know she's very elusive, but very like also very social at the same time. She's like independent, I'll call it. I'm gonna have her travel. We're gonna um, get some more money and I wanna decide when we're going to have like a little shanty house thing. Cause this is kind of like a rags to riches thing. Like we start out with nothing, we're homeless. And so she wants to have a baby and they're gonna have a science baby together and Ren's gonna carry the baby. I could just tell um, she's trying, saying from the look she gave you, right? <laughs> Isn't she? She's so sassy about it. I know every time that windows open though, that's like a very, like a 99% chance that Ahsoka is gonna come. It's like a magnet for them. All right, so I'm gonna send you upstairs and we're gonna go take care of some of our needs in here. It's ladies night, oh my God. Um, Yeah, I agree that we could just tell exactly what she's um, saying to us. When do you get off of work? Okay, she gets her work at 11, so like a few hours. So we have just a few hours to kind of like wrap up what we were doing and take care of some of our needs because Ren from like um, dumpster diving, we're in a lot better or a lot worse shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and have you like, oh yeah, she's washing her hands now. Uh, your kitty Caspian is also window sitter. I love that. That's so cute. Kyber and Ahsoka both are both with like window sitters. I'm just going to pretend that that was clean and like the bar actually cleaned it here because this isn't my house. So I'm not going to make them clean it. We find something good. Can we sell that all the inventory? Yes. Um. So when I dumpster dive, there's things that go into the household inventory that we can't get to right now. But I can sell it. And I've been making the furniture. Hello. Yeah, I've been straight up just like making the furniture though. Oh, you just spent out three and a half hours shoveling, got everything cleared, but then the plow went by. Oh my God, that's the worst when that happens. I feel that kitty in the name and I'm usually by a window, right? <laughs> I'm right. I'm usually by a window too. That's relatable. Excuse me. What are you doing? Can you not? I'll just do a friendly introduction. <laughs> My boy cut uh, window says he only does it to creep on the neighbors and judge from afar, right? It's so funny. <laughs> um, since you're gonna stand in here in the middle of the bathroom with me and have the towniest looking outfit I have ever seen in my entire life, um, I'm gonna make you what? <sighs> Why are they this way? Why are you this way? I don't know. She's not very good at like you know, trying to convince people are not very social and stuff. So I'm just going to see. Did she actually, did she actually convince someone to vote? Oh my God. No, that's actually really good for her. I'm happy. So she's feeling very confident about that. I know it's like a bathroom party, isn't it? And then, oh, we do have some bikes that I actually got. So I'm going to go ahead and go home. Actually, or have her go like travel because it's, it's just a little faster and it doesn't take as much time. 
Because that's where Ren is going to go, or Poppy's going to come home, and she's going to be there, so. Four Sims infiltrate the bathroom of the bar in Moonwood Mill. I know, it's like, why are they all just hanging in the bathroom? To romantic festival and harvested the flowers for your for your garden. Aw, that's perfect. It's a good idea, honestly. Um, so she's actually doing pretty good. I'm gonna have her have a quick meal, some yogurt, perhaps. But um, we went dumpster diving, and I have some things that I found in the dumpster, and things that I made. So we don't have anything here. However, I do have some bikes that I could potentially sell. And I think I'm going to. So I'm going to sell these. It's like 100 simoleons, so why not? They're not super expensive, but not super bad either. All right. Woo! Poppy bought, brought home 216 simoleons. Okay, I wonder actually... Um, what are you going to do? You know what? No, I'm going to have you go ahead. Both of you go talk about some random things. So you're just fine, honestly. Like, I'm kind of surprised. Hello. You wake up. I mean, I know it's weird and like you're all tired and whatnot. Let's but Aw, and they're friends. That's so cute. Okay, I wonder Jerome's? if what we ever change hey, actually her outfit fuck? really quick to something to her colder, Eric's her colder no weather way. outfit. Oh, shit! Yes. bully. And I'm actually gonna have her like uh, flirt with her. So let's do physical intimacy. I'm gonna embrace and see if she'll take that. <laughs> Aww. Oh. <laughs> Is this? Ah! Oh my god! And of course you're hungry. Okay. I'll have you go have a quick meal and cereal. <gasps> oh my god. I like how they broke it in though. Like, oh, physical intimacy. It's hugs. I know they're so cute. Snow fleas. And now I actually get you to turn on your earbuds and you're gonna listen to some good music, I think. And tomorrow we're gonna go get more bits and bobs for Ren. That way she can continue to work on some things. I think that's great. I'm going to see if Poppy... Yes. Oh. <laughs> I'm going to have her flirt and just talk to her a little bit. So they've, like, hugged, kind of felt that out a little bit. Hello? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. What? <laughs> <Cool>. <laughs> ah! Okay, they're good. We just became good friends. Hello? Sacrenario. Let's go lesbians. Affection. Um, confess, a, confess their attraction or something. Uh, no, that's actually the new update that did it. It's the brand new update. Um, so my current legacy teen sim was infatuated with his girlfriend's father and i was shocked the game would allow a crush to that level game for the relationship being inappropriate that is so weird your teen sim was met with his girlfriend's father oh that's weird that is not good oh, that is interesting sometimes you get some like randomly generated ones that are technically in like very inappropriate but like in the game those parameters aren't necessarily so. Oh my goodness. And there's no like mod interferences or anything, I'm guessing. All right, so not bad. I could practice some music to like get a promotion even quicker, but yeah. So we've just, um, established or let it out, I suppose, that Poppy is attracted to Ren. And so it's like, oh my God, Ren, why do you have so much more like influence? I guess uh, because she goes dumpster diving so much. Hi, Ghost Dragon, how are you? Welcome on in, I'm so glad to meet you. Can't get enough of these, I'm same, oh my God. 
absolutely same. I'm in love with them. Um, I thought exactly. I was like, no, I just only wanted to cast an adjusted. We found attractive and cleared the crush. Oddly enough, the same attraction didn't happen to the mother. That's so weird. That is a big no. Outdoorsy lifestyle. Yes, let's go. Lifestyle daily cap reach. All lifestyles have a limited oh. amount of progress that we gain daily when Ren has reached the daily cap for a lifestyle. So both of us are outdoorsy. I like that. So various benefits when doing outdoor activities, prefers to be outdoors, increased work performance in outdoor uh, careers, hence when spending too much time inside rather than outside. So we basically, we, you know, it's kind of funny. We, <laughs> we're kind of homeless. Um, I'm doing great. Thank you. We're doing our whimsy legacy stories and we are establishing the story with our two Sims. We have Ren and we have Poppy. And uh, recently, Poppy just told, uh, just confessed to Ren um, that she was attracted to her. So it's exciting. And they're both homeless together and they just met like a few days ago. But they've been like pretty much attached to the hip, like working and um, being uh, politically active together. I wonder, okay, green initiatives promise. So yeah, that one is still the one that is projected to win. And I'm excited because the whole city is going to be so much cleaner because of that. And that excites me. All right. So. Y'all are sleeping. Almost time. Uh, someone. It's almost as if someone is controlling her life. Will Poppy finally fulfill her dreams? Or will, it, uh, or will whoever is controlling her life stop her wishes from coming true? Kind of a little bit too fourth wall there. Fourth wall breaking. Like, come on. <laughs> Hi, Charlotte. Welcome on in. Sounds like a fun way to start. Yes, like a tent and having nothing, right? Like, so Poppy literally has... Oh, jeez. Poppy literally has her guitar. I'm going to wake her up and take Ren and her both to the bar so we can take so, care of some so. of our needs. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. All right, so we're going to go over here to the caboose. Popping back in stream while I sit in front of the oven watching my pie bake. Ooh, wait, what kind of pie were you making again? I think you mentioned earlier. So use this and I'll have you wash your hands a few times. Oh God, please don't pee your pants. That's just gonna be really embarrassing if you do that. And I don't want that embarrassment for you. So we're slowly waking our up. Our, we're slowly wake, working our way up to have a house or buy something because at this moment, at this point in time, we don't have anything. Chicken pot pie, homemade crust and filling. I love that, honestly. All right, guys, um, ads are gonna play, but I have to also go to the bathroom. So I'm gonna take this as an excuse to go stretch my legs and go grab and like uh, go to the bathroom and whatnot. So I'll be back in a few minutes. Thanks for hanging tight. Um, And I'm gonna run ads while we're gone. So I'll check you in a bit.
hello i'm back hi lilac welcome on in hello lish thank you for gifting that sub you turd welcome everybody so glad to see you hello took a little break stretch my legs hi martin good to see you Uh, the factory reset worked and I have enough space for all my Sims 4. Nice. That's awesome. I'm really glad it worked. Excellent. You're coming in. We are working on our um, legacy thingy, the uh, the whimsy legacy stories. That's what it is. Or whimsy stories legacy. But yes, we have our two homeless Sims and we are taking care of some of our needs. And Poppy just declared that they are attracted to Ren, which is nice. Um, 30 more packs to download. Oh my god. The baby and Cass? The baby? What do you mean? Zoom in on the baby and Cass? What baby are you talking about? You're updating them. Nice! That's so cool! I love it. I love the update so far from what I've seen. Um, we're going to be having a... I can't like reset it. Oh my God. I can't actually like repair the sink. Oh, well, it'll be repaired next time I go. Oh, it makes sounds. Yeah. Oh my God. They're so cute. Uh, then I have to make my uh, folder and download MC Command Center. Nice. Dude, they did a hot fix for um, MC Command Center, which is super nice. I'm gonna order some food. Let's do, oh no, don't do a bowl of olives. Just kidding. I'm gonna have you Currywurst bread rolls. Let's let's do pita and hummus tapas. That just sounds like more nourishing than anything else in here right now. Even though it's like basically chips and dip. So basically, when like when you're in Create a Sim and you click on the baby, which I think their little icon's like not available or something, it makes noises. Or are you talking about like the infants? You mean olives? Right? Oh my god, olives actually sound good. I haven't had olives in quite a while. The baby's like Minecraft spiders, creepy not cute. Oh, yeah, they make little like the little like growling or hissing noises. The babies. Hello. Lario, I'm literally a lesbian. What are you doing with your life? Okay. <laughs> For now we have Ren. Are you eating a little bit? Okay, I'm gonna have you eat some more. Make sure you guys are all filled up on like chips and stuff like that. And your fun level is like struggling like heck. So I wonder if I could like have you watch TV for a little while. Oh, it's nine in the morning. Did we sleep? Oh yeah, we slept and now we're here. Okay. So we have like the entire day to just like vibe and chill together. This is kind of nice. Uh, a funny boy. in a crowded place. Okay, so there's like... Oh, I wonder. So what does it say? Okay, so she wants to be funny in a crowded place and now she has a fear of being in a crowded place. So Ren might be uncomfortable around crowded places, but that doesn't uh, stop her from being funny. Ren feels ready to get out there and overcome her insecurities around large groups of Sims. Chat with three different Sims using funny socials and having the too many Sims moodlet while having the too many sims moodlet uh the moodlet will is given to the sim while be in the being in the middle of a crowd okay no that's actually like really cool so it's like things that you can actively work on in your sims and i didn't know that was like a thing hi jelly welcome hope you're doing well today oh chat with ren oh my god i wonder if i can have her like flirt with her so flirtation, let's uh... So I'm gonna compliment her appearance as well. And maybe, you know, all this flirting is making Poppy be like, hmm, or Ren be like, oh my God, hmm. I'll try some flirtation, so like maybe <laughs> I'll flirt back. Babies can have the bonus traits when they age up. Oh, really? They can really can they have bonus traits? Is it basically in base game? Um, like, do you mean 
like the extra trays like four or like four or five different trays rather than like three. I don't remember how that's done, but I do remember that like that was talked about. Hello, Jeffrey. <laughs> Work. Work. Okay, those shoes with that outfit though, I don't think that's a very good look, Jeffrey. Also, where'd you go, Poppy? I'm gonna go have her like flirt with her a little bit. Oh, they're so cute. Jeffrey, that outfit, I know. I love him for that. I wonder if Nancy knows. He's being himself. Happy and unhappy infant traits are game now, now they extra. Oh! Well, the happy and unhappy infant traits are base game and now the extra, three extra cast traits. Ah, okay. I see what you're saying. So basically, like, if you, like, something like a carryover trait, so you mean, like, if you have, like, a good childhood or, like, a bad childhood kind of thing, because I know you can get that. At least, like, it, it adds it to this. Is that what you're talking about? Oh, no. Thank you so much for the rain. Ah, that's so cool. So basically, it rewards you for paying attention to your babies. <laughs> Chrono Spidey, how are you? Welcome on in. Thank you so much, Joy, for doing that shout out. How is Minecraft? What's going on? I really appreciate you. Welcome by. We're playing the Whimsy Legacy Stories. I hope you had a good stream. Teams, go drop a follow. How are you? The infant carryover trace. That's so cool. I love it. I like it. It feels like there's a lot of seamlessness going. Can we have funny? Like, can I... Like, inside joke or something? Right? Seriously, I know the raid message scares the crap out of me, too. I'm with you. Quink. Okay. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Aw, as a podcast really eat. That's awesome, Sims lover. I like it. It's always a good body double moment. No, stop doing the thing. Can I maybe have them go dance together or something? Maybe I'll have them do that. That sounds like a very cute thing for them to do. Hi, Phil. Welcome. I hope you're doing well. She's bored. I might change her away from the party animal trait and maybe more into something like now that they're developing their, their like relationship or their like um their way of life or whatever. Maybe we'll do something different. I'm gonna be an eco innovator. This seems like her. So basically, Eco Innovator states that um, I have five community influence points at least. Um, vote on one neighborhood action plan. Um, sell power, water, power or water on a utility bill. Become a civil designer. Ooh, maybe she has like a change of heart and she's not gonna be like a musician after that because of like how she sees how passionate Poppy is and like the differences that they are making. Oh my God. I'm writing this into the story. Oh my god, uh, Sims have different dance styles. Um, they not that I know of. Looking for something different to do. I really like Whimsy Legacy. There's Whimsy stories so far. Um, not so Barry is also a really good one, I think, because I think they are they're pretty good at guiding, you know, rather than more open ended. I feel like the open endedness of the decades challenge is really good. It's amazing and it's so fun, but I also feel like it's not very like beginner friendly, if that makes sense. Um, hmm. Black Widow's a lot of fun. That one's good. A civil designer. So 
So after seeing the difference that the work she and Poppy are doing, Ren sets down her guitar and discovers a passion for civil design and eco innovation. Ren medals, right? So Poppy, Valentine, and then... Oh. There we go. Very cute. We're kind of making our story. Yes, those are my, um, those are the uh, suggestions that I have. So I have a feeling that like, you know, she's slowly going to get away from like the guitar things and start like being more interested and invested in like the work that they're doing in their community and stuff because she's seeing, I think like come like when the, the nap gets enacted and like everything kind of gets cleaned up, maybe they're like, oh my God, like maybe we can do stuff. So I see that. All right, Kristen, see you soon. Decades challenge can be a lot of math, can it? In what way, I guess? I guess it, I guess it can, could depend on like what you and how you decide to play it. Um, okay. Woo, oh my God. <laughs> Are you a woo girl? Wait, wait, what's this? I've never seen that. The fact that it has so many O's on it. Oh my God, wait. Oh shoot, you're hot. Change your outfit. Okay, you're gonna change to your warm weather. Where is it? Outfits, change outfit, and then warm weather. Here we go. Can you change your outfit for me? Here we are. Oh, your Sims is updating right now. Nice red, that's awesome. It's exciting. Oh. Woo. Uh -huh. oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> I didn't know that was such a thing. Are you sad? No woos today from being a part of party animal. Wait, what? Oh, I think if she does it, then like other party animals will do it too. So it's kind of like the party animal call. Maybe. Oh my God, that's so funny. Aw, no, she's feeling all sad. It's fine. I I really like the infants update. How are you doing, Fad? Welcome. Is that new? It's with the party animal trait. And I think that, I don't know where that came from, I guess. I can't remember where it came from. I'm not physical intim intimacy, but like maybe, maybe I'll try to cheer her up and see what happens. It's like she's feeling kind of sad. Maybe she's slowly realizing that like her, uh, party animal traits isn't something that she's like really into yet, you know, anymore. Like that doesn't really, that lifestyle doesn't really suit her anymore. So where is it? Compliments? No, it's not. I'm, I'm trying to figure out where it is now. So it's under small talk. Deep thoughts. Try to cheer up. There we go. Oh, oh Oregani. Oh. <laughs> like, it's okay, we're oh. getting old. <laughs> High school years? Got it. Okay, that makes sense. Oh. Uh -huh. oh, wait. Oh my God, that's awesome. So if you try to cheer them up, actually, see, oh my God, the things that I ignore when I do gameplay, like I'm, I'm really glad to be investing oh. more time and stuff into this. This is great. Uh, maybe I it will was. hug. Huh? Ah, Let's go, lesbians. Wamba boy, Yabalala. Huh? Okay, wait. Um, oh, affection, <laughs> promise to dedicate song. Oh, I think that's what the, the, the other things. Grinnea. I have to watch you in 160 because my internet is trash. Oh no, oh my god. That really sucks Be though. It's like everything's all Be like super people. pixelated. Let's go, Lesbian! <laughs> Tag. Glenna? Dominic? I don't know. I think Dominic as uh, in his warm mother outfit got piercings all over, which I'm okay with. Maybe we could keep talking to them. I don't know who half of these guys are, but like, I mean, this is fine. Maybe, can you introduce yourself to Dominic maybe? And maybe... Like, yeah, this is my friend Dominic. Oh my God. So, so. Honka Thori. 
Ah, nope, sir. Talk about marriage. <laughs> Are they Yuha the lesbians? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Arvini. Uh, they could be hi, Ava. Well, come on in. Makes me so happy. I love that. <laughs> I'm just excited to be like engaging in gameplay this way. It's really stimulating for me. Pandoli Usenet. Smishy Yafana. Um Saka Yala Nim. I'm not gonna like flirt straight up with them here. Oh my god, why is Dominic like super anxious? Are you are you awkward because of the fact that we're gay? You don't like Dominic? I usually don't like him either. Like from the, the from the times when I've seen him, it's just not my cup of tea. It's kind of a jerk. Yes, oh my god, no, Ava, you're totally good. I really like the infant update a lot. It's wonderful, I think it's so much fun. Let's go. I guess they're having just a good conversation. Maybe I can convince you to convince to support them now. Maybe I'll do that. I think that's pretty good. Let's see if we can convince them again. Oh, he buff, he is. I don't know if she's gonna like... Oh shoot! Honestly, it was the the fact that like I had uh, Ren do it instead of Poppy. Oh lava! Did she actually do it? Oh my god, she did! Okay, that makes me feel so much better. Okay, I wonder if this is them getting like. That's so funny. I wonder if this is them getting them like out of the room. Four years working on early childhood development and now they have the infants that is like a problem like for kids in real life. Oh no! Right? Oh, that stinks though. Watch that Watch definitely out. translates Pitch. over to it's called w setting oh oh yeah <laughs> like animators aren't unfortunately versed in that stuff you know and stuff like that's bound to happen i think i go for hips and core strength that makes sense though uh oh amoeba i know right <laughs> unfortunately <laughs> It's tough when you know stuff like that, though. You know, it's like it's tough to make those distinguishments. It's enough. In legal money making scheme. Uh, legal? Okay. What is legal money making scheme? Wait. In the new cranny. My flu. Like. <laughs> hey, Pitta, thank you so much. I really appreciate you. I really, really appreciate that. <laughs> hey, how are everyone today? Hi, welcome, welcome. MLM is legal. That's true. Multi-level marketing is. That lady calls on the phone. I think it is. I think it's an MLM. It's so funny. Hey, do you want to be a boss, babe? Thank you for 20 months. Oh my God, we're coming up on a... Uh, on two years oh, really, really quickly here. That's amazing. I really appreciate you. I need to go take care of some of like Poppy's needs. Maybe I'll have her go eat some of this before she goes because she's got to go overnight. And then Ren, I think I'm going to have her go upstairs really quick. So we've really worked on like establishing our romantic relationship too. I feel like things are kind of going like decently, but not like too quickly, you know? I called that out and uh, now it's called that now instead of call it a pyramid scheme mlm right multi-level marketing yeah <laughs> it's so predatory she bets sells bad quality leggings or uh what's it called um uh, makeup or what's another one makeup was a big one MLM is the politically correct term, Mary Kay. Oh, Tupperware, like there was, yeah, there were leggings and then there was like, there's like supplements and stuff, like nutrition supplements. They're tricky, especially if you get someone that is like super, you have nails like that mm -hmm, and shampoo. Um, hello. Oh man, my shower is broken. I might as well do this. Um, not on that many more, unfortunately. Honestly, sometimes, like, there is, like, when you get, when you, like, encounter somebody who's, like, really charismatic and they pull you into an MLM like that, it's, like, it's kind of scary, you know? Um, because they get you. Uh, because they are just so good at what they do. And it's really not good. How are the snails? Yeah, Phil, how are the snails? 
I love it. I know, like, um, and people prey on people like me. Exactly. Um, there's a Facebook group called Balls, Falls, or Ostrich Egg Consultants. There's a group where they all pretend to be an ostrich egg MLM, and it's amazing. Wait, that's so funny. There was one for a little while, at least. There was, like, where you're an ant, and then people would post, like, a photo. And then, like, I need help lifting this. I need help moving this. And it's, like, a picture of whatever. And then uh, a whole bunch of people would comment, like, lift, lift, lift. Like, where everyone pretends to be ants. The internet's a really weird place sometimes. How many courses have tried to scam me into their webs? It's so scary. It's so scary. It's a specific, like, person that tends to be in a social group like that, though. MLMs are super dangerous. They can, like, bankrupt people pretty quick if you're not careful. Um, Sensi. Yep, Sensi's one. Um, there's also... Oh, God. There's another one. Um, there's, like, leggings. There's, like, some... Not, like, the Lululemon ones, but, like, there's different leggings. And, like, athleisure wear. Herbalife is a big one. Um... Monat. Yeah, Monat was one. Avon, there's like a different one. Um, it's like clothes. Yeah, essential oils is a big one too, Jerica. Forget the brand though. Um Yeah, I know what you're talking Mary Kate was one. 31 bags weren't terrible. I know 31 wasn't bad. Like out of due to this Dutero, that's right. Young Living and Dutero or Dotero, Dutero, whatever. Um yeah, 31 bags wasn't like the worst out of all of them, you know, like to buy something. I do have a 31 bag. My ex, my like, three exes ago, his mom did 31 stuff and she got me a bag. Hmm. And then there was a... I can't remember. Yes, Sensi's one. Didn't have to buy stuff. You could just order and got a decent discount, right? I do remember that being, like, one of the lesser evils. Like, Watkin stuff used to be an MLM. A pure romance. Um, I'm trying to think of the... There's, like, an athleisure wear version. That I know is, like, a thing. It's an MLM. I have a couple cousins who got into it. I'm like... Your game just finished updating. Yay! I'm so glad for you. Premier Jewelry, right? There's that one. There's... It's bothering me. The Rodan feels and stuff was legit. Never got sucked into selling it, right? Sometimes there are products that, like, aren't bad. But, like, when you... No, it wasn't, it wasn't Fabletics, no. Um, sometimes there wasn't stuff that, like, products that weren't bad. But there were, like... If you were a seller, it was, like, really predatory and bad on those people um it's bothering me now was that leggings brand no it's not like a lulu lemon or anything with oversized shirts that was uh, that was lulu row it's not that one that i'm uh a wine company one too what oh my god zaya yeah zaya that's it zaya um yes I have a cousin who, like, her and her husband do it, and they sucked in, like, another cousin. The Lula, Lula Rowe stuff is, like, really fascinating to me. Um, the whole, like, everything that just happened with that is, like, pretty bad, I guess. Their stuff was soft, but it was, like, really poor quality and really bad, I guess. Hi, Libby. Welcome on in. Lululemon says, Lululemon sells expensive loving leggings. Were they like a real MLM though, or was it just like a store? Something I never like looked into though. Now nah, Lululemon is a, is a real company and store. Okay. I think they had like an outlet or some sort of like a store in Madison or something. I, I always remember seeing like something. Amway. I've heard of Amway before. The LuLaRoe documentary is good, though. Mm -hmm. Lululemon. LuLaRoe is the MLM. Lululemon. Okay. Is a huge game Amway. What is Amway exactly? MLMs scare me. Like, <laughs> it's so terrifying. It, it's 
so easy to get like sucked in from people, you know? House products and food, got it. Hmm. I remember Tupperware parties in like the 90s. That was like a really big thing. Like I had some aunts that would do like Avon or like Mary Kay and stuff. Pampered Chef, oh my God, the Pampered Chef parties. Yep. It was, it was a lot of the Avon, Mary Kay, Pampered Chef, and then the, oh my God. Um, There's like weird jewelry parties on like Facebook Live stuff for a while. I don't know like if that's still like a thing. The oysters, like what is that? Like what is it? Yeah, the open the pearls like on camera. They have like the pearl parties or something. Like why? It's so weird to me. The oysters are so strange. It's like this weird, like uncanny valley, like weird things. Like, is that an MLM? I'm like, what is this? I'm like, I don't understand it. So I'm just like, what is, it? what is it? Recycle from inventory. Okay, I'm gonna have you do this. A cereal bowl. My yogurt. <laughs> uh, I do Julie parties for those old ladies here, but it's like I buy stuff and sell it to them for the same price. They just can't get out much, right? That makes sense though. Paparazzi jewelry. Oh my god. Open farm pearl oysters on camera. And they people buy them and get the pearl inside. Exactly. Like you basically like gamble. It's kind of like, yeah, yeah, it's like gambling. They like, uh, they do like IRL loot boxes. Pretty much. You're like, I want that one. And then you get whatever, and then like make whatever like jewelry out of or send you the pearl or something that's in it. Oysters on TikTok, right? Like every once in a while I get like into really weird stuff. Like my algorithm just gets me into that. I'm like, what is, oh no, what's going on? It's so interesting to me. I don't understand it. <laughs> like storage lockers? Wait, storage lockers? What? Beach body? Oh my god, I remember beach body. Wasn't that wasn't beach body like exercise stuff, obviously? Uh or like exercise equipment and like routines or something? It was an uh, a travel MLM and a friend of mine had joined uh had me concerned in a car, desperate cornered in a car trying to get me to join. There was like intense peer pressure happening. Thankfully, I got on away unscathed, right? I feel like when you get into like those little like, it's like those stay at home parent or like things. And then it's like that, you know, desire to provide that they like prey on and stuff like that. A lot of times you'll see that. Um, Push the MLM side way too heavy, became a coach. Got it. Oh, God, that's so weird. Um, Beach Pot, I was harassed. Oh, you were harassed during that? It's so sad how like predatory it is. Um, at auctions, I think when people don't buy a pay storage fees, like when you buy one, you see what's inside. Oh, yeah, like basically, like the what the heck is it? Um, uh, like the storage container sales. Like if someone like doesn't pay their storage unit or it's like surrendered or something like that, they like you can buy the storage unit without seeing what's in it because you just bid on it. Cutco, oh my God, Cutco knives, I remember those. There are so many out there. Essentially like they, if you don't know what MLM is or how it works, essentially like they, you buy something and like you have your stock in most cases, like your, your stock, so you stock your supply and then you sell them to people and try to recruit other people to be under you. So then like, it's a pyramid. <laughs> it's like, you know, you recruit, so people, yeah. It's like this. <laughs> Doesn't hurt the oyster. I have, uh, can I buy some and have them and set them free? I think the way that they open them, it kills them. I think. I know there's like humane ways of doing it, but the way that these, they like straight up just like, bruh, there you go. They really do. Yeah. It's so sad. I hate it. It bothers me. Why do I suddenly have four dies now? I guess I got to get another one. Can I purchase a die? 
I'll buy the black dye. Leave on for a bit that the discount wasn't worth the shipping cost. Right. It's so easy to get pulled in. It breaks my heart. Um, never got into the Cutco MLM, but I will say the butcher knife is fabulous. I've had it for like 20 years and sharpen it every now and again. Really? Hmm. It's so fascinating to hear things that are like actually pretty good and then ones that like suck, you know? Like I, I will agree that like 31 bags really aren't that bad. <clears throat> um so the higher people make money off of whatever you scam people off of exactly yep because you get like bonuses for like recruiting people most of the time it sucks um when mlms have great products but their mlms exactly it's like dang it i've never felt like so weird isogenics is another one of those nutrition shake ones and then there's also like these stores these like little like there's like these like protein shake smoothie shops that'll pop up and they're like these healthy energetic like ones and you'll see them pretty like there's like a lot of them cropping up like in the in like the madison wisconsin area that i knew like those nutrition shops it's herbalife stuff it's made with herbalife that's what it is and they do it they like make a shop and they make a business based off of that so they can like do their herbalife stuff <laughs> and they're not good no and the only thing um avon has a hair oil uh, the face cream, I haven't found another one that I doesn't cause an arm or a leg, right? Sometimes you do find gems, though. It sucks, like, why does it have to be an MLM? Baking pans and utensils from Pampered Chef. I remember, oh my god, we had so much Pampered Chef when I was younger. Like, my mom, because my aunt would buy, or my mom would buy for, like, my aunt. Mm-hmm. Yep, just the powder. And moms who pray on people just trying to live a healthy life. Exactly. It's the predatory vibes that I'm just like, mm, don't like miss, don't deceive people. It, it really shows like how just how many people are willing to step over others and push boundaries and like all that stuff in order to like just step up. And Sunsi in stores, really, really in stores. That's crazy. What? Where it kind of is for silver and gold. Oh, really? I mean, huh, Factor Meals came today. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Thank you for using the code, Dad. That's awesome. I really appreciate that. It's amazing. I hope you enjoy your meals. I really loved mine. I did. I let the products speak for themselves without creating these weird pyramid schemes and cutthroat cultures. Yeah, exactly. Like if you have to, like there should be a point for sure. Bunch of Sensi stuff and I'm just over it. I, I do like wax melter stuff because like honestly, Sensi really did kind of pave the way for like the wax melters because then like all like other places kind of started making their own instead of like candles as an alternative. I get it. Um, pays a membership fee, but it gets silver every month. Interesting. I don't know. Because I know that like investing in gold, especially in wartime, is something because gold never depreciates in value during in wartime. Um, like a membership model, but those can get tricky too. Exactly. Yep, because you can get roped into weird like things sometimes with those. You're having deja vu. Oh no. <laughs> but yeah, like I'm spending so much money on dye. Fabricate. I'm gonna make a dresser that is gonna be red. The brick red is cute. I feel like we talked about all of this before. I think we've brought it up before, but it's been a really long time since we talked about MLMs. It's like, but you don't have to get people under you if you don't want to, right? Exactly. And it sucks because generally, like, the people who get pressured into doing those things are just, they want to provide for themselves or have something for themselves. Like, be there, like, a stay-at-home parent or something like that. I think you can make money getting people in, but it's a lot of work. Exactly, it is a lot of work. Meh. It stinks to watch that stuff happen. Like, I'm good, right? <laughs> I don't even want to be that social. I was so like pressured by like a, my ex 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 boyfriend's mom to join 31 and stuff and she would take me to like these what they called vendor events and stuff and she like would pressure me to do it <laughs> it was so weird uh hey Sally <laughs> welcome 
fun. And how are you doing? Not that I want to add to the timer because wow, but hi. Thank you so much for the three months. I really, really appreciate that. How are you doing? Thank you so much. Honestly, the timer at this point is maxed out at 31 hours. And then if we go beyond 1500 subs by the end of the month, then I will do something in April. Um, not really sure, but I'll do something. I'm figuring that out. We're not at that point yet. I never expected to be this part or this far or anything anywhere close to it. So yes, it's exciting. Thank you so much. Uh, I remember having to go to those. Yes. 31 days, not hours. Oh, 31 days. Just kidding. Just kidding. No, it's 606 hours. Um, 31 days. Sorry. <laughs> yes. Words are hard. <laughs> Level four fabrication. So like, I know I'm going to be streaming this weekend, but Michael's going to Madison and I'm kind of sad, but also like I support it, but like, I'm also like, eh, but also I'm just streaming. So it's like, you know, but I'm like, eh. <laughs> Oh, Zelly, no, you're good. <laughs> you're totally fine. Because he's gonna go up there for like one of our friend's birthdays and stuff. Imagine 606 days, I think I would die. There's some people that do the year, like they stream every single day for a year straight. They do like the 365 challenge. And I'm like, I love streaming, but also I really like not that, <laughs> if that makes sense. Like, it would be horrific, right? Every day for like a year. I think Lethal Frag, there's a, there's a streamer. I think Lethal Frag, I think he did it for like two or three years straight or something like that. Every day. Ooh, I admire his, uh, his zazz. Um, and when and if the timer passes a month, will you be streaming or will you have put a stop to put a subathon at a certain point? Um, it already has reached the 31 days. Um, so the time, basically uh, on the 31st, um, is when the uncapped sub or after the 31st, after we're like, we're done on that Friday. Um, like, uh, then that's when the subathon ends. So like April 1st and 2nd, I'd have off and then I'd start on the 3rd again, kind of thing. Like I take the weekend and then come right back to it. Um, but if we do something, um, or if we hit the 1500 sub mark by the end of the month, then... That's when our moderators will get some tattoos with me. And um, we'll do something fun in uh, like April. We'll do something. I don't I don't know yet. Probably some like longer streams or something. Marathon streams. We'll figure it out. Week break. Oh, no, I'll be fine. Um, probably just a few days. Honestly, I'll I might reassess that like after I get to that point. But. Hello. I need pieces. Do I really need? I guess that did cost a lot. That was pretty hefty. So like, I guess I got to go dumpster diving again. Yeah, I think after like as, as we like get closer to the 31st and stuff, I'll reassess. But at this point, I really don't feel like I feel kind of relaxed. We're just chilling out. It's pretty good. Stream the whole day. I stream for a whole year. I would only stream two to three hours each day. Right, exactly. There would be like little bite sized streams every day. Honestly, the ideal stream length is three to four hours. Anything beyond that um, is just not good for the most part. Um, for up and coming, I guess, if that makes sense for growth. There's kind of a sweet spot. Gotta lurk. Thank you, Zelly. I appreciate it. I appreciate that. Going six hour six of streaming today. Yeah, yep. Um, I think I did 14 yesterday, but we played Zelda and I beat Ocarina of Time. I did beat Ocarina of Time. Oh my God, I was so excited. We started Majora's Mask last night, which was really fun. Um, but I'll probably be restarting it because a lot of people who um, wanted to watch me start playing that were sleeping and I decided for some reason that at one in the morning I wanted to start it. <laughs> it was really silly, but I was just like on a roll. You know what I mean? Instead of getting some rest, I was just super addicted to Zelda. Like, oh my God, yeah, we beat it last night. Um, it's amazing. I wish someone streamed 12 hours every day for almost three months for an uncapped and it after and he hasn't streamed in months, probably got burnt out, right? That's really, that's really tough. 
I'm glad it's been a fun thing for you for sure. Yeah, absolutely. It really has been. I honestly feel like more bonded and more like close to you guys in a way because like, I'm so glad that we're carving out time to just shoot the crap. Like in the middle, like in, in the beginning of the stream, like we talked for like two hours the other day and just about everything under the sun. It was so much fun. Seriously, I was shocked too, Junior. I was like, wait a minute, <laughs> what's going on? I was having fun though. Like I honestly, like, though I should probably like maybe get a little more sleep probably, but I'm excited to stream every single day right now. And I love this because I haven't felt like this rejuvenated in a while. And like, I'm not necessarily burnt out on streaming, but I just like, how do I want to describe it? Like something new, something different and like streaming Zelda and doing all the things that we've been doing and the other stuff has been like so much fun to me. Yeah, yeah, it's just like not like reigniting, but just like a new level of joy in it for me, like a new layer of joy and like confidence as well. But yeah, the, the game variety does help. Like I love The Sims and like this is always gonna be my 99%, but like it's also kind of taught me to be courageous and heck it, just stream Zelda. You love it, why not? You know, kind of thing. And that's really difficult to do as a content creator. Honestly, like it's it's pretty scary. Cause it's different, like you don't know like what, it, for me, it's mostly like difference of like the people that are gonna come in to, from that category, if that makes sense. I had such a sour experience with like Minecraft. Like, it was bad, y'all. Like, I had such a really terrible experience with Minecraft. So like, that's, I think, is where it's kind of coming from. And like, all of that. Like, you guys are like always on your best behavior, best, you know, chaotic sometimes. <laughs> like gatekeeping in chat. Yeah, really hateful, disgusting things, like just random racist stuff. It is, it really, it really does. And that was the first game that I ever streamed. Oh shoot, ads are playing. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, Feral chat sometimes, right? <laughs> Hi, Cassie, I love you. How are you? Sims are not snacks. What an unfortunate random lurk message. No! <laughs> Wait, what? <laughs> you brought <laughs> Crunchy, I'm just kidding, this is terrible. Phil, no! <laughs> That's so funny. But yeah, like, it, it's a lot of that. And also, um, it really sucks, like, I don't know. And there's also that like uncertainty of how to balance chat when you're playing a game and worrying about the level of, engage level of engagement that I want to have. But sometimes it's nice to have that chiller game, you know, kind of thing. Where like I have to focus for five minutes on a boss. Robobean said a scargo. <laughs> Woo! Oh my God. And Minecraft has such a hurtful community though. That's That was the first game I ever streamed and I streamed it for about a year. Back in like 2012, 2013 or whatever. I think it was 2012, if I remember. Um, time is an illusion at this point to me. Um, back then I was streaming to like 60 people on Minecraft and stuff. Uh, Cause these are, they are, they're so wild. Um, when is Growing Together meant to come out? On Thursday. I think it's like noon central, 10 a.m. Pacific. I don't remember exactly the timeline, but Thursday afternoon-ish in, in U.S. time, at least. Midday. Right, Brunhilda? Right. Uh, kids these days are really wild. But I'm really glad to... So one thing I'm really, really, really excited about too. Hi, Rico. Oh my God, I've loved it. I'm so excited about the update. Have you, have you had the chance to dig in yet? Uh, one thing that I'm really excited though. So I want to finish Majora's Mask. And I also want to start Breath of the Wild and finish it before in May Tears of the Kingdom comes out. So those are my goals. I think they're kind of lofty. Um, and I'm kind of scared because I wonder if I can beat two whole games before May. Because I want to play Tears of the Kingdom when that comes out. And I've never played a new game on release like that on stream. So that's going to be new to me. And we're also probably going to have a lot of new community members of this. I haven't. I just got home from work and I have started the update. May actually wait till the pack though. Nice. It's so good. Whatever you choose. Honestly, it's good as a standalone. It's a nice like stepping stone into it, I think. Uh, update today though. Right. So close. 
Um, it was so good. I thought ahead of myself. I thought it was today. No, Ashley. Ah, I know. And they're so close together. So it's really hard to kind of distinguish that, you know, I'm like, oh, <laughs> yeah, I love streaming The Sims. This is like our primary game. Um, but Zelda has my heart right now, too. Special interests collide. <laughs> Super extra lurky. Oh, what's for dinner? Can I come? I have things for porcupine meatballs planned. I actually need to do it. I'm probably not going to stream till like 3 a.m. this time today. You guys, no offense. Um, I might make dinner tonight and spend some time with Michael. Because I've been streaming like 12, 13 hour days and I'm like, I want to do it. But also I need to pretend that Michael exists. I'm just kidding. He does exist. But, you know, I'm glad it's Thursday, though. I'm um, taking a work Friday so I can play all day. I'm so proud of you. That's so fun to, to carve out that self time, you know, a self care time. So, so. Hello. Go home. Hello. Thank you for the follow. Hi, Kate. Welcome on in. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, Pay. Glad it's Thursday, though, taking a Friday. I'm so, oh, my God. That's like such a little treat for yourself. I love it. If y'all are coming in, we're doing the Whimsy Stories Challenge. It's a legacy challenge, and the rule set's right here. And it's so cute. We have two lesbians, and they are slowly falling in love. They're friends to lovers. And Ren is very, like, progressive with, like, um, all of the, uh, the, the health of the earth, essentially. And, like, um, she's very green. And, uh, Poppy is someone who is learning a lot about that because of her and is kind of changing her aspirations based on that like she's currently in the music career and she had like the party animal aspiration and i think she's kind of realized that she's kind of grown out of that especially since she's been helping ren kind of talk to people to vote on certain things and they've been more politically active so um she's like i think finding some passions that are kind of uh different or you know different than what she was when she was younger which is i think is a fair opinion um, doing a shell decoration with the base game and the pack and have leave the challenge of uh, when, when to choose to you. Oh, Ben boozled yourself. That's okay. Aw. <laughs> Very cozy. Been blessed with multiple extra long streams for the last month. You just are going to eat with Michael. Aw. It's, I was just saying earlier, like, I feel a little bit, like, conflicted. Like, I've been, I'm streaming and stuff. Um, and then Michael's going to go be with friends on in Madison. And I'm like, yeah, go. But I'm like, oh, but go. But that just means I can play extra long streams over the weekend for like Zelda if I decided to or The Sims and like move on with these challenges. And then I won't feel bad because Michael's not getting snuggles. So it's fine. It's like a win win. Both, it's 11 a.m. Oh, my God. They were both awake like super late last night. So I'm going to take them go and go to the bar. You know, I wonder, I want to take them to the community lot or the makerspace, and I want to sneak showers in there because, you know, a little something, something. Should we make a community lot for them or... You know what we should do? You know what would be really fun? I want to make them like a community lot. So this is like the makerspace, which kind of is kind of where they go. I want to make a community center sort of place. Uh, what made you want to start a new legacy challenge? The new pack that's coming out. Baby. The new pack is really what it's about for me. When does it end? Monday at 6 p.m. Okay. Um, just because it's more family oriented and more like gameplay oriented with like infants and like all the relationships and stuff. Um, so this is a community space over here. So then we made this one to a maker space. I wonder if we could get like a community center or something like that or something comparable. So we can clean this one up next and go over there because there's this. <gasps> oh, maybe this should be the one because I want to put a laundromat in and I also want to put in a so a laundromat and a uh, like a like some showers and then um, like our little garden space probably or something for Sims. Like, I think that would be so fun. Uh, uh, which thank you for that lurk, I appreciate it. So I'm gonna send them to the bar actually and maybe actually go ahead and um, take care of some of their needs. So they've been like regulars here. They do like sink showers and stuff. We're homeless, so we don't have that stuff yet. Hi, Jenna, welcome on in. I hope you're doing good. So glad to have you. 
Oh my God, you are gonna like pee your pants, girly. Go ahead and go use some bathroom and get some stuff done. Uh, the little blob babies still exist, like the infants before the update, they do, they do. Um, They changed them, they made them better looking and whatnot, and they changed the way that you interact with some of them. So there are some updates and they, that lifespan um isn't as long anymore. Um, so the update isn't as or not that, not that um the the lifespan isn't as long anymore, and they change the way that all of the lifespans are all, like all the lifespans for all of the Sims at all ages. Um, so yeah, there's it's baby, infant, and then so it basically goes from newborn potato baby to like crawling baby, to toddler, to child, to teen, to adulthood and onward. What does the work do? It's just a um, it's just kind of like a flare thing. Um, just to let people know that you come in and out of chat, but it's an optional thing. If you don't want to use it, you don't have to. Just for funsies. Uh, a well-groomed garden in this challenge? Exactly. So, like, I want to have, like, a little compound style thing. Oh, my God. I wish they would add preteen as well. I'm, ha I'm so happy with infants because I think that was the right feel for everything, though, versus preteen. That'd be amazing if they would. Um, but, uh, what was I going to say? I don't think I need to add a shower here. It just doesn't make sense. Um, oh, I want to have like a little compound style lot where like they have like a whole bunch of houses, like miniature like DIY homes and a big like community garden in the middle. Uh, yeah, so yep, I got I got the update. It's it was really cute. We checked it out just a little bit. A changing table and baby here at the update. Right. I wish that they did that. Um, those ones come with the pack, though, I guess. Uh, defer to my two uni models. Oh my god, I pick up a free course and um, oh my god, Sage Accounting. That's so exciting. I'll turn this you want to back from there though. That's awesome, Ashley. I'm proud of you for doing that though, but we will miss you. But I'm glad that you are doing that for yourself because you deserve it. Pretty would just complete the life stages. It would. I think it really would. Like, I wish they had more of like a salt and peppery feel to like adults before like full elders. I know they did add like a few hairstyles in there too though i'm gonna go have her grab uh, order food pita and hummus that's just what we're gonna do i'm glad they did it went that way then because when i was a younger nephew and an older nephew so having a baby into an infant option instead of baby and a toddler helps make more of an age difference for them when they're in and one of my saves exactly i think it's perfect i'm very excited about it it's gonna be amazing Victor and Lily love to hang out here. I feel like they would be the type of people to like look for a spot to do like their oil drilling or somewhere some or somewhere or something in Evergreen Harbor. Like <laughs> Um I would like the hair options when they would choose the color of the roots, streaks, etc. Like we did in I think they did that in like Sims 3, didn't they? Where you could choose different like pieces of the hair. Chelsea, congratulations! That's awesome! Are you excited? Are you nervous? I always get so nervous before I start jobs too, so I'm with you. In my game, that couple had so many kids, pretty sure they both hate kids. I think they do. Like, sometimes the neighborhood stories really do some weird stuff to people, don't they? I am with you there. It's really funny to watch the way that things go down. Um, my nephew wanted to add a baby sister to his family and I let him name it, uh, name it, guess the name. Did he do like potato or something? Or <laughs> something really funny like that or chip or something? I don't know. I feel like kids are always so funny with that stuff. Hello, I'm gonna have both of you go like watch together. We're gonna change the channel. Hey, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome on in. Civic public access. Here we go. Poop or poop head. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah, welcome. My name's Zephyr and my pronouns are she, her. I'm so glad to have you. Thank you so much for coming and hanging with me today. It's been a really fun day. Stop talking and go watch TV together. I need both of them to have like a little bit of fun. <gasps> okay, so she's got her mood lit. Okay. Too many Sims. I want her to be funny. Funny introduction. So for her to overcome that fear, 
I have to do funny things three times in front of people, like in crowds, with this moodlet activated. So she's feeling a little bit overwhelmed. Michaela wants your phone to watch Mickey Mouse. Aw, see you soon. Thanks, Teza. Wasn't that funny? Okay, here, funny. I'll tell a joke. Joke about politicians, because why not? You also low-key love it. <laughs> you veto the poop one, right? I get it. <laughs> Be really disappointed if they did get like a little sibling and then didn't get to name it Poop Head. Sometimes, you know. Ooh, she's done three funny things. Okay, I gotta make sure that I still have that moodlet. Maybe I'll try it again. So funny stories. Tell funny story. Hi, Ace. I didn't have any issues with it. It took me a while um, because like right when it came out, everybody was trying to download something or was trying to log in and then it just wouldn't work. It was a known problem that EA had. It was just letting it filter through. But uh, we got through and it's been it's been really great. 15 more minutes. I want to waiting all day. All right. <laughs> Are you waiting for the download to complete? That's always the hardest part. I love it. Oh my god, wait. Um, so she's done some funny interactions here. I wonder if I could have her do something funny with her. Maybe funny introduction. She's doing pretty good in the middle of like this space here. I think that Poppy is being really supportive of her. Because I think that Ren is more of the... Oh, she's definitely the introvert of the two. Funny. Funny introduction. See if you can actually do it. So if you look... Um, <gasps> feeling confident. Okay, so she's done it. I think that actually got rid of her... Oh my god, that's awesome. Okay, so she had like a fear of public being in public spaces and stuff because of her introversion and the way that her trait is and stuff. Loves outdoors, vegan and vegetarian. I think it was loves outdoors or she just ended up having like a fear of something. So it's been really fun to watch how some of these traits kind of give your Sims a little bit more life. It's been wonderful. I uh, played a little on Xbox, uh, and that was quick, so that was only base game. Oh, and that was only base game. Right, that's awesome, though. Your update could have forever. Mine only took a few minutes, but then again, my internet's, like, super fast, too. I did get lucky there. I think ladies took her forever. Poor lady, I'm pretty sure. Poor girl. This update, though, y'all, and making some more progress on these whimsy legacy stories, I'm into it. Update just got messed up my computer for some reason. Windows doesn't like it. Oh, that's weird. Uh, Kiwi, they're on sale. Treat yourself. Did you pre-order the new pack? Hmm, because you get certain things, like... You get certain things if you download the pack early, or if you buy the pack before, like, the 28th or something. All right, at least we're taking care of some of our needs, and we are... It's, like, 5 p.m. Oh, God, Poppy, I think I have to go to work. All right, girl, I'll see you later. Bye! All right, so now she is going to go leave. Okay. I'll have her go travel uh, to play sets of babies. Yes, I'm so excited. They were excellent. Um, I am totally going to have them do IVF when they get along a little bit more. It's like 1,200 simoleons. Um, but I think I want to solve a little bit of their homelessness first before we get going, you know? Oh my God. Pee same. Oh. oh no. <gasps> How come I brought her with? That's not what I wanted to do. <gasps> Maybe she quits her job because she wants to be eco now. Like the eco lady. Maybe I'll have her quit her job. Cause she like was talk she dipped work instead. I think that's probably something she would do. To like go work on this space or hear about this place here and like think about what they want to try to do with it. Hmm. It 
Here we go. She's worth it for like two days. <laughs> I feel like if they combine their efforts, they can totally like make money together without working, working. Yes. See you later. It's time for something different. Okay, I wonder, what are some other places that... Check community space projects. So, oh, you can, oh, you can only vote in... Oh, no, in your home neighborhood. Oh, no. So we can't do anything up here because we don't live here. I mean, I suppose that makes a lot of sense to me. Um, you know, quitting doesn't have to be sad. Exactly. Like, quitting can be, like, a positive thing. It's totally what we might have wanted. This is Yuji Fuji. Yui Fuji. I think. Are you gonna be able to convince? So now it's, like, two minutes away from, like, the nap voting uh -huh. ending, but I don't think we can do anything with this space, so y'all are gonna have to do this on your own. Good luck. You don't get any help from Ren and Poppy. No, you don't. I thought we were going to be able to do something here, but it's fine. We can redact that. Undo. <clears throat> okay, Ren, we'll see you there. Hi, Sprinkles. Welcome on in. I hope you're doing well. So glad to have you. Uh, oh, Oppo. Um, it said, almost finished making my banana cream pie for pie day. It flagged your message, but I accepted it. And for some reason, it didn't like it. Ooh, I can put this in my inventory. <gasps> Hello, thank you for accepting. Oh, you're welcome. For some reason, it doesn't push it through, so it's it's a little confusing, but I hope you're doing well. Ren and Poppy are so gay right now, and I love them. Poppy doesn't have a job anymore, though, because Poppy wants to focus on things with Ren. Vote on one neighborhood action plan. Vote on neighborhood action plans. Um, Vote on community space projects. So this one I want to stay into, like stay a makerspace though. Like, but she's gonna do that here. Also skill in fabrication. I'm gonna have her go fabricate something. Um, Or not, cause I gotta go recycle some things, but it's good. Recycle from inventory. Here we go. Just wanted to brag on my homemade pie day celebration. That's awesome. Oh my God. I love that though. Ooh, the green initiative ones has 10 people. I'm just going to have her vote on it because like she needs it for her aspiration and stuff. Ooh, sell power on a water or water on a utility bill and become a civil designer. So maybe she's going to become a civil designer. Um, can I have you do this? Raise your skill in fabrication. Do you not have enough things here? I'll ever go recycle from inventory and try it here. Hi, Mrs. Marips, Mrs. Maris and Momster. Welcome back. Good to see you. Hope everyone's had a good Tuesday. We are playing our Whimsy Stories Legacy Challenge, and things are going pretty well, honestly. I really like it. I'm having a really good time. And um, Ren and Poppy are making some differences in their community. Hmm. Okay, ooh, Charisma level five. Look at you go. Okay, very cool, though. Uh, link for the challenge. I do. I gotta make a command for it, but it is right here. <clears throat> Love this. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, yeah, that's right. Okay, so she has like a bunch of stuff. So I gotta get another level of like fabrication, it seems, for me to move on. So level, skill level five in fabrication at least. So then she goes up. Collect insects from an insect farm three times and create candles. Okay, those honestly aren't that bad. So the candle making is something that I gotta go, I gotta do. Gotta go pick up dinner. All right, thanks Cassie, see you soon. Ren has scrapped the fabrication, okay. Okay, I'm gonna make some more furniture that is going to be like red. 
the dining table. I kind of want to make this, but like how much do I have? Brick red dye. I'm going to make everything in like the brick red maybe or not. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I think it's Monday morning that it expires then, isn't it? Yeah, Monday at 6 p.m. Okay, Monday night. Got it. There's like basically over the weekend, I suppose, because most Sims have like enough time to go and like vote on stuff. So, I mean, it makes a lot of sense to me. The weather, uh, and a little 12 inches again. It's like in the 40s here and I have my window open. <laughs> it's really nice and really bright. Everything, like it feels so good. I'm, oh my God, how are you guys holding up though? It's like it's been pretty brutal. Like y'all have been getting absolutely plowed with snow up there. Hi Ashton, I'm doing great. Thank you so much. Need a vacation, I bet. Somewhere like nice and sunny sounds great to me. I am in full support of this stuff. I almost want to like mix some of the regular furniture with the brick red stuff. Our power is flickering. Oh my god. What a nightmare though. Actually. An actual nightmare. Um That's crazy. <clears throat> I hope that y'all don't lose some power. Like that's so crazy. Gossip about family drama. Oh my god, wait, that sounds crazy. You're gossiping with like a, a, a hyper tubs. Wait, is this like an eco lifestyle sim or something? It looks like she might be from like Jungle Adventure or like Outdoor Retreat, but I also don't know anymore because townies wear random clothes. So it's really hard to know. <sighs> I wonder if I can give this garbage to her because she's the one that's been like recycling everything and using it for her own. Also, what level are you? Your fabrication skill is like nowhere near where I want you to be. But I should make some like cool dining chairs I think would be cool. Hi, Sam, welcome on in. Yeah, the hair was from Snowy Escape. So maybe she was from Snowy Escape. Then, because like I feel like their hair is more of an indicator than what clothes they're wearing. Hi, unicorn. Welcome. Yep, the sub then has 605 hours. Welcome on by. I'm really glad to see you. How you doing? We're playing our whimsy stories challenge. Stories legacy challenge. Having a really good time. Um, Ren and Poppy are like doing a nice facelift on their entire um, on the entire community and uh, looking to better things. Sam, right? Day 14 of Sabadon. Yep, that is correct. Hey, unicorn. Oh my god, top is so nice. You guys have been so kind. I really, really appreciate that. Thank you for the three gifted subs. Yeah, so nice. More hours. Are we getting you after March? Um, so if we end up hitting 1,500 subs by the end of the month, then we will do something more in April. I haven't really decided yet, but um, probably more marathon streams or something to be determined on how long, but or how that's gonna look. But um, definitely gonna be a thing, like for sure. Yeah, welcome. I'm so glad to see ya. Thanks for coming and hanging with me, though. I think she's still fabricating. Everyone's, like, obsessed with hanging out here and just working on fabricating stuff. It's so weird to see. I wish it weren't so busy, but then again, I'm also glad that it's, like, really busy. Hi, K-Fox. Thanks for that lurk. Um, day 14. Right, Sam? Yep, day 14. I'm honestly feeling really good because we haven't been simming the entire time. I've been doing like other games like um, The Legend of Zelda has been a really big one. Um, it's all been really nice though. My lobbying paid off. It did. Seriously, Pee Wee. That's like a very accurate way to put it. <laughs> Never fabricate some more. It looks like I can't. Common upgrade parts. So you can make upgrade parts. Oh, that's so cool. Hi, Chi Chi. Welcome. I'm so glad to see you. Hope you had a good day. Hi, RJ. I'm so busy with the college. I've been able to watch in ages. I am doing so good. How are you today? 
We are um, on day 14 of an uncapped subathon. So that means the stream is going 24 seven and I'm on camera for a minimum of seven hours a day. Hope you all are doing well. Uh, the baby game you played was too funny. Yeah, oh my God, the baby game. Um, oh, this Saturday, we might be playing some games with Chi and, um, and stuff like that. So I'm pretty excited. Um, the infants, yeah. Yeah, I played them, I played them a little bit earlier today. Um, they're adorable. And they're tiny in comparison to the toddlers. They make toddlers look big. And they're so sweet. I think they're gonna add so much to the, um, to the gameplay in like a really good way. So I'm super looking forward to this. Looking forward to Trombone Champ. Oh my God. Yeah, same. That one's gonna be really fun. I have it all downloaded because that one day I didn't have it downloaded and then I couldn't do it on stream. So we just have to play it then. So excited. Very good. Okay. You're not doing too bad. What is she doing? Is she working on some things? Oh, I guess she's just talking to this creepy little girl outside. Hello? So I'm like dumpster diving because then you get garbage and then you get like bits and bobs and stuff from things. Ooh, okay, Houndstooth die. I'm gonna die for more deals because I feel like we get more bits and pieces. Or bits and whatever, bits and pieces out of actual objects versus stuff that's like recycled, like recycled trash. But, um, infants though. Oh my god, it's so good, Maris. I think you're really gonna like it. Oh, there's a plumbing upgrade part? Okay. Die for deals. Let's go. Um, can you leave me alone, sir? Marcel, please, for the love of Pete. Don't make me kill you, because I will, Marcel. <clears throat> I know the dumpsters stink. I know it's the really unfortunate piece of this is that, like, she stinks. I wish that, like, since she had the Freegan trait, that she was going to not have, like, as much of an impact from, from her hygiene standpoint, if that makes sense. I really wish that were the case. Marcel the non-shell with the lame shoes on. I know, like, what are you doing? Marcel is sitting here, like, writing hate tweets about us, I bet. What a jerk. Um, die for deals. Yeah, it really tanks all of her needs, though. Marcel is winning her sales. I love it! Also, what is this? An eco upgrade part? Okay, that's kind of cool, though. Hello? Uh... Yeah, bizarre. Um, let's do the green initiative, even though we already have like a bajillion votes in comparison to like what we would actually need. Like there is no contest um, for the neighborhood cleanup thing. Like they have like 11 or 12 things. Cornelius is doing great, legit doing laughter on their squash. I love it, it's so sweet. It's a very excited day to be a snail. Why are you pregnant, Myra? Oh my God. Wow, she's very yeah. pregnant. I did not expect her to be pregnant like that. Okay, girl, go off. All right, let's go to the bar because I am ridiculous. And I made it so they are, um, or she's like absolutely filthy and hungry and just a mess. She wants an infant, right? I bet you. Um... There was like someone turning around. It's like a police officer. I'm like, what are you doing? Who was that? I bet you. I can't remember what I was saying because I was just distracted now. But um, washi washi. How exciting. It's cold outside. I suppose that it is because it's literally fall now. So there's that. All right, let's go ahead and go use the bathroom. Go wash your hands a bunch of times. How about you? Like wash your hands. And then I think that we're probably gonna be able to go gross prank. Oh man, she went to the toilet and someone pranked it. That's really unfortunate. I really hate that. Ooh. Oh my God, 
that's really funny. The the pita and hummus tapas are still down there from this morning. Oh my God, that's really weird to see. You're gonna have to do some things, some serious work on your needs and stuff. Yikes, girl, let's go. I feel like I should almost add like a little shower in here, but also in a bar that feels really weird. So I don't think it like goes well. So I almost want to make that community space something else. And like, did you guys know that you can make a laundromat for your Sims? I did not know that you could do that. Dislikes alternative music. I don't think she would dislike alternative music. Someone's hit no. Jim or pool, right? We don't have them here and they're homeless. So I feel like they, and they, they wouldn't really have like means of transportation as easily, if that makes sense. Um, what? Yes, you can. It's crazy. So like, like a little trust dog. Oh, that would that'd be really cute. So you go under appliances. And then if you have laundry day, I just learned this today. Um, so you go here and then you pick the last white swatch. Look at this. There's a legitimate like coin dispenser right here, if you see. And look at it now, it's like a different symbol. It's a coin dispenser and it charges you every single time that you there's like there's one on the washer and the dryer. It charges you whenever you do that. My mind is blown. I don't know. It's been there the whole time, I guess. And I just didn't know. I'm like, why are there two ways? Watch, is that stupid? Um, no, it's because one is a freaking coin dispenser thing. I know it is. So you can literally like, I want to make like a community lot, like a community center kind of thing. And then I want to have like a shower room with like, um, uh, and then have like a little laundromat style area where you could do laundry. And I also want to do like, um, like a little computer center, maybe a little library area. Yeah, I could put one in the new rec center. Wouldn't that be so much fun? That's it. Yeah, because they have a recreation center. So that's a good one, actually. In the college. Oh my God, in the college would be perfect. So yeah, I don't know how much it costs your sim to use it, but like, it's a thing. Pansy right. Seriously. Back from the vet checkup. Awesome. Welcome back. I'm solving some needs here. I'm going to have her go wash her hands a few more times because they're doing the sink baths is why I'm having her do this. Almost make it a shelter like one of the university cafeteria booths, the coin laundry, showers, etc. Yeah, that'd be awesome. Oh, juice box? No, I have a fruit and veggie pouch. That coin slot thing? Yeah. Um, oh, Elder Martin. It's uh, on the laundry um, thingies. Appliances, and then you go miscellaneous, and then you have like your washer and your dryer. Wherever those are. Here. Um, if you select your washer and dryer, you got them right here. And then you go to the very last swatch. So there's like two white swatches. That's the very last one. Look at these right here. They're coin operated. I did not know that. Who is Greg? Sim loading screen just to be aware of Greg. He's in uh, Werewolves. What? I know. That's what I said. I, you guys, seriously, I learned that people are like, yeah, you can do that. And I'm like, wait, what? Um, hello? I had no clue that you could do it. Hmm. Whenever you order more food, pita and hummus tapas. Okay. You, why is your hygiene worse now? I don't know why the hygiene is worse. That literally, though, that honestly, literally, that blew my mind, though. So 
So I have them wash their hands a bunch of times because I want them to be, um, I want them to have like a little bath. It's like a sink bath. Hi, Esquisita, <laughs> welcome on back. Gre yeah, Greg's a werewolf and werewolves. Yeah, yeah. You got it. <laughs> oh. Beware of Greg. 100 simoleons. I suppose we literally have like nothing on our lot. I love this game. There's always something new. Seriously, Garden Sim, right? Like, yeah, I play this all the time too. And I had no clue about any of that stuff. Are you, where are you going to go eat? Are you... Oh, you're going upstairs to talk? No, just eat on the stairs, apparently. She's super tired. I'm just trying to get her to solve some needs. Okay, let's go travel with Poppy back home. I need to work on the romantic relationship a little bit now, though. Um... So, B Princess, we were talking about the laundry with the coin operations on it. I think you might have been here for that earlier. I don't remember. I don't know. I'm, I don't remember. It's a blur because it's uh, crazy. Honestly, I have no idea about any of that. It's wonderful. Finish the base layer of my painting, but I'm too tired to continue. Oh, I feel that. I'm so sorry. You got any good rest ahead of you? It's in the morning. Oh my God. We are all sorts of messed up on our sleep schedules now because it's like 6 a.m. Uh oh. Coin operations? Yeah. So if you look at the la the very last swatch on the washer and the dryer, so there's like, it's a white swatch at the far end. There's a coin operation thing on it. It's like a coin operated one. Burnt out on schoolwork, right? <clears throat> that, yep. That is a very real thing, unfortunately. I'm so sorry to hear. You know, burnout with school sucks because you, and like anything really, just burnout period sucks. I know, isn't it fun? I'm gonna make a, a laundromat at some point. <clears throat> and it's essentially like functional then. I think we're good. Maybe I'll have you, oh, no, don't put that in your inventory. Stop. Let's have you grab some cereal. If the towel... Oh, I think she's gonna sit on it. No! <laughs> Let me skip around to room. Now we can start flirting with each other. <clears throat> I want May to happen so you can graduate, right? It's like so close, you can taste it. I get it. Friendly reminder to save your game. I think it was just a party animal, um, like idol trait or something that she does. Cause you can do, do party tricks or something like that. Cause she's a party animal. I might change that trait away from it because she's changed as a Sim, you know? Honestly, I think that's like a healthy outlook. All right, I'm gonna flirt with you. <clears throat> suo, suo. <laughs> Affection. We're gonna confess attraction again. I'm gonna have both of them confess attraction to each other. You tore the Melvoy? Oh my god, lesbians! Hello, what are you doing? On your phone? Oh. <gasps> what if we took a photo together? Uh -huh. Oh my god, I need to I seriously need to get better at doing stuff like that. Oh. Okay, that's kind of cute though. I've never seen them actually do it. <laughs> I think she's singing like campfire songs. Oh, <gasps> How cute are they? And they don't have their eyelashes on because the creative sim stuff is gone. <gasps> I love them.
Oh, it's it's, it's it's a busy spider. Ah, okay. I think that is a, a campfire song though, or at least was originally considered one. Cute, I know. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Okay. Um. No, there. Yeah, there was like itsy bitsy spider and stuff for me when I was younger too, for campfire stuff. Um, romance. We're gonna go just keep hitting on her. You know what? Uh, I do when you start to play more uh, <laughs> MM or when you gonna restart it. I can't remember what was said earlier. Um, I do wanna. I'm. I was gonna. I'm gonna restart. Mm, I almost said Max's match. <laughs> Sam, um, Majora's Mask. I really want to. Um, right now, I don't know if I want to spend time with Michael this evening or like what he's up to, or if I wanted to play some Majora's Mask this evening. <sighs> I'm not sure, but I really want to play Majora's Mask though. Like, oh, so bad. And I, I really want to play this as well. You're about to update The Sims. Nice. I like it. But I haven't decided at this point. At the very least, at some point, I can see me doing a lot of it over the weekend. Um, because Michael's not going to be home. But I have a feeling that I'm going to be doing... Um, that I'll be doing it, like, more, like, before this weekend, of course. <laughs> but I haven't determined yet. But I'll do it during living hours and not, like, at 3 in the morning like I did last night <laughs> to start it. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Mina. Welcome on in. I don't know why I said hi, Kristen, again. It's fine. <laughs> hi, Kristen. <laughs> Welcome on in, Mina, though. Nice to meet you. All right, y'all. <gasps> what if we, like, ask about romantic interests? Because I feel like this is a nice lead-in conversation for them. Magra. It's changing. Um, all right, so ads are going to play in, like, 30 seconds, y'all. So I'm going to go ahead and take a pause, and I'll be back in just a few. So thanks for hanging, and you won't miss anything. So thanks for supporting. I really appreciate that. Ad break. Go take a pee or get something to drink or something. Hmm. Yeah, Majora's Mask is like so fun. Oh, it's updating. Oh my God, it's so good. Did you save... Did you make uh, copies of all of your save files and all of your screenshots and stuff like that and um, get your mods out of the folder? Your son loved that one, Majora's Mask. It's so good. We just finished Ocarina of Time yesterday night, like last night. Um, I have not played Majora's Mask. I watched my brother um, kind of meander through it, but we rented it and I don't know how far or like we borrowed it or something and I don't know like how long he got into it. Oh, you Sims lover, you should have done that because sometimes it'll corrupt everything. Getting everything out of there is really important. Making backups of it. Um, do you consider what do you consider multi generational? So it could be like your like one of your Sims parents staying with you. It could be. Um, it could be like your Sims sibling and then. So like, say you have like your husband and your wife and like they have some kids and then like your sibling, like your younger sibling moves in or something. Just multiple different generations of the family. <clears throat> Whatever blended family dynamic you want to have. Nearly doubled the last few days. Right, Gracie, hasn't it? But yeah, like um, I watched Majora's Mask from uh, my brother play it and stuff, but I don't really have as much recollection of it at all as much as I do Ocarina of Time because we owned Ocarina of Time growing up. Like, I honestly have no idea. My son and husband played. It was cute watching them talk about it because my son was on the spectrum and he just jumped it into a, a book for days. But my hubby was into it, too, so he was into it. That's so cute when those special interests align. That's so magical when that happens. I love that.
Hi, Beth. Hi, Tank. How are you? Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. How was your day? Good to see you. We finished Majora's Mask last night. For those of you guys who missed it, I loved it. It was so much fun. The snails send their regards. I love them. They're so cute. I like the little eye stalks. The snails give me so much joy. I love them. Uh, the game automatically, it does, but with save files, you can still run into a lot of corruption issues. If you're not careful. Um, good. Today was a great day. I got a raise at work. Beth, that's awesome. Oh my God. Congratulations on the raise. That's incredible. Very good stuff. It's always wonderful when that happens. Very glad. It's a good way to start your week, honestly. You know, it's Tuesday. <laughs> Yay! Exactly right. I feel like it should be only, uh, okay, I only have four saves. Maybe, uh, right? Especially uh. if you have like mods or custom content though, and it like disables them. That's when like the corruption issues can kind of come about. Better safe than sorry is what I'm saying, but like doesn't happen to everyone, but I have seen it happen before, but just a good suggestion overall, I guess. Hopefully it'll be okay though. Um, I'm going to have to go back to the VOD and see the conclusion. How many more tries will it take on the horse and the arrows? You were so close when I left, right? It was a lot. Uh, well, okay, so I eventually went on the fun side quest and Don't then you'll see what happened from there. <laughs> it was like this whole other thing. Chronos work, honestly, oh. I don't know what happened on my end. It's not yeah, a you thing, it's a me thing. I can't see anyone's pronouns because I think something disconnected with like my extension. Why do y'all get some like disconnects here? Why did they like dislike each other for the romantic thing? I'm going to try to flirt with them, though. Romance, we're going to flirt. Hi, Will. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. Stop going and relaxing. I guess that's like really our only piece of furniture, which is kind of nice. Ooh. Affection. Confess attraction. Or declare love publicly. Physical intimacy. Um, downloading Sims has never felt so long. 17 more packs to download. It started at 3 3 803. Oh my god. Bless you, Sierra. That I'm so sorry. I know. Nothing like a good fresh reinstall, though, sometimes. Hello. The hair is fantastic, Dominique. <clears throat> yeah, did you have to reinstall everything, I think? I think so. Aw, they're so cute together, and they're honestly best friends. I wonder if we can declare each other as, like, best friends. I really want this to be, like, a friends to lovers arc. Become best friends. Uh, off to work. Off work, which means I get to make food and Sims update time. Woo! I love that. We're besties. Be fought. <laughs> become best friends. We already are best friends, though. Just I don't think there's anything more than that, Petto. but that's like platonic. Ooh. How fun. Um, So we got to go work on like fabrication skill stuff. So today at like in like a few hours, it's the green promise stuff. So I think this all should be hopefully edging on like cleaning up, I think. Can't go to the facts. This game is worth like 900, um, 900 for the whole lot. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. There's definitely, there's definitely that. I don't agree with the amount of money that EA chooses to charge per pack, though. I think it's a lot, especially like the more and more we get into it, the more of a deterrence it could become for people trying to pick up more packs. Especially if you don't like continuously purchase them as they come out. All right, ah, compliments. Let's do sword. deep thoughts. <laughs> so, <laughs> ah. <gasps> SF science, baby. Oh my God. I like how you can have that be like a thing. Ah. What? I didn't know. Oh my God. We can have a science baby. So like. Dorna? $900 for over oh. so many years. That's okay for me because I've been up from the beginning, but I do feel bad for Daddy. newbies. Yep. Yeah. Like so for newbies, it sucks, or especially if someone is like steps away for a few years and they don't have like all these packs or can't get them for whatever reason, they just keep coming. 
for like $900 over like however many years is it? Is it like almost eight years now? It's like 112 or whatever dollars a year or something like that, which isn't horrible, but not ideal. Growing Together will be the first pack I bought since Discovery University came out. Oh, it's so good. I love it. Have you seen, um, have you seen a lot of the content coming from it? I haven't really seen anything, but I've heard it, like really good things. Like really good things. Avenue Smishy. Affection. Exactly Kushiro right. I'm kind of in the same boat too, but I also empathize with both ends, like both ends of the table. Do care love publicly. You talk about How much everything costs? I've usually gotten stuff as it come out. That's so much. Yeah, it is. But if you think about it, it amounts like on average about one hundred dollars a year for something that you get endless enjoyment out of. You know, like you'd pay like a Hulu subscription or like Netflix. How much is Netflix? Like seven US dollars a month. You know, like that's $84 a year or whatever, assuming it's I don't know how much it is because I don't pay for it and I don't use it. But like you. Yeah, to me, that's worth it. I'll pay for $20 a month. Exactly. Yep. Amazon Prime is $120 a year and I get a Twitch sub, right? Mm -hmm. There's ups and downsides. Okay. That being said, wow. I do not like. I don't just. I don't agree with like the price of the packs, though. I think they should be a little cheaper. I think forty dollars for an expansion is steep. It's like fifteen. Oh God. Okay. Yeah. I don't know. I have no idea how much it is. Clearly, I don't pay it and I don't watch it. <laughs> so that being said, one hundred and eighty dollars a year for Netflix. Then, you know. $30. I think $30 would be extremely reasonable. Yeah, Just even $10 Shemandra. less. You're Big yes. That would be phenomenal. $8 for Netflix? Oh my god, really? Yeah, I have no idea. I suppose, doesn't it depend on like what one you're getting or something? Oh my god, I want us. I want like, okay, so the nap is gonna be enacted in like a few hours here. And I want us to have our first kiss on the port right when like everything's all cleaned up and it's gonna be super gay. Okay, we're gonna go visit the bar with Ren. My, uh, my computer only came up with 118 gigabytes so the Sims game is only, only game on your computer right now. Oh, that stinks. Storage is rough. Uh, I was up by 15 so I canceled it, right? Yeah. And they are, um, yeah, that really stinks though. And they're like not even really liking them or they're not even really getting into the whole, um, what's it called? Like password sharing stuff. Cause aren't they like cracking down on that or something? I don't know. Cause Michael, um, I think and his brother are like the only ones that really use it a lot, I guess. That I know of. I've been getting mine for a bun in a bundle for 50. You can make expansion pack, a game pack, and stuff packs. You can use um used to be able to create your own up until last week and EA change now they bank the pack for you. Oh, that really stinks though. Like instead of like a uh that really does stink. It mentioned something about signing signing you out every 30 days. What? They're supposed to be, but I'm not sure they went through with it. Okay. So they realized that maybe corporate greed isn't. The solution, they were probably dropping customers like crazy. <laughs> like if you're struggling for income, don't like. No, I don't want to be your friend. You literally stop. <laughs> the sad face is so sad. Um, Like if you don't want to alienate your viewer base, don't do something like that. Like if you're already struggling for like worried about all of that. Uh, the stock dropped if they announced it and then they, they backpedaled. <laughs> I believe you, but like... <laughs> they will lose a ton of customers over it. Like, some people will just simply go without. Um, but yeah. That is so stupid. They're testing in certain areas. Okay, that's ridiculous. Um, Magic Realms and I have to get whatever they give me. That stinks, though. That does. <gasps> yes! Okay, because of the community vote for green initiatives in Port Promise, these docks are about to get a lot greener. Within the course of the next week, residents will see more and more bushes and trees sprouting up in the area. <gasps> That's exciting! 
Everything is so clean. Look at it. This is not green and slimy anymore. This is about to get like really cute in here. Oh my God, how sweet. I wonder if we can go down here and have our first kiss like on the ocean or where's like a scenic spot in Evergreen Harbor? Cause we live like on the docks in the not so good side of town, I guess, now that I realize it. Oh. <laughs> so I almost wonder if we should move somewhere else and take our motives elsewhere into like a different neighborhood for that reason, if that makes sense. That seems like that could be really fun. Right, we got to kiss first. Woohoo! Oh my God. <laughs> I see what you said, Belmont. Just realized I was gifted up at some point. Aw, that's so sweet. I really appreciate that. Someone gifted you a sub, that's so nice. I'm gonna go and see if there's like an area cause like you can only like vote on things or politic for things that are in your neighborhood, which makes sense. That's the way it should be, right? Like if you don't live there, you shouldn't have an impact. But like, um, so they live in the docks and they've got this nice and cleaned up. Um, and then I wonder if we should go over here cause this is the maker space that we've made. And then I wonder if I should like get this lot and live there, like have them move. I'll do free real estate on because we're just like going all over the place. I think that's a really good idea. I really like that. Um, Because I feel like here in this spot is probably where we'll have like the little... No, that's too small of a lot though. I don't know. I'm going to put these in things in our inventory and then I'm actually going to sell some of this stuff. Oh. And then we're going to pack up and leave. But first, I'm going to have them pay their bills. It's hundreds of millions. Um, but I'm going to have them maybe make like a small little house to start or something. Maybe do, like, I don't know, something. I almost want to have them do like the A-frame thing. But then <gasps> what, is it, what if I should move them in there? And that A-frame that I made over there on the other end of town. Because it's like 6,000 simoleons or something. Backspace button, we'll put things on inventory. Nice. That's good to know, though. See, I'll edit it a little bit because I don't think it should be like to the extent that it is for them. And I'll change out some of the furniture, I think just to be the eco stuff that she has or like replace it when she gets there. Um, oh, delete. Okay, no, that's good to know. Backstay, so put this in inventory. No, that's good to know. Good to know. Okay, this is on a 40 by 30 technically. Uh-oh. I don't know what this is going to look like. I guess we'll find out. Oh, it's like this whole area in the back. I wonder, should we keep the, the pond or? Part of me is like, just delete it and then flatten it out. I think it doesn't make sense in the neighborhood though. Like the giant pond doesn't. I don't think it makes any sense. Here we go. Um, pie menu. Seriously, isn't it so good? I know, I love what they do with it. It makes my brain very happy. The organization that they did, like so happy. 4,000 hours. Oh my God, I have like 8,000, I think. I'm, I'm with you. I'm like, woo. What's going on? Oh, shoot. So I can't actually like use any of this debug. That sucks so bad sometimes. Can I like erase you? Okay, so it is all brown. 
Why is it off? Um, I have six infants, um, two of which are asleep at the wet bathroom floor. Even <laughs> the butler passed out on the floor and he's a tiny I'm stressed. Oh my God. There's a lot going on in your game right now, isn't there? That is a lot. Okay. This is such a cute little like A-frame thing. Too many infants, right? Um, should I get rid of these couches and use the eco stuff? Or should we like use a lot of the things that we have here right now? I don't know what to do with this. Because we're going to grow out of this house very quickly. So I don't know, like, but it's better than being homeless right now. Or should we remove some of these furnishings and like gut it down so it's not super decorated? Because they're like, just got the house. Keep and redecorate later. Like, I feel like it's kind of this thing like, okay, they just bought it or they bartered for it or something like that. And maybe we'll furnish it. I think that's probably a good idea. Um, but at least it's somewhere to stay kind of thing. A little table, everything is like super empty. She's got some furniture and I'll let her like totally do it on her own. Um, uh, the needs are just decaying so fast. Wait, needs are decaying so fast on what? Uh, there is only a toilet in the bathroom. There's a, there's a shower in there too. Like as well. So this is like straight up just like a house that they purchased. Um... Oh, the infants. Oh, right. It's on the wall. There, there's definitely gonna be some balancing. So we'll see what happens with some future updates and stuff. Yeah, yep, it's, it's on the wall and whatnot. Okay, so it's like just a house that they just purchased. Like it came with appliances and stuff. It's like a little pop-up house, essentially. It's kind of cute. I could see this. So this isn't necessarily going to be like their forever home. They know they want to have the compound thing, but this is like maybe somewhere where they want to go. Because we can, I think they should be able to afford this. Totally live there. Oh, right. I would so live here too. It's, it should be fully functional. All right, so where are we gonna go? So we have like 4,000 simoleons in our house. Like this. Where is it? Um. Oh yeah, travel. I think it's under travel, like move household. Uh, glad to catch the stream. Hey, welcome Laura, how are you? We've cleaned up this edge of town. I wonder if we can do this in our own neighborhood. So let's find out, I'm very curious. I think the other neighborhood is gonna be kind of bad too. Cause this one looks really good now in comparison to like the other one. I just don't know what it's gonna be like. Completely furnished. Cute little A-frame. I really wanna live here too, I'm with you. Oh yeah, we've got some cleanup to do. So they're kind of on this like mission. Is this like a quarry? It almost looks like a prison <laughs> kind of thing. But we're on a mission, that is for sure. And we've got some things on our household or like in our, our household inventory for things that we could totally just like lay down if we wanted to. Oh my God, I love the idea of implementing all of like the poppy colors for poppy because like, hello? I'll put like a little dining chair right here. The living chair. Oh, that's so cute. 
And I'll do like a little bookshelf on this side. Um, eat some ice cream. Ice cream is always yes. I'd say go for it. Ice cream is the best. It's like a little table. This is also a table like. All right. And then we have an actual garbage can that I can slap right here. So I'll put this out front. Absolutely ice cream. So that's kind of how I feel, too. Um, that just like a little pop of color. There's like a big dresser thing. So I honestly don't know, like, if I want to sell this or if I want to keep it. But this bookcase could be kind of cute in the front of the house anyway. Cookies right now? Aw, B, that's awesome. Hi, Elation. Welcome on in. How are you? Should I add like a little table in this corner? Because the, again, these are things that she fabricated and made on her own. Hey, nerd bot. Nerd bot. Oh, nerd bot. <laughs> nerd bot. Oh my God. Holy butts, 42 months. Seriously, thank you so much. Nerd, I really appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I hope you're doing well. Ooh, I have stuff in my inventory. Some fabricated stuff that I didn't want to hold on to, I think. That's kind of nice. Thank you so much. Welcome on in. How are you doing today? Tier three. You're an amazing piece of this community, and I hope you're doing good. This is, um, we worked ourselves into a new neighborhood. And um, we had them move into like this little A-frame that we made on stream, if you remember. Yeah, seriously, Maple, that's what I'm saying. It's already been two weeks. Like, hello. Hi, Maple, I hope you're doing well. I feel like I want them to like keep some of these things, like their tarp and their tent, but I also don't know. So, so it's time to move on from that. Hi, the cheat to remove money. Uh, when you're in live mode, you just type the amount of money that you want them to have. So like, say if they have a million simoleons and you only want them to have 10,000, you do money 10,000 without commas. So like, like that. Um, thank you for the follow and also Joy. Thank you so much. You're new to Twitch. Welcome on in. Do look at the house, right? Cause they were homeless and they've been working really hard at like fabricating, making money and uh, politicking to so, like so. heal the, heal the, uh, the community where they live. And so they've moved to a new area so they can help clean this place up too. It's kind of like their mission. Welcome, how are you? Hi Dahlia, welcome, so glad to see you today. How are you? We're playing the whimsy legacy stories. So, oh my God, she does not know how to cook. Oh my God, I'm gonna save because this is gonna be really scary. You're very welcome. So I stripped everything that we made out of this house and this is what we got so far, I guess. So we're gonna do, I also want them to have a, I think, I don't know if this will fit under like anything here. Give me a sec. Tiny home residential. Nope, okay which is fine because like I use platforms. Aw, thank you, Joy. I appreciate that. Thanks for stopping on by. It's so cute, Angel. Thank you. I stripped it all out. If you remember when I was making it on stream and then we made, we brought in the furniture that like they would have brought with them kind of thing. Oh, what are you making? Grilled cheese? We are not homeless anymore. Okay, this is kind of nice though. Uh -huh. But they haven't really fully like announced their love together but um they've definitely expressed interest and they know the fact that they are um like attracted to the other person <laughs> hey doing good just making dinner that's amazing dahlia i'm so glad you're here what's for dinner tonight we're definitely going to be having a baby um uh eventually talking about having a baby together um, one of them, they're, one of them is going to do, oh my God, what is it called? Um, um, the IVF stuff. So the science babies. Hi, Cade. Welcome on in. I'm so glad to see you. So Ren is going to be the one getting pregnant. Poppy, um, is fully supportive of Ren wanting to have a family. Are y'all not like, wait, unnecessary spending from cooking meal without ingredients. Oh no. Okay. So we got to do our best here. 
They're so cute. First meal in our new home. They're so awkward together, just the way they just sit there. They're so cute though, aren't they? Really moved on up. But they found a really eco-conscious home. And then I almost like to think that it was like one of the prefabricated ones. And here we are. Salmon flavored with dill, parsley, garlic, and butter. Also had nice bro rice and broccoli going. Ooh, that sounds good. I love dill. So like you have said all of the words that I enjoy. I know they're so adorable. I think that, um, you know, maybe we should do this. Get off your phone. Stop doing weird things. Scoob Ow Habery, Oprah <laughs> See, we need to take photos of them together. Ignore the fact that there's no wall there um, and pretend it's fine. Oh. <laughs> and smoochy smoochy. I think this is going to be good. Drop the recipe in Discord. Please do. That sounds fantastic. Here we go. Let's do more choices, not more choices. Here we go. OK, romance and then physical intimacy. We're going to have our first kiss together. <gasps> Let's go lesbians. Kalarga Zakuni, a sense and gorge. <laughs> Had pork tenderloin on the grill. Ooh. OK, that sounds super good, though. Let's go lesbians. Okay, we had our first kiss. I think that they, um, we do have like a pretty strong romantic relationship now though, but I do feel that both of us could probably sleep in the same bed, like comfortably now. So I'll have you go assign right bed to, Ren will be on the right, and then Poppy will be on the left. And I think that's fair. Vampire City Living get to work on the holiday celebration pack left to download, nice going pretty quick though well now i feel like it is in comparison to earlier i feel like it really picked up hi kyber hi my cat is being so cute are you being adorable mister I'm super sweet boy albert town to die on my front porch i don't have enough stress oh my god what that's so crazy it always gets me all wound up when um yeah, he doesn't really, um, he's not like a huge pickup cat, but he is right here. Look at him. Look at how cute he is. Hey, Kipper. Kyber. I love him. He's a black cat. His name's Kyber. I have a, a gray cat as well, and her name is Ahsoka. Hey. Hi. Are you saying hello? Look at how handsome you are. Yeah. <laughs> His body language definitely said hi. Hi. Black cat Um, and three gray cats. Into the mirror, right? It's a mirror, that's so funny. He is so sweet though. My snuggle buddy. But did you see, I love it when you say hi, and then they like, their body language just arches up and they're just so sweet. I love Kyber. He's the lazy, sleepy one. And he's so sweet. Like he literally got under my desk right now and like started chirping her attention at me. I'm taking a photo for you guys so you can see. So y'all can see. He gets in there and like rears on his, um, rears under his back. And then once he goes like this and he wants to tell me pats and stuff. And he's just so cute. And these little snaggle teeth come out. I know you. You're so sweet. He's so snuggly. That would be cute if we adopted a cat or like a little dog. I could see them being like a dog. And the dog would like follow them places too. I could see it. Um. 
Let's see. One thing that I do want. Okay, so all right. Um, I just want to give you guys a little bit of backstory as to like what's going on with these Sims right now. Um, so we do have some story or history, I guess. Give me a sec. All right, so the history of this, of these two Sims at the moment. Um, so Ren is a Sim. Uh, so Ren has the red hair. Uh, she's a Sim that has moved to Evergreen Harbor, giving up her corporate job in San Mai Shuno. Um, she set out to heal from burnout and build a new life that she is proud of and aligns with her nature-loving freaking mindset. Um, and she chose Evergreen Harbor as a place to settle down and find others with the same DIY, eco-conscious, and mindful mindset of her own. And then Poppy is a musical, nature-loving, and fun fun-loving sim she finds herself in evergreen harbor trying to find a new life after a brutal breakup with only the clothes on her back and her guitar she sets out to find work and she is certain that she cannot trust or love ever again after seeing the difference that she that the work that she and ren are doing poppy sets her down her guitar and discovers a passion for civil design and eco innovation so that's kind of like where poppy's like development is coming um So Poppy, whenever, so, you know, in Eco Lifestyle, you essentially have to like convince people to vote. So Poppy is actually just like a naturally charismatic Sim. She used to be a party animal. Um, then she changed over to the Eco Innovator trait instead because of the things that she saw um, what Ren was doing. And um, she's so like inspired of it. And now she's kind of like closing that party animal chapter of her life, I suppose, in a way. Um, so one thing that I would like to do with Poppy, um, is that she has the party animal trait. She's a music lover, family oriented and all that. And I feel like I should get rid of that party animal trait. Like that's something she's leaving behind and then select something new for her. Like, and I'm honestly thinking about what that trait would be to, so I can switch her traits a little bit. But um, because Sims, like, they develop and they grow over time, you know, and I think that's one thing maybe she's less interested in. Popping in to say I've done doctor's appointments, science fiction, I'm meant for it. All oh, fire power. I'm so glad. Family oriented. She already has family oriented. So we know that she wanted a family. Oh, an eco trait. The eco trait could be cool. Like one of those if we could find it. So like Poppy. So Ren is the one that, or Poppy is the one that's like going to do all like the talking and like convincing and stuff like that. And then Ren does a lot of like the handiwork and stuff. You know what I mean? Um, I might switch her vegetarianism over to something else instead. I might switch it over to like handy <laughs> or a different one. I can't remember. Um, so I just couldn't decide what one I wanted to have <laughs> yet. <laughs> but um, Ren is the one that you are finding uh, diving around in a dumpster to like grab things that they need or like making something out of nothing. And I like to imagine that Ren kind of made this house like that, you know, um, through her like innovative ideas and like the way that her brain kind of operates, I think. It's so much fun. Eco trade that should fit. I can't remember the name, right? Bonus trades come with a pack. Uh, I think it is with a pack, if I remember. Bonus traits would be super helpful because I feel like vegetarianism shouldn't be a third of your personality or lactose intolerance. Uh, so I'm definitely a fan of that. All right, so I wonder if I should have Ren. So something that I have to do with Ren while we're kind of working in this, um, where is it? Here we go, give me a sec. In this legacy, Handiness. So handiness and wellness are two things that I have to start working on. So one thing that I am going to get for her to be in like the back. Um, I'm actually going to get her like a little yoga mat or something. So I want her to start practicing yoga. So I can look up wellness and then we can pick a mat for her. And I think based on her as a sim... What one would I want her to have? Some fun things there. These ones are kind of like basic and stuff. This one's 145, 140, 130, 125. Like an eco-friendly one, right? 
kind of like what one this one looks like she might have made it you know like that first baby infants oh my god they're so cute i'm excited we need to get to ourselves to a point where like we start to have a baby so this is like their first little house instructor's mat uh it is whoops i'll do this one there we go. I see it has like the little symbol on it. That makes a lot of sense. Aha, instructor's mat. Okay. So she's gonna wake up in the morning and I think that one good thing for her to do is practice a little yoga in the morning. It's like 5.30 in the morning. Feels like a very Ren thing to do. And then I'm actually gonna have Poppy go ahead and maybe like make some breakfast or something like that. In addition to this, I'm actually gonna go ahead and modify and create a sim and take away some of those traits and switch them up a little bit to something that fits more Mikosa. of like where we're going with things. Cause we made them off of like theories. Blah, blah, okay, so blah, blah. kind of leaving the party animal phase behind a little bit. So she not a maker necessarily. So there's some uh, recycled disciples. So these sims are rabid recyclers that benefit from recycling and rummaging for bits and pieces. But should they go too long without indulging in their hobby? Um, don't like that one for her. Green fiend. These sims are happiest when living on a green street and will continuously work towards making their environment more eco-friendly. And that might be more her. I think green fiend would be great. Because that seems kind of like where she's going. You know, and I think that's I think that's good. Aw, oh, Sierra, feel better. I'm so sorry about that. So, so. Undo this one. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. Okay, so then we have Loves Outdoors and Freegan. I feel like she would be a recycled disciple. Because she loves her dumpster diving and like she loves to get in there and get dirty and like make stuff and like she likes, that's just it. The baby noises uh when we have a baby yeah what do you mean like the baby noises yeah they just make little like squawky noises hi dunday welcome on in my son is a bad person um for going to the bar at 11 a.m to get away from her six infants and they leave the butler instead what <laughs> they hiss they do they make like a kind of like little baby noises it's so cute they're adorable so okay we're like freshly like yeah. I feel like they probably wouldn't have new clothes because we I tried to dress them as though they were like freshly on the streets, like not super grungy, homeless, because um, not not all homelessness looks the same. So um, eventually I really want to change their outfits to kind of like resemble who they are. Oh, yeah. Like when you change their teeth. Yep. I saw that. It's super cute. We saw that earlier today. <clears throat> They're so adorable. I'm gonna have you wake up and then we're going to go cook some breakfast. I feel like we're gonna do something like more tortilla wrapped veggie dog, something just nice for breakfast, maybe like a fruit salad. Let's do like a family size one so it's four Sims. So we're not gonna have like a huge bunch of it. My internet is so bad. It took me two and a half hours to get up to the Sims. Oh no, I'm so sorry, that stinks. I know there's been like a lot of bad stuff um, or a lot of slowness for some people and it really stinks especially like when it's such like a a big update that we want to play you know i feel that i really like this yeah i'll be changing their outfits to kind of like be here cypher is going to tackle the entertainer career i love it that's really cute so uh poppy is actually kind of feeling things out and she's going to be talking about like what she wants to do for work and how it's gonna be um, a civil, a civic designer or whatever. So she's really passionate about maybe like designing spaces. Ooh, maybe, maybe Poppy is the one who like designed this house with Ren. And then she realized like, oh my God, I wanna do this and I wanna make better green spaces for this community. So I like this idea. I'm gonna try to update. Um, oh my God, Poppy. Minwa, I like that. Poppy is such a good name. We have two lesbian sims and we're gonna do the IVF stuff. Jody graduated uni. Oh my God, they just moved to San Marcino apartment. That's so cute. That's like the perfect out of college, like fresh out of college, like you're in a new city, you know? Sarah, how are you? 
My games used to update so fast on Origin EA app it took, uh, takes slower. I wonder if there's like a latency thing due to like, well, I also know it's a 20 gigabyte upload or download. So it's huge. But I also wonder if there's like a lot of load going on on the EA servers because of how big, like how um, sought after of an update this is. Potentially, I don't know how this works, but just throwing stuff out to think about it. But yeah, that really stinks though, that it's taking forever. That really breaks my heart. And I have her go like take a, go use the bathroom. How cute they are. I really like their little backyard area and this is where she's doing yoga. This build has an intense amount of eco lifestyle in it. It's crazy. Uh, I think it's mostly of an issue too many people trying to download at the same time versus an EA and Origin issue. I think so. Just overloading the server, the servers. Oh my God, she's gonna like have her first shower in a hot second. Oh my God, Sam, that is. It's like a whole like, woo. <laughs> Put away. So one thing I wanna do instead of like dragging things, I wanna have my Sims do all this work for me and get better about that. Cause I feel like dragging things around kind of takes the fun out of like the gameplay and the life of things sometimes. They just, yep, they just got off the street. And Poppy is someone, or not Poppy, but Ren is someone who makes things. She's a fabricator. And Ren, or uh, Ren, yeah, Ren's the one who fabricates and makes stuff. And then Poppy is the one who sort of like designs stuff or has learned this recently learned that she has a knack for that, I suppose. And so that's kind of where we're at now with the two of them. So yeah, your saves are safe. I'm glad, good. I know some people have some big issues with that. So it's always good to like save and, or copy them somewhere else just in case. Can you not sit here? Okay, you can. Uh, yep, this is their new home. Uh, yeah, they've been living in the eco world. Like this is, um, they pretty much have existed here pretty much this entire time. Sell power or water on a utility bill. So we're gonna totally do this soon. Like we'll get there. Um, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and have her find a job and she's gonna look at so, civil so. design. Thank you for the follow, welcome on in. I appreciate that. If y'all are new here, by the way, um, oops, caps locks. Um, I've got social media links right there. You can drop a follow on those and also come into our community discord. So we actually have an ad break coming up in about five seconds. And with ad breaks, I take a break. So I'll be back in just a few. Thanks for hanging and I'll catch you in a bit. I think it hit like when I was saying that, whoops. But yeah, she's gonna be a civil designer. Um, and I think maybe this, this building this house with Poppy is when she like learned about that. Uh, all them, it looked like a, oh, you just followed all of them. Aw, thank you so much for doing that. That's so nice. So that's amazing. I love the fact that you guys um, take your time to do that though. That's really kind. So should we do like a little bit of like story, like polishing here? So basically, um, set up to heal for burnout, blah, blah, blah. Do this lifestyle change. Friend discovers her. Okay, so Ren is a sim that has moved to Evergreen Harbor, giving up her corporate job in San Myshuno. Set out to heal from burnout and build a new life that she was proud of that aligns with her nature living freaking mindset. She chose Evergreen Harbor as a place to settle down and find others with similar eco-conscious and mindful, mi mindful living mindset as her own. Um, though this lifestyle, through this lifestyle change, Ren discovers her knack for recycling and DIY.
So here, um, blah, 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 DIY, and eventually builds a whole lot of materials that she and Poppy. and see you later i really appreciate that welcome on in good to see you have a good day um so it says through this lifestyle change ren discovers her knack for recycling diy and eventually builds a home out of materials that she and poppy had created um Uh, okay, so builds a home out of materials that she made materials for and Poppy had created a design for. A simple Rena and Poppy. Oh my God, Re Rena and Poppy. Oh, meanwhile, that's so funny. That's hilarious. I like that. Ren and Poppy, that, what are the odds? That's really fun. <laughs> love that for you um so poppy is a musical a musical nature nature loving fun loving sim she finds herself at evergreen harbor trying to begin life anew and, and if you're a brutal breakup with only the clothes on her back and her guitar she says to find work and she is certain that she cannot trust or love ever again until she met ren after seeing the difference that uh, uh that the work that she and ren are doing uh poppy sets down her guitar and discovers a passion for civil design and eco innovation Okay, so an eco innovation from nothing. She and Ren build a humble A-frame and move about eco uh, Evergreen Harbor to clean up the neighborhood. And I might like change this and like edit it differently and clean up the neighborhood. Um, there i like it very cool okay so she's gonna be a civil engineer her civil designer sorry uh gets involved in planning and designing solutions to all kinds of environmental problems and chat to your fellow sims about how to make the world a better place to live love this boom interview homeowner about utilities a jump start on the thing. How do I do this? Acquire recycled materials. Okay, so it seems like she has to learn about recycling things from Ren. That's just because that's Ren's thing. That's like her forte. That's what she's got to do. Uh -huh. So like the both of us are like pretty good here. Okay, I'm going to have you go ahead and clean up. And by the way, we're back from a an ad break. Thank you for hanging out with us, you guys. Um, So this is a um how do i want to put it um i guess a a step into oh oh my god we're gonna shave our legs now we're gonna shave our legs so this is a step uh in the right direction for both of our sims it's kind of nice so i think after this i'm totally gonna have them go to the maker space on the other end of town by garden sim i'll see you later um, and then Poppy is going to go recycle there, I think. Uh. Or, yeah, learn how to, like, dumpster dive for scrap and whatnot. <laughs> I think that's good. Um, however, I want them to go check neighborhood action plan. So there's nothing here. Um, so tech support back to the old days. I want to try to do... Not green gardening. 
eco-friendly appliances. I want the green initiatives over here is what I want to try to do. That's what the one I want. I'm so happy for these girlies, right? Did we get a house? Yes. Okay, so we use like the little A-frame thingy, lady. Welcome back. Um, and so you know how Ren makes like everything pretty much and she dumpster dives and she makes something out of nothing. Um, so we're theorizing that Ren probably made all the materials in this house and everything in here. And Poppy, um, I'm theorizing, discovered through this, like discovered her knack for like designing things. And so she now, so now she's going to work to be a civil designer instead of, so she's kind of setting her guitar aside. She's like, I can really get into this. And so she's setting that like party phase aside kind of thing. I feel like it's kind of like a cute bit of story progression. So we changed her party animal trait over to Green Fiend. So it's kind of like she's closing that party animal chapter and she's coming to terms with that. And then uh, Ren is now, you know, a recycle disciple and loves outdoors and a freaking. It's exciting. So I'm going to have them both travel together. And then we're going to go to the maker space um, to go dumpster dive or something. How's the update? I like it so far. We're uh, playing with the lesbians today. <laughs> Are there dumpsters in this area? Maybe I can go dumpster diving here instead of having to like go all the way across town. Hi, Bolt. I hope you're doing good. I've never been on this edge of town, so I really don't know what I'm doing. Miss uh, the, the subathon over the end of March. I just can't be further increased. Um, so basically at this point, the the maximum time for uncapped subathon is through the 31st. However, if we end up hitting 1500 subs at the end of the month or by the end of the month, then I will do some extended things in April as well. It won't be like a 24 seven stream like it was all through March, but there's going to be like a lot more stuff. I just haven't really decided what I want to do yet. Like a bonus streams or extended streams or something like that. I lose my mind, right? Then my if we hit 1500 subs, our mo um, some of our moderators that wanted to are getting tattoos of me. <laughs> it's so cute. Uh, just post my dinner on the food channel. It's really good. Ooh, are you talking like the salmon dill thing that you were talking about? Hey, where's a dumpster? Girl just wants a dumpster. That's what I'm looking for. There's probably a dumpster here. Oh my God, there's a dumpster here. I found a dumpster, guys. Is there a dumpster over here? I feel like there have to be like more in the area somewhere. I don't know. I'll travel here and we're going to like recycle and stuff here. Doing tattoos, I know. Oh my god. I'm very excited. I want to look at the house, Dahlia. Hmm. All right, let me look. Sorry, I had to answer something really quick. Um, Food photos. Okay, sorry, my brain stopped raining. <gasps> Dang. Also, I know it's just like the lighting and like the way that salmon looks, but it looks like it was like photoshopped under the plate. <laughs> A little bit. <laughs> Like it does with the lighting. It's so pretty. The plate is really pretty. But like, oh my God, I'm so, it looks delicious. The salmon. Oh my God, the mini blueberry pies that Kemma made. Then the breakfast from Pee Wee. Ooh, that looks good. Looks very tasty. And Riot. Looks like we've got some sort of like a beautiful croissant with potatoes. That looks amazing. Bacon and sausage breakfast. I love croissants. Also, the bunny butt pancakes. Aren't those the cutest? I found like that little recipe idea for Easter coming up if you guys want to do something like that for if you have littles. Sam and you guys are making me hungry, right? I know. 
I'm with you. So let's go dive for thrills. Here, not dive for thrills. Oh my God, I don't want to woohoo with you. I want to like dumpster dive. Wait, dumpster's empty. Um, Do we have anything I didn't put away? Help! I want to put garbage in the garbage. <laughs> I don't have anything in here. I just want to vote. <laughs> uh, neighborhood action plans. What could we do for the, the space? So like the community space project. So community garden or maker space or marketplace. So there's like three community space things. Aw, thank you so much, Monkey. I said you put so much effort into story building. I don't think I could do it myself, but I appreciate it a lot. Thank you so much, Monkey. That's so nice. I really appreciate that. It's something I've struggled with a lot over the years, so that's really nice to hear. So thank you. Um, I swear it's real, right? <laughs> I know, seriously, yeah, I'm Talia. <laughs> I know it was like the just the way the lighting was. I know it's real food, <laughs> or is it? <laughs> so what would this be? So we have a maker space. What should we make? I think a community garden would be really cute, or even a marketplace. A community market where crafters and makers can sell their wares and shoppers can browse them. So I feel like maybe they'd convince people to make a marketplace because I think we would have a community garden maybe on the other end of town in the other neighborhood. And then their lot is going to also be a garden too, like a little commune thing. So maybe this will be the marketplace. <clears throat> I'm getting closer to Jelly Bean Dragon, right? Yeah, I think you're I think you're probably right, Sam. Jelly Bean Dragon, how close? So yeah, they're just here taking photos or like trying to decide what they want to do. I think this is fun. So let's just like theorize that they're looking around. It K beans away, that's so close. Oh, you don't think you've ever done this before? Are you talking about the... This is like a big quarry in here. It's so weird. It feels like almost like a prison in a way. Like, it is so strange. Anyway, um, I wonder if I could talk to some of these Sims, though. Like, let's just kind of get ourselves associated because I think there's some Sims that I have not seen that are just kind of vibing in the area. Let's go introduce ourselves to Bako Young. Almost halfway. That's amazing, though. Friendly oh, introduction. Okay, but what's that coat? That's really cute. Also, eyeball ring. What's up with townies? Stop it! Eloise Hiddlesticks. I'm gonna get some ice cream from the freezer. Aw, Alice fell asleep. Aw, yay! I'm glad to see you, though. I think I'm gonna make her like feel better about things. Maybe I'll try to console her because like uh, right now Poppy's feeling a little sad and a little directionless and she's not really sure about the new job. But honestly, I think that it'll be a little like once she gets there, I think it'll just get better and better. It's consoling her. Mm -hmm. Maybe yes. Poppy is unsure Mohana about what they're going to do with the space. Are you mad? Rania. Oh, losing control. Rania? Oh, no. Quar? She's <laughs> mad about it. She's probably overly Rania. anxious and kind of getting a little Rania. angry. Hamzai, Zivka, Dimpish. Shemu, friendly. Mohana, Let's go Papa. deep thoughts. Um. Uh, uh, um. Four stickers and one legacy. Yeah, let's go ahead and let's do that, lady. I like that idea. All right, so in case you guys didn't know, we are giving away some stickers and we do once every 10 subs. This one is an adorable sticker. Um, it's going to be a rainbow and it's me and my three animals sliding down the rainbow slide. I'll show you an example of last year's artwork so you kind of get an idea for the art style. But I ship these worldwide and it's in thanks for you guys for subbing and supporting in the ways that you do. Once every 10 subs, we give this away. So we have four regular stickers to give away. And the legacy one will make sense in a bit. Um, so go ahead and type sticky, S-T-I-C-K-Y. And in the meantime, I will pull this next one up. Uh, 
and I'll show you what it looks like. Or the uh, last year's one, I suppose I should say. Um, this is what last year's legacy sticker, or this is what last year's spring sticker looked like. This is a legacy now, so that's a chance to win like a previous one. So this one, um, look, uh, this is kind of the art style that you can expect. It's going to be really adorable, very festive, very bright, super freaking adorable. So this one is for a different one that's still being drawn right now. Um, so that was like an example of something that you can kind of expect. So I ship these worldwide. They're three inch at the biggest at the biggest point stickers. Um, a few weeks ago, I uh, frog tucks. That's because I mail them out in batches, and um, it'll be if it was one in February. I haven't mailed those out yet, but I'll notify Discord when I do. Padme, hi Padme. So if it draws your name, let me know. We have Bertney. Bertney, go ahead and send a message. It was February. Yep, I, I actually just got those stickers today in the mail. So I'll be working on those at some point this week to get those actually like mailed out because I have all of the information done. I just have to like put the labels on um, on envelopes and put stamps and then get them in the mail and be done with it. Maple does, seriously, Maple does such a good job with our art. Like, um, she really brings the soul and like the joy and the festiveness to heart or to life. And I love it. Brittany, uh, to Lady Star. Um, so her messages are up above a little bit. She was saying me, 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 and just tap or click on her name and hit whisper, say hi. So Twitch has been kind of a little delayed when they're like sending and receiving messages and stuff. So, um, it might take a, a second for the for the DM from lady to come through to you, but it will just wait like a, a few minutes. So probably about five minutes or so sometimes if it doesn't show up right away. So yes, these are sent worldwide and I pay for shipping. I do everything. I do all the envelopes commissions and then I send them out to you guys. So we have uh, three more after this one to give away. All right, the angel one, the angel one, go ahead and send a message to Lady Star. <clears throat> She's got your form waiting for you. <coughs> That's so exciting. Thank you so much for coming on by. The bunny butt pancakes are so cute. Um, next up for a sticker, we have Angel. Oh my God. <laughs> I have, I just remembered I have to go to the post office. I have that. <laughs> I'm so bad. I have like all of Angel's stickers because, um, long story short, it sent her envelope back to me and I got to send it out again. It is Angel's. It's an Angel's night. It is, isn't it? Uh, I just wanted to add this one for you. <laughs> it's already sealed up. <laughs> it's already glued stuck together. It'll be a few months. And I just want to I want to get them to you so you can enjoy your stickers. <laughs> Um, aw, Angel, thank you so much. I'm so glad. I really love the vibes that we have here in this community too. So thank you for adding to it. We have Morgan. Morgan, go ahead and send a message to the amazing Lady Star. Aw, 
Aw, sunshine, aren't they? Maple is... A, do you want to see some other designs? For the recipe spell set? Yeah, give me one second. I'll show you. So, um... In our Discord channel, it's up towards the top. It's under Around the House. We've named it. And so we've got food photos. We have recipes. We're a bunch of foodies and snackies in here. We love food. Um, arts and crafts, cleaning and chores. It kind of normalizes the mess and like the, the productivity and whatnot. Um, and like also cleaning stuff, like and just discussing that stuff. It's really nice. Gardening, for those of you who like gardening. And then pet photos, of course. Oh my God, babies. He's so sweet. The retirement home. Oh my God, I love your snails so much. Hold on, please hold. Very important information. Snails are so fascinating. Yeah, Phil has snails and Phil treats us to snails like quite often. Snails are so weird. I love them. Honestly, fascinating. They are so cute. I agree. Um... Oh my god, but yeah, uh, the recipes are up here. I posted a bunch of my own personal ones, but everyone like shares some stuff. I love that. A slug is just divorced snails. Is, <laughs> that's why I got the house. I love this. Seriously, like snails are such interesting, adorable, weird alien babies, and I love them. They're so strange. They're fascinating. Mating snails are so interesting. Oh my god, wait, this is so cool. I love the pie on the pie. That's amazing. Is this the banana cream pie? Yes, we have the pet section. We have an amazingly lurky, friendly Discord community, too. Um, all right. So we have one more sticker to give away. If you guys want to go ahead and enter for this one, go ahead and type oldie, O-L-D-I-E, and I will show you um, an example, because these ones are kind of like throwback editions, if you will. Um, so you get to pick between one of three. So there's the originals. We have the Benjamin and the hug emote or not the hug emote, the hug sticker that you can win if you want to. You can pick between one of those or last year's spring edition. So this is the rope. There's like two stickers and then there's always a rotating sticker that comes through. So this one right here um, is the rotating sticker. So this one is last year's spring sticker. So if you weren't a part of the community or didn't have the chance to win this one, um, that is something that you get. Cody, thank you so much. 25 months. Oh my God, the number is 1337. Everyone stop. <laughs> Cody, 1337. Thank you so much for 25 months. How are you? But this is last year's. You can see they're two inches at their biggest point you got the wigglies and stuff so it might be thinner here but at the largest points wherever that is <clears throat> all right so up next for a sticker we have Ginny beastly Ginny, go ahead and send a message to lady star she's got your form waiting for you I know they're so adorable and they're a really nice vinyl material. Angel Kitty is kind of like our tried and te tried, tested and true person. Angel Kitty lives in a place where it rains, snows, gets hot, gets really cold, everything, cars outside. Um, I think she's had her Benjamin sticker on her car for like two years or more now. And it looks great and it's still stuck there. Um, so. They're good stickers. <laughs> They're really nice vinyl material. They're fade and tear resistant. So they're kind of like almost like a rubbery material. Um, Riku, if you don't have that section, um, like the pet section, the car wash and everything, that's impressive. You'll have to let me know if it starts to show any sign of like hurt. Cause I'm just curious to see like what kind of ridiculousness it goes out with. Yeah, did you react to the rules at the top of the page? Uh, 608 hours. I know, Plumba. I'm having so much fun with this subathon, honestly. I was saying earlier how it's been. Can confirm that you've also saved three months in the mail because the West or the South African like postal service and the United States Postal Service need to get their stuff together. But yeah, thank you so much, lady, for everything, for helping out with the stickers. 
uh, the update minute so it shows your skills and yes tdac that is such a good like minor but like also like very big Wouldn't quality of life update <laughs> like i love that so much the one trying out the lazy uh trying to out lazy mm -hmm. the jesus butt mm -hmm. Pony, mm -hmm. what the butts you are a turd mm -hmm. Pony. Mm -hmm. That is so nice of you. I don't know what to say. Thank you. Thank you. Dave on your car for almost two years on the same time. But Etsy stickers, they've been longer with no sign of fading peeling. I love that. Lilith is amazing. Thank you for the feedback as well. Thank you so much. If you got gifted us up, I hope you like your emotes. And we hit another goal. Cody, thank you. And for 25 months too. Hello? Thank you. Bunny's right. 14 days. It does not feel like. It does not feel like that. Ooh, 50. So, so. <gasps> Shut up. Really? I didn't think we would get that. General, like, genuinely, I didn't think we'd get this close to some of these goals, you guys. Like, any of these goals. Hello? So, like, if you don't know, every 50 sub milestones, we do stuff together. So, this means this year I'll plan a Twitch, an IRL Twitch Chicago meetup somewhere, like at a restaurant or somewhere fun in the Chicago area because we have a lot of community members that are in the Chicago area. Um, and I think that's wonderful. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God. And thanks for the follow. Um, hi. <laughs> that's so cool. Hi, Puffy. How are you? I'm so there, right? That would be so far. I feel like Chicago is like a pretty big area. I think it might be in Millennium, or not Millennium Park. Is it Millennium Park? With the, by, the bean, by the Bean, downtown Chicago. I feel like that would be a very good group photo op thing at the Bean in Chicago. I'm also going to TwitchCon. So any of you guys are going to TwitchCon, um, then yes, if you don't know what I'm talking about. Yeah, if you're going to TwitchCon, I'll be there. It's like, you'll be able to like, I'll probably host like a little like, oh, let's meet up here at this time or something kind of thing. But I'm going to TwitchCon this year. Hi, Taylor. How are you? Yeah, this is the bean. If you guys don't know. Um, and I feel like if we do, like since we're now doing, not if we do, it is the Chicago Bean. So we just, um, I'll be planning a little meetup afternoon. Uh, maybe like a little lunch and like meet and greet. How like say hi, hang out in the park, do lunch somewhere thing in Chicago this summer. Um, I feel like it needs to be at the Bean. It's gotta be. That's like, we're the Bean Garden. I feel like that makes the most sense. It really is Riku, isn't it? <laughs> it is. Not far from, and I've never been. Oh, right. I went to Chicago for the first time um, in November. I really, she's more amazing person, just saying. Aw. And I was having a really weird moment when, oh my God, I was like, it was, it was a hard time. And lady, thank you for that. <laughs> like, it was a hard moment for me. A limited edition meetup stickers? That would be so fun. I'd like to do little like grab bags for people who come to the meetup though. Yeah. Like that would be so cute. I <laughs> love you guys. Thank you. <sighs> Hi, Cassie. Kaz, that would be a really good idea. I wonder what that would be. Like for a limited edition sticker for people or like something that uh that people get if they come to the chicago meetup that'd be fun because i wanted to host one back in 2020 and i had it all planned and everything um and yeah i don't know why are you where are you finding a mirror to talk to oh there's just a bathroom up here oh my god <laughs> there's like a dirty plate bean but sideways like the bean that'd be so cute 
Chicago Benjamin, but this is the bean. So it's just like extra shiny, <gasps> a holographic bean. I already made one though, a holographic bean. That'd be really cute. Such a cute idea that is. Huh. Benjamin poses the bean by Chicago skyline in the background. That would be kind of cool. It's like the can of beans made in Chicago on the label. <laughs> Lilac, that would be so cute. Hold on. I really like that. Hollow Beanstrom is the absolute favorite. I know you're a, you're also a holosexual, though. I love that about you. That's really good. Um, I know that's so good. Um, good idea, though, the can of beans. be really fun <laughs> ah, but holy crap yep we're um i'm gonna start planning and like looking at dates and stuff and get that all figured out so many infants and families on the gallery i'm so excited that's so good um how many of you guys have made families or added infants to your game already have you guys made like a fresh family or what are you doing other holosexuals right hi juvie welcome on in i hope you're having a good day good just good to see you today how are ya? Poppy, what are you doing, Poppy? Up there washing dishes, I see. So now that I know that we can't really do anything, Baco, you're literally doing this. I think I'm gonna have them go run over to like a different maker space or something because we need to go make some things. I feel like that'll be great. I still have to redownload the Sims game, but geez, I forget with all these super power cuts. Oh no. Yeah, like, cause I suppose like you're not able to just like set it and forget it. A pre-made home ready for the update and a brand and a pack. And um, for the current team, I'm playing with ages and started family. Oh my God, that sounds so good. A single Sim, but she hasn't have a partner has no baby yet, right? We're gonna do an IVF baby for sure. With these Sims, I feel like they're gonna like do it very soon i think so we can have like our child so we can have a child all right ren what are you gonna do oh oh rummage wait uh scavenge for parts no uh rummage i don't know wait i don't know what to have you do but she's got to do something uh back up my sim so i don't lose my uh mode before i do the update i would it's always a good idea to do that before updates anyway like copy and paste things to different um Ooh, sort out recyclables. Here we go. Um, I feel like that's just a good idea before then. So I would, I cut and pasted my mods out of my folder first. And then I copied my saves. If that makes sense. So all the, like every mod and um, like a lot of CC is broken. I'm not going to say all CC, but like every mod is broken. Yeah, exactly. Like, um, copying your saves and removing your mods outright before the update, even though the game, like, turns them off and removes them, it can still cause corruption problems. So it's always just good practice to back your stuff up first. Defaults are broken so far. Defaults? What do you mean? Defaults for what? You had, oh, you had your infant in a game? Oh, that's so fun. They're so cute. I love this. Oh, like, hairy colors eye skins okay yep yeah because you got to think they they made like a massive change to the game um with like infants and like all the lifespans are different and you just never know what the coding does to like everything else really i hate okay i literally want to get myself how much is a recycling thing it's 845 I really want to get like a maker and like this thing for outside, like to put it in my house because I'm starting to get super annoyed. Should I make myself like a little shed so I don't have to deal with these maker spaces anymore? I feel like maybe that's something because like these Sims, like I every, every time I like cue my Sim up to do something, they just like go take it over. There's like a townie that comes. Yeah, I'm gonna make like a little she shed. Exactly. I'm over here fawning over my infant. They're so cute. Aren't they V princess? Exactly. Right? I just, I just think a she shed. She deserves it. I think she's earned it. Maybe she's gonna like fabricate it like she did her A frame. I'm CC was updated. I added it back. I also added it. Remove my EA lashes and the CC lashes back to my game because I need them. I know our Sims are out here like without lashes and we're naked basically. Like, 
It's the equivalent. It feels wrong. <laughs> also, I'm going to do some editing right here. I think that I am going to go ahead and make myself have like this. Like we've got that, you know? And then there's going to be a little path that goes back to the she shed. And I think this is going to be genius. Except for the fact that I did that wrong, but it's fine. There we go. Makes me feel so much better. My Sim is bald uh, because I had custom hair for her. The Minjun and not so berry. Oh my God. <laughs> Townies are running around like all naked and stuff, aren't they? I don't know what's worse, that or if they're gonna have... Oh my God, it's always hilarious. It's right, it's so funny when it happens. Um, I don't know what's worse, if they, if there's like a townie that just randomly uses all of your CC ever, or if it's like, <laughs> or if it's just like a straight up naked sim. I don't know what's worse anymore. I'm also gonna make myself like a little half frame thingy going on. I don't know what this is gonna be. The only thing that doesn't work for instruments right now is larger mods on eye overlays. Ah, no good to know. I'm really curious to see what some of the CC community comes out with like for some infant clothes. I think it's gonna be so cute. Scarlet has a similar list. Scarlet who? Is this like a, a modder or something like that? I'll CC back and accept I, I'll CC eyes. That makes sense though. <gasps> Ooh, wait a minute. For infant CC, right, T-Dak? They're gonna be so cute. Have you been experimenting with it too? I feel like this is gonna be good because I don't think that I could do like a flat roof, could I? Like, I genuinely don't think that I could. So like we've got flat squares, but there's no like flat roof. So I think this being said, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Oh, she's a modder. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. I'm trying to make this very like eco chic. I'm not very good at this stuff, so I'm trying. It's gonna be kind of cute. Kind of like connect it. I don't know. That's all I got. Um, my son just had a baby and I'm about to age her to infant. Oh. oh. Oh, it's gonna be so cute. Infants are so cute, right? I think I'm with you. See, that just feels like weird to me. This one, okay. So I think I like my actual she shed. And like, leaving it potentially like this. Uh, a see-through dance floor that people have used as roofs. Yes, there was like a, a see-through dance floor thing. Um, it looks very like LED though, but uh, they also have, um, oh my god, wait, can I find like an awning? That's a good idea, hold on. Um, there's also the flat, like, it's like flooring from a specific one. Um, I can't think of what it's called. Um, Island living. Thank you, Joey. I'm like, it would literally just left the house. I'm like, what was the word? <laughs> Words are hard, you know? Thank you, Joey. <laughs> Glass floor from Island. Yeah, that could work, right? I think I might enjoy something like this is kind of funky, but then almost something like this. I don't know. It's almost kind of fun putting it on the front too, but also doesn't really look good. <laughs> Approximately to get to Jelly Bean Dragon. Well, I mean, the stream's on 24 seven. So if you leave a lurk all the time, you can just farm points when I'm uh, when I'm not online. If you just leave it in a tab, but like muted and stuff. Like it helps the stream and it also um, can get you that too. That could be kind of fun. Wait, why is this like? kind of weird, but also why is it clipping like that? Stop it.
It's so weird. I want it to be eco coolness, but it's not. <laughs> Finally hit 200k. Woo! Look at you! Product of the roof sliders. It's so good, isn't it? Like when you remember, you're like, oh my god, this is the best day of my life. It's a little more expensive than I want. Ooh, this one I feel would be a little bit better for her. It's a little cheaper too. What if this roof sliders? Yes. Okay, so there's roof sliders. Um, so when you grab onto a roof piece, you want to hit Shift C and you get more handles. So you have more like maneuverability for stuff. And it is honestly fantastic. It's like one of my favorite little Easter egg things, if you will. So I'm sitting here trying to like make myself with like this flat roof. It's so good. It like it changes your life. It is incredible. And I definitely recommend giving it a try for yourself if you haven't already. Ah, uh, friend Hilda, thank you so much for the for the lurk. I appreciate that. That's so nice of you. I love our lurkers so much. Um, I'm trying to do something like a little she shed, but like eco thingy. I wonder if I should just make like an A-frame thing and make it not look silly. But also some of these could be kind of cool. I don't know. It's just, it's different. <gasps> mm. This could be interesting. Um, by the way, we've got some ads that are going to play in just a second. So I'm thinking that I'm going to go ahead and pause what we're doing. So then you don't get interrupted with ads and whatnot. And we can just chill out for a bit and I'll be right back. Um, what about this? No, it just doesn't look good when they're that shallow. Anyway, um, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Thanks for hanging out with me. Yay! So good. I'm gonna look up modern she sheds while we're looking at this. Oh. Okay. Look at this. I can't see how you get this roof shade sorted. I always struggle with greenhouse type buildings. Teach me your ways. Right? It's hard. I understand that. UH is still broken. Aww. I think this would be cute. Like you kind of see the feel like maybe like a little its own little like deck. I just want it to be like a tiny little room where she can go and like she maybe has like a little office or something or even something like that. <gasps> Imagine those cute little papers walking up to it. Like the little awning piece. If only we could color like the roof underneath here, like the ceiling stuff. I think this is going to be our inspiration for show. But it's a fixed fix. Some of the menus changing everything in Bless the Modder. Seriously, that's very fair. Can I have the shed IRL? I want it too. What color do you want? Can I have orange? I kind of like the black too, though. But like maybe some really fun like orange accents inside. That'd be fun. I like this idea. I'm in. Let's move in now. It's not even done. Let's do it. I like it. I like a dark blue with orange accents. Yup, I'm in. So we're gonna basically scrap this design or just the, the things. Ooh, dark teal would be really cool. 
the roof really is really what we're gonna do because that's what we struggle the most with. Hmm. Hmm. This storyline has me invested. I don't know about you. Oh, with like a coral orange, honestly, like a teal with coral. Oh. Dark teal with coral, mm, I'm in. Sign me up. I'm a sucker for like those complimentary colors, like the pinks and the blues and the orange and blues and like all that stuff. I'm in, I'm in. All right, so I did a little bit of looking on Google um, and we're gonna make it cute or -er. different cute. Honestly, I wish this, I almost wish this could be like smaller. I love Whimsy Story so much. It's uh, so well done and it gives the freedom to write the rest of the story ourselves. Exactly. So like I'm using it as like a spinoff. So like instead of suburban house for the first one, I'm using it as more of like a, I'm not going to do the suburban thing. I'm going to do it as um like the eco stuff because that's just like more of their style. But we're going to like lean into that style for sure when we get moving on it. I almost want to like center this. I'm going to grab this. This house. But I'm so with you on that, Cassie. I'm into it. It's amazing. Yeah, like making it your own. I'm always a fan of that. What direction did you end up going with it, Cassie? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab some like little DIY pillars that we have or not have, but DIY looking pillars, maybe. Um, or maybe I could even use. Oh, man, I can't even really find these because these are debugging and I'm tool right now. And my heart is broken because I could use those. First time having a science baby and a twins, two boys. Oh, my God, Sunny. That's crazy. Bless you. Bless your gersh darn hurt. Bless it all. Okay. I'm gonna grab some windows. I wonder, I don't think we have anything here. Maybe I could do this. What about, ooh, oh my God, they have like an eco lifestyle door. I'm gonna filter this. They have like a big sliding door. Oh my God, I think it's gonna be too large for what I wanna do though. For this little rinky dinky thing. Oh my God, look at how cute. Cause that's basically like all of the space. <laughs> so I don't think that's just a good idea. Maybe this, but I do like the idea of a big sliding door. Uh, it's ready to go to pick his twins. Even science has randomness sprinkled in. Exactly. Yep, that's a good point. Struggling to play through and completing challenges like that. Any tips I mainly build otherwise? Um, I really like to write down all of the stories and stuff. If that makes sense, like you kind of saw me doing with like the Google doc. Because I feel like that keeps me invested and keeps me like wanting to know what's going to happen next in their story. And it keeps like your thoughts organized. And I think that's like a big part of the equation for me personally. If that checks out. What other eco lifestyle windows do we have? Do we have any small ones? There's like this. Oh my God, you know, it would be fun. And it would look really cute on this building. I think this eco lifestyle like window looks so cool. Look at this. Does that not look fun? On the corner? Like, is that not cute? I want to die because on the inside, it looks so neat. You just take it and boom, you got like your little corners. And then inside, it looks like this. That is so fun. Um, but yeah, like I, I guess that's the that's kind of the way that I handle myself too. Um, like when I'm working with those stories, though. I feel like I don't need any more windows, but I also want to like add another window. Is that weird? Like this. Kind of get that gray feeling. 
or because it's her she shed uh i think of michael's dream home oh my god <laughs> that's right michael's dream home is iconic what can i say ignore the floating tree we don't have tool mod right now i don't want to talk about it um <laughs> So then we actually have some really cool eco lifestyle, like wallpapers and whatnot that we can kind of mess with, I think. So I want this to look like a completely fabricated house. Not like the blue, not like that. Like maybe like this. Maybe doing like this brick on the top of it. Um, glory to the hover treat, right? <laughs> and then I want to do a little bit of this, or not a little bit of that, but I'm going to do this. So there's a way that I can get this to function properly. This is going to be real weird. So you can put like a flat square down under here. And then um, the way that you can get this to work with the, um, what the heck is it called? The trim. Here we go. You can add this and then I'll pick like a different color. Uh, you can old school cover the hover with a rock. That's fair, right? We've just slapped a bush over the top. So let's do, should I do like a black or honestly that orange kind of matches the rest of the wood and I'm kind of here for that. So that's the best I want. And let's use this platform on the side. Oh no, wait, we have like a foundation thing, not a platform. Okay, it's a little bit different, but it looks the same. Here we go. Color combination is really good. Thank you. I try in. Um, I almost want to do this so it's just like fluid throughout. If that makes sense. And I don't have access to any of my debug stuff. So we're kind of just stuck right now. With whatever I have. Um, I am thinking that like some of these lavender ones are kind of fun though. However, those would be super nice. It's a little bit of something, something. And then I don't know if I want this on the top, but it is pretty fun. Oh, Jesus. I forgot. Okay. Decorations, miscellaneous, and then we can find like the the flooring thing from Island Living. Oh, shoot. I'm going to change it to a different color. I don't know what one. This one looks kind of fun. There. Just looks like little panels and then we get to keep everything. Um, And then instead of this roof trim... I think that we can get away with like that. What do you guys think? It's definitely different from what I normally would do. So this is her little she shed, I guess. And she's like a fabricator. So this is what she's got going on. And like, I feel like she'd do everything as eco-consciously as possible. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And then we're going to do like... Uh, mini home, right? It kind of looks like a mini home, doesn't it? I really like these colors together, though. Kind of unexpected for me. So, so. Hey, thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. I really appreciate that. Like, what about those? Like, should I put those on those corners and like in here and then just have these panels? That looks fine to me. So this is her little fabricator shed is what this is. Um... Eco lifestyle. Oh, no, I've spent quite a bit of money. Oh, we got to be careful. Okay. Um, 
I feel like we want to have a recyclable, maybe. Um, let's show all. There's a water generator. There's like a house generator. I don't want to do that stuff yet. But... Where is it? Um, there's like straight up like the fabricator that she has because she has to work on her fabrication. Hi, Jojo. Try not to spam the same message over and over. Welcome on in. How you doing? I'll do the white. I think it looks cool. Um. Someone grim and made an infant. Oh no. Oh god, that's terrible. Baby grim. Oh. That's so weird. Okay, that's very weird. Um. And then eventually we'll get like a little candle making thing out of here. But like we need to work on her fabricating skill and the fact that she can like do things at home. Not me wanting to make this a little bit bigger. Like just a little bit i think it's kind of fun or just make it right just make it bigger if they access the front that is against the wall uh oh does she Oh, I thought they said, oh, I thought they said from the back. Oh, no, it's this. It's like the glass. Oh, you're right. So I had it backwards, didn't I? That's right. Hi, Tropical. Welcome back. Um, yeah, because I had it that way. Got it. No worries. Hope you're doing good. We are having a good time um, messing around with making a new house or not a new house, but like a little she shed for our Sim because they officially moved out. Or not moved out, but moved into a home. So they officially have a house. Okay, this tree is making me mad. And maybe just for good measure, because these are 220 simoleons a piece. So maybe I'll get rid of those at the moment and just use the flat, the flat one and call it a day for the moment, because I can save myself quite a bit of money off of that. Um, It's by Poodle Style. Wait, what's going on? Oh, for the for the grim one. Oh, my God. Uh, Post it to Discord, Becca. I just got back from a double date. Oh, the Scream movie, that's so fun. How was it? I'm not much into horror movies, but like, sounds pretty awesome. Good, good date night. Thanks, Crystal. I'm glad you like it. It's her little she shed. It's a very eco one. I feel like it suits her very well. Davy Grimm is wiggly. Oh, that's so cute. I like that. That's actually adorable. Uh, the right corner front, did you want the boxy or like the others? Nope, um, because the door is going to go there, shoved in the corner. Thank you for pointing it out, though. This is a 65 simoleon window, and I'm not mad about it. I think that looks better on the inside anyway, if I do it this way. Cute. Oh, I was like, one of those is not like the other. It's like, what is happening? <laughs> one of these things is not like the other. Okay, that gives us so much more room, though. Um, So she has to go here. And that actually kind of works for this. Honestly. Uh, are we going to do a tiny home? Um, This is a an A-frame that we have that they moved in. It's technically not a tiny home due to, like, the platforms and stuff like that. But... I think if we have a home that's like micro in spirit without actually having the pack enabled because it's like a little too big because of like these technicalities, I think that's okay. Because this is this would definitely constitute as like 
a small home because it's like absolutely tiny. <laughs> kind of like one of the oh that's fun with the orange oh my god um a little exception i think i've got because sometimes you just gotta bend the rules based on whatever makes sense for your gameplay or whatever you're doing all right so let's do eco lifestyle and now i want to find so we have the fabricator and i feel like she needs to have a recycler um this is the Gundok home recycler. Don't they have like a different recycler anywhere? Or is that like the only one? I'll just use this one. That one looks okay. And I could make it... Blue looks fine to me. The water generator, blah, blah, blah. There's a fizzing station. Uh, I wouldn't count the she shed as a lovable space in the spirit of the challenge. Exactly. Uh, Sims General. Yeah, Sims General is fine. That works. Thank you, Becca. All right. So I think this is good in the spirit of everything. Honestly, just like this. Also, there's like another little shelf that I want to learn how to fabricate. It's so cheap and cute. I love it. It's so good. I'm going to put it right here. Because gosh darn it, that looks really good with their decor. And everything else in here, pretty much like all the furniture is stuff like she made. Had to bed. Bye, Riku. Thanks for coming and hanging with us. I appreciate that. All right. So... She has her own little she shed right now. I've made this um, so the ceiling doesn't really cut through, but I did that um, for the purpose of like the trim on the outsides. And I think it really provides, like brings it all together. But eventually we'll get like the see through roof. But I think it looks cool. Hi. Oh, my God. After a few long months of moving, I hope it went well for you. I'm glad to see you. Where's the bedroom? The bedroom's in here. So this is the actual house here. And then you go upstairs and there's a bed up here and like the loft. So this is actually like a house with it's just like roofs and then like without walls on it. What are the Sims careers? Um, so Ren is a oh, my God, what is it? So she's a master maker. So she's like uh, she works at home. And she does like fabricating stuff off of the freelance career. And then Poppy is a civil designer. They're pretty awesome. I love them. Um, I need to learn how to sell power or water on a utility bill. So surplus power is generated by solar panels and wind turbines can be sold for simoleons at your mailbox. Surplus water can be generated by placing dew collectors or atmosphere condensers on your lot. So like, I wonder if we got, should I get like solar panels? Is that like a roof decoration? Oh God, those are kind of expensive, like 600 simoleons. I feel like that's gonna be like one of the next purchases that we do, one of the next big ones. Um, And then it's here. I don't know if I want it, but like, I just want to look at all the colors. Yeah, I definitely won't. Don't want that right now. <laughs> it's not going to be very good for us at the moment. Um, it's like a dew collector, though. Oh, God, those are like around the same price. So there's like a pro one. That one's so nice. And then this one's like very DIY. I know, isn't it crazy? I love that. You guys are so nice. I appreciate all the support you guys have given. Oh my god, hello. What's Ren doing? She's just in the door, apparently. A roof tile that is solar that makes energy. You think there's a roof tile that's solar and makes energy? Like, are you talking like a roof, like, piece? Water production rating.
The shell-shaped one? Oh, that's a power production rating. Um, hello? I'm gonna switch over to that one. So this one is water, which makes sense. And then I'm gonna make it like black though. So it'll, that actually still looks super good. I was like, I wasn't into the, to the other one, but this actually still looks super good. So I'll take it. I really like it. And we have several different pieces. So like there's a bunch of rating on here now for solar stuff. It's nice. Would you look at that? That's actually really neat. It probably like absorbs the sun and does magical things with it and whatever. Magic. You know how it goes. All right, Poppy, what are you doing? Poppy um, has acquired recycled materials, so we're good here. Awesome. Thank you, Becca. I really appreciate you posting that. What are you doing? I suppose, you know, one other thing that I think I really want you to do is go over here and recycle from inventory. So we're going to do that. I think I want to do the houndstooth die because I don't really like that one. Also, a bunch of this recycled trash pile and some overnight oats. And boom. So one of the next things that I have to do is level up my fabrication skill a little bit more. I wonder what's like next. So seven in fabrication, insects from insect farm. And then create five candles. So candles is, are gonna be like another thing that I do. So I wonder. So I have a bunch of soy that I'd been collecting from like a plant. Remember those eyes are made for an infant? <laughs> Hi, Jem, well, come on in. How you doing today? Make 20 candles, five gigs as a freelance crafter. I think we've completed two. The insects are awful to tend, aw. Yeah, I've never done it yet. This is definitely new to me. So I think tonight, like after they're done kind of doing whatever they're doing, I think we're gonna have the conversation about like potentially having a baby. I know it's like very cramped in here, so maybe we could like stick the baby stuff over here in this little corner in that nook or even like gravitate something over here a little bit more away from these and like open a little piece of this up and have like a little bed. Having trouble in Sims will allow you to type the name in I want. Aw, that stinks. That's weird. Makes me wonder. They are not officially together yet, but I feel like they're U-Haul lesbians. <laughs> Stop it, Poppy. You're being far too peppy. I'm just kidding. I'll have you fabricate stuff. So you've already made things. What are the things could we use for our house? Maybe like a little dining table or something? Because we really don't have a lot. Because we don't have a dining table. But we also have the, the other thing. So a chair. So maybe I'll get like, maybe I'll do like a fabricated outdoor chair for them. Because just a lot of stuff that we already have. Um, so we already have this island. I already have a chair, which I could honestly sell this probably. But another like piece until I can get like a love seat or a couch to bit it, get in here. So we have two places to sit. So I think that's nice. Oh my God, that would be awesome if you could fabricate, fabricate cribs or something. That'd be really cool. So Poppy officially has her own little she shed too. Like, this is very nice. Are you, what are you reading? So good. Um, these are so cute too. I could sell some of those for a little more extra cash. But at this point, I'm kind of wondering if it's worth it at the moment. If we get a child, I gotta do sink baths. This is gonna be tricky, especially while we're kind of like still getting on our feet. <laughs> that is gonna be really tricky. Hmm, I think this is gonna be like the child's room. It's kind of wedged here. I could also do like a... Hi, Missy, how are you? Good to see ya. Um, something like this. I'm gonna sell this.
and sell you and sell you uh gonna move the new world when it's out or no uh them specifically probably not but i have a feeling that like the next generation of sims that we make or the next generation will but i feel like these two are pretty invested in their points in eco lifestyle stuff I'm like living here i don't know okay this is gonna be like a little nook i might put like something in here and i don't know what it's gonna be yet but we could use this as like a little one by two room somehow somewhere i don't know what i want it to be yet but i think it'll be good there's a bookcase or it's a bookshelf there's no books on it so i wonder if i could just like completely craft stuff to put on it maybe hmm I close my game and I open it up and I still can't type in game. Oh, that's weird. Um, hmm. I don't know. Uh, did you try, silly question, did you try rebooting your computer? Could it be mods? It might be. Yeah, you shouldn't, uh, cause did you, did you have all of your, oh my God, Tina. I wonder if we can, we should be friends with Tina Tinker. That would be really cute. Um, did you update all your mods and stuff, Sierra? Cause like pretty much every mod is gonna be broken right now. Unless you updated ones that were like ready to go. Um, and like fixed up for this point. Okay, this is weird. Oh, they're like greeting her through the door. <laughs> it's so weird to see that. Aww. How was your day, Ben? You gave me a gift. Oh, I thought it was gonna be a mean gift for a moment. I'm like, excuse you? <gasps> That's so nice. What did she give you? <laughs> she gave me a common upgrade part. That feels like a very common thing to do, Tina. Oh my god. Okay, so like, let's get to know. <coughs> and leave two that could be updated. Sellable. It could be. Like, they still could be buggy, though. <laughs> MCC is the only major, major mod updated. Okay. Brisham. Oh yeah, like almost. I, I think it's safe to assume that every mod is broken with this update just to how, due to how like massive it is. I would try uninstalling your mods to see if Just that helps, because I know sometimes it can get really... Um... Really hairy. Oh, I wonder. Okay, that's kind of cute. Wait, did she... Oh, wait, no, we fabricated this. Give me a second. Let me go ahead and lay this down, and I think... And so in case you guys didn't know, I've actually started implementing red into everything. I'm actually gonna move this upstairs until we can like make our own bed and stuff like that too. But, um, I'm gonna move this downstairs. Um, cause Poppy, basically Ren is starting to do things all in red because of Poppy. And I think that's really gay and very cute and I love it. Ah, they're so cute together. Um, the more columns mod really messed up my gameplay several updates ago. I thought it would be only if I cast, but nope, it breaks all the things. It does. Yep. It like, the, the, that's the, the tricky thing with like developing is that like one thing impacts all of the things. <laughs> it's very, my brain could not handle it. I know I love how game cute that is, right? Aren't they so cute? I'm so glad that we decided to do lesbians and like the IVF and stuff. It makes, excuse me, it makes my heart so happy. I uh, just broke trying to update and I had no mods in it at all. Oh my God, that stinks. What is going on, Joey? Also, did you see, oh my God, Juby, you would poop yourself too. Did you see what Nova posted about like a mushroom thing? Did you see? 
I'm just saying all of these, I know you're like a castle stand too. Like, oh my God, we are like team castle stuff. Like, bye, bye Martin, see you later. Um, okay, meow. All this Princess Cordelia stuff, hold on. There's like a bunch of stuff in base game. There's Princess Cordelia's single bed. Princess Cordelia's galleon bed. There's a bathtub. There's a vase. This is the royal bust. There's a royal rug. There's a bookcase. Um, and then there's more stuff in... Uh, oh my God, where is it? There's stuff. There's something in Cottage Living. There's Cordelia's secret lot in um, Cottage Living. There's... There's more. Um... There's some things in, in descriptions of stuff, like under, there's a mirror. That was all like base game stuff. So the seed has been there for like however long, eight years now. There is a mirror, I think somewhere. I gotta remember, I think it's here. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't the mirror. There's a mirror somewhere. No, that's Mary Bell, but there's a mirror somewhere. Uh, yeah. There's somewhere in a description of some item and like there's several little things. Uh, Cordelia's. Cordelia is mentioned like everywhere and it's sprinkled throughout. And then there's also like... There's also... like the king's round table or something. And it talks about like a king or something like that. She's downstairs, yup. There's stairs. Late to get my sub share is always boo but I love everyone here. Thank you so much. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for the 10 months, Riot. So it says Princess Cordelia's peasant stairs. After the great sloth invasion, Princess Cordelia was forced to flee her palace with few belongings and take refuge in the country. One of the first places she settled was Henford on Bagley, which is Cordelia's secret lot. Um, and then there's all the stuff that was in base game for years about Cordelia. Uh, updated more Lord of the OG Kindermate stuff. Yup. There's more than I'm just like touching on. There's like stuff hidden throughout like descriptions that you can't like search. But there's so many indications of like Cordelia and princess and knight and all of that. <clears throat> old castle runes on HOB. There are old castle runes on HOB. And there's also like, there's more hours. Yeah, Penny, yep, 616 hours. Yes, oh my God, I'm so excited. Tartosa, um, that is Princess Cordelia. There's also family in Tartosa that is related to Princess Cordelia, and there's a lot near the waterfall and cottage living. Yep. It's the one, uh, there's Cordelia's secret lot, like, at the top. Like, there is a lot of, like, Easter egg things that are kind of, especially, like, even here, like, a little more, like, in this pack. There's something dropped in this pack. There's, like, a lot. There's stairs. There's, like... Now it's gonna bother me. There's an item in cottage living. Let me look. This is gonna bother me and I can't not bring it up now. Show all, cottage living. So this is my theory, this isn't fact. Don't take this as fact. Um, don't let it make you upset if we don't get it, <laughs> of course. But this is my theory. Um, I think we're getting at some point, we're gonna see some sort of like a medieval style thing. Um, here we go. The King's Cookware, the Merlin Forge. This cast iron cookware has been passed down through the Arthur family for nearly 15 generations, ever since he yanked the pot from that stone, which, by the by, turned out to be a pretty fair day for Arthur in the long run, don't you think? Even after being around for, like, a long time, the pot still looks brand spanking new. This is truly a brilliant enchanted piece of iron. Get one for your round table today and live the legend. Um, is a download of Cordelia's family, apparently? Interesting. Um, but there's a legacy tea set. Um, there's all sorts of stuff though. 
point is it? Ah, uh, Windenburg that had ruined. Yeah, that. Uh, I think that's a little different. Maybe I actually don't know. I don't know anymore. That's a good point. At this point, anything could be possible. The gurus are like, we don't leave hints anywhere. And then they do this. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They like to keep us wondering. Because there have been hints to previous packs. Like. Anyway, I think you get the hint, though. But there's a lot of little like things sprinkled throughout all sorts of different packs, including base games since the very beginning. Baby bottles had in dine out, really? Um, oh, monkey hat. There's like a space you missed there. Paranormal plates. Were there plates in paranormal? Where were those paranormal plates? Is there a plate in par like from paranormal or? Bowling bowl bowl. Yeah. Oh, paranormal plates. Yeah, here you go. The middle one right here. Yep. Um, we got paranormal. But yeah, there's like, honestly, one thing I really want to start doing is like looking at all of the tool tips for items. And we're going to look into things when we get to, uh, like when we get the pack on Thursday and I'll sit and read all the tool tips, which is something I want to start doing again, because you can find lots of little tidbits of info in there. Linking back to the Sims Medieval, they've done it before. That's true. They could. Was Cord Cordelia a, um, but also Monkey Hat. Did you see, was Cordelia a person there? Because I don't think it was in the Sims Medieval. Um, but also Nova did post something on Twitter earlier today. Um, that alludes very heavily to fairies. Not this one. So this one, um, the Fungi Reality Incorporated Studio Apartment. The unit is a steel and uh, will not be on the market long. The studio apartment has been hand carved from a wonderful specimen of fungi, cultivated an in-house fungi by Fungi Reality Incorporated for our most miniature of clients. A scenic staircase leads into a spacious front garden that boasts great views of the neighbor's giants, neighboring giant's backyard. The interior comes furnished with adorably sized mycelian furniture. Fungi Reality Incorporated is legally obligated to warn potential renters of danger from unwieldy miniature young versions of giant neighbors and any, any hungry furry beasts that giant neighbors keep as companions. So like Nova posted this earlier. A whimsical things. I know I want all of the whimsical things. Like I was so excited for Realm of Magic, but they went like a very different route than I had in turn in like thought or hoped for. But like I still am very glad that they went with that like very whimsical fun vibe that they did. I really hope there's like fairy fairies horses fairies horses and then um like a medieval style stuff. I'm hoping because I want to be able to build castles and have all sorts of stuff with, with that. Uh, those are not in the game now. That, that fairy thing isn't, oh. but everything else, uh, that like little thing that I just showed wasn't, but everything else that we showed is already in the game. And the, the hints to Cordelia was like ha has been in the game since day one, basically. Yeah. MC Command Center, your mods holder, because I only two mods. Gen oh, what? That's weird, Sierra. Yeah, so really? are you able to type again? Oh, there's some diapers everywhere. There's all over the floor. Oh, no. Oh, no. If you have, um... <sighs> That's hard. Bottles and diapers all over the floor. That's really hard. Um... <clears throat> Ooh, Cordelia, Princess Cordelia. There's a lot of hints towards Princess Cordelia stuff. Fairy thing apartment is in the pack. I saw it on the sim stream. Uh, yeah, the, the fairy apartment thing is in the pack, but it's not out yet. But it's in the pack. That's right. Um, they said it was updated for the patch, but it is typing now, right? Um, they said it was it was hot fixed for the patch. So basically, like they 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 said there still could be errors from what I heard from other people. And what they said. Dang, I'm so glad it's typing now though, but that is still so frustrating. Dang it, this update really did a lot to, for so many people.
I feel like Tina Tinker is gonna be like a really good friend of ours. Small talk. Brighton day in love with infants. I know, I think they're so cute. I'm very excited. I'm so excited for this. Hey, Bruce. Oh, Dad, Dad. Camus, Zamona Sarah. Ah, no face, please. Give me one second here. Uh, we're going to take a quick ad break, you guys. I will be right back. Hold tight. Um, will you be doing the one how to baby challenge second half after the pack? Yeah, yeah. Um, I do have intentions depending on like how things are like broken or if like we can figure out how we want to progress with rules or make rules to make it work. I do want to to see like what infants would be because like right now it's at such a point where like you can age up toddlers as soon as they hit level three in all skills. But like we have to figure out what parameters we need to do for infants. Maybe try however many foods or something. Crystal, I'll see you later. Thank you so much. Like milestones or something like that, right? Infants are infants for. I think they're at least a normal lifespan. I think it's seven days. I don't know otherwise. Oh, just don't know if I want to spoilers. Uh, no, no spoilers, please. Um, milestones. Oh, milestones part of the pack. I think milestones are pack. That was in the live stream, at least. I see what you're saying now. Uh, are milestones in the pack? I think. I think they were. Hi. Hi, Mimi. Hi. Are you a good girl? She's so pretty. Hello. Uh, what kind of cat is that? She is a chartreux kitty.
I know, seriously. The window's open. Isn't she so cute? You can see like the stripies on her tail though. Just a little bit. They're like very light stripes. No, there's a there's a screen there, so they don't jump out. They just sit there and peer out the window. Hey, indoor kitty cats. However, when they first discovered like that their like screens were like a thing, that start that uh they were like pawing at it, trying to figure out what was going on. Milestone should have been base game. I can see some stuff in the pack, but milestone should have been base game. Yeah. I agree with you there. It feels strange to have such like a big mechanic in, in the pack, but also it, it's also kind of like what else was there would there be in the pack? Whips. I know if, if it wasn't a screen, like she would be on the roof and like in the tree. She'd be gone. <laughs> she's a she's a very explorative cat. At least one changing table, right? I do agree with the, the the changing table on base game though. I wonder if that'll come like in an SDX drop at some point. Kind of exactly. My sons are kind of the point of the pack. That's fair. That's such a good point. Tina asked to leave. Sim is already leaving. Okay. I'll see you later, Tina. Bye. People seem upset about the infants. Aw. I mean, I think it's like, no matter what way, like no matter how good or bad, I feel like most game so, so. developers or communities do on things with like updates and whatnot. I feel like there's always gonna be someone who hates it or like a group of people that are just like absolutely terrible and like have no positive input towards it. That's unfortunately the case here, I feel, too. Growing together milestones are a waste grow. Exactly. Yeah, that's fair, Kayla. That's a very good point. Uh, the clubs are the point of get-together. That is so fair, though. That is a very good point, Cassie. I didn't even think about it that way. That makes sense. There are big gameplay features reserved for packs. Very good point. Kids, bikes, or bat pack or base game? Uh, I don't know. I think maybe pack, but I'm not sure. Packs of the bikes, uh, with the, uh, the kids' bikes. Got it. Okay, that makes sense. That's kind of neat, though. I know we have base game cribs that I kind of wish we had some matching base game changing tables. That would be awesome if we did, because they gave us, like, those things. Haven't been able to afford the last several packs, so I'm missing a ton of gameplay, like weddings, high school, and werewolves, and I can save up until I can save up for them. I'm just playing The Sims 3. It feels weird playing Sims 4 when I can't play the content I want. It's just kind of sad. Yeah, well, that's unfortunate. I don't know. We kind of talked earlier about how we wish that there were a lot more. Like, I wish there were a lot more, um, or a lot cheaper. I wish there was like 30 US dollars per expansion pack instead of 40 kind of thing. The changing table? I agree with the changing table, right? Yeah, I, I, it makes sense for milestones to be in the pack, though. Like, now that we like, Cassie really... That makes a lot of sense. I feel like we don't have a lot of base game content for them. And sure, we have a couple of cute little outfits, toys and cribs and clutter, but I feel like people who don't have the money for the pack's short end of the stick, right? Yeah, unfortunately. It does really sink, though. Uh, no, we don't have changing tables yet. Um, they're coming in the pack on Thursday. Wait for sales, plus it gives them time to fix anything as well. Exactly. Um, and they're pretty pricey expansions. I would at least be better if they had more sales rather than like a few times a year. Right. Well, new packs aren't don't go on sale for a while, though. <sighs> Is it may seem free now? Uh, that was it's free now completely because they would do like free weeks and stuff, but now they have that. Yeah, exactly, Meller. We were talking about that earlier too. Like The Sims 4 is over like a thousand dollars US dollars or something right now if you start fresh. Like I just don't think that's very good either. Like I'm 
Definitely, team. Like, please make this cheaper. <laughs> it's like, if you break it up over the last eight years, it's like 112 or something dollars a year or something, which honestly for like a hobby is like perfect. That's great. But it still sucks. Honestly, I would pay for a subscription with packs and updates, but already pay for a club thing and get a 10% discount, right? Because isn't that the EA Play thing? Yeah, Eden's right, for sure. Um, I don't, uh, how do I want to say? I, as someone with a platform, the only, ca the only place that I can confidently, like, support people downloading things just because I don't know if they're like legitimate or not if that makes sense the only place that I can confidently like suggest is EA or like Amazon and getting your codes off of there or buying like the thing in store some of the older packs and expansions should definitely be cheaper if they go on sale but sometimes it's just not worth it mm -hmm. um some packs go on sale during Black Friday yeah yep yeah, Black Friday is a really good time to get it and now I don't think, I don't know if you can like bundle things the way that you used to be able to, because I think they have like pre-selected bundles and whatnot, I think. Some people use CD keys. Yeah, like I don't know if it's, I hear it's kind of risky, but I don't know. So I don't like to suggest it to people because I don't confidently know if it's like 100% safe. They have bundles still? Okay. Can you like select them? Oh, but the bundles are kind of preset. Okay, I thought the bundles are preset. Cause I know in Origin, I don't know. I don't. I haven't. I haven't been able to like purchase them in bundles and stuff. Um, because I buy them one at a time. Oh, there's an option to make your own. Okay. Uh, for giveaways. Uh, I'd have to ask her. I think she gets codes from EA, but it depends on if they're that our own disclosure too, though. If that makes sense. I'm not sure though. Um, yeah, because I know Origins did, right? Humble One and G2A are the best options for redemption codes. Okay. Huh. So, so. Thank you for the follow. Welcome on in. The newest expansion packs aren't included exactly because they're just too new, so they don't go like on sale and stuff like that. Because I know, like, sometimes there's really shady ways like basically when you buy from some of those websites um sometimes they those codes that they generate are pirated so like when you're purchasing off those websites it's a really good idea to understand how they obtain their codes and stuff and why are they discounted the way that they are um because sometimes when you redeem codes and like if essentially how do i want to say your account could get banned if it's linked to a fraudulent code that was pirated or that was generated somewhere. Um, like that. <laughs> I've seen like this, I've seen this stuff kind of happen before. So it's always good to exercise caution with that. I'm not saying there's like anything bad about something or that you're gonna get like a fraudulent code somewhere, um, but just make sure that's like also an issue with that. Um, with some of those websites though. Because I remember that happening to, uh, it happened to someone that I know. Yeah, I think EA sends Simsy codes. I, I like, I'll, I'll, I can ask her to see like what she uses for giveaways, but I think EA does send codes though to her uh, when she does giveaways. But that's not to say that she does one on her own per se. Like I just, I've never caught that before, but um, I'd have to ask her. Um, for a humble bundle, they say script subscription based, so a little more reliable. And I personally haven't had issues, but would definitely still be safe. Yeah, exactly. Yep. But like with those bun, like basically what I'm saying, uh, gets them from EA, Amazon, and CD. He's got it. Okay, I am a mod for Simsy, yes, and I'm one of her friends. <clears throat> yeah, CD keys. Okay, yeah, I'll have to ask her because I know for sure like Amazon is a good one. But anyway, moral of the story though, it's always good like to exercise caution when you're buying from those sites where it is like a perceived discount on things because sometimes, like I said, they pirate and they like make up codes and then it's fraudulent. So that's why they can sell them at such a discount kind of thing too and still make a profit because they're codes that they just... <laughs> 
Uh, oh, for tiny tweak to science babies. Ooh, wait, really? Hmm, I'll check it out. Smarty Day for sales, and they do like a month pre-order, which is when uh, more than some games offer. Ooh. But yeah. Yep, Simsy is one of my friends, though. I love her so much. Yeah. But I, whenever I do giveaways, it's always, um, it's always, uh, what's it called? Amazon and stuff. Cause I, I'm not an EA person. Like I don't have like the EA creator program thing. Um, if it's fraudulent is from the EA, uh, if it's fraudulent, if it's fraudulent, is it from the EA app? No. The EA app is the, f the official tried and true 100%. This is the game that you're getting off it. Cause it's their program. Anywhere off of Amazon, like Amazon and the EA app are like the two absolute yes. And of course, like in a store like Walmart or like Target or whatever, where you can buy a game are going to be safe. But like any other website that's not EA or Amazon or Target or Amazon or Target or like Walmart. Um, uh, yes, Steam. Sorry, Steam. Meanwhile, thank you. I always forget that Steam has the Sims. Steam. Steam is also good. Thank you for reminding me that Steam exists for Sims because I always just use Origin. <laughs> Steam is good. Um, that's legitimate. But any of those like third party, like, oh, you can get like this expansion pack for $30, like when it's not on sale kind of thing, like that's dangerous. Um, or it could be, depending on how they get the codes. Um, right? I know Sunshine, right? I'm like, oh yeah. <laughs> like I've used Steam for a really long time, but I always forget that it's a thing. Hi, mermaid. How are you? Yeah, Steam is is wonderful. And that's like an officially supported thing um, by them. Who was shocked when they give the kid away for free? I wonder what uh, what uh, what the reason was behind that. Uh, just because. Honestly, just to celebrate community. Right before they made the game free, the people who had already paid for the game didn't feel left out exactly. Yeah, that's an important thing. I got a bundle of the actual app, um, a bundle off of the actual app. Oh yeah, the EA app is like, yep, the most, honestly, arguably the most direct way that you could do. Uh, yeah, yeah, monkey hat. It's like, it's sometimes if you have a game that's like on the Epic Games launcher and you buy it on Steam and then it still like uses it. So Steam's just kind of like a way to purchase it. And then it's still like, I don't know, confuses me. <laughs> you know, it's very weird. Um, oh, a friend came over and tried to make me almond butter cookies. So I have peanuts. That's so nice, though. MacBook so you still use Origin, right? I wonder when they're going to do the EA app on Mac. Uh, it is, it is so much easier to get refunds off of Steam. That is so fair. I've heard that and I've seen that. Very good point, meanwhile. EA is not friendly. <laughs> EA be doing EA things. I love, like, the Maxis part of EA. So, like, all the people that work on The Sims and The Sims team and everything. But EA owning them as a company really sucks. So much. And I hate it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You're getting, I know, I'm getting used to it too, Salem. Um, It allowed me to do double purchase back on more than one occasion. Really double purchase a pack on more than one occasion? Really, the EA app did or Steam? The boys bought $300 for the games on the PlayStation and it was impossible to get refunded. It kept getting an error on the website. Oh my God, that sucks. Was it like an accidental purchase or something? Or did they just go crazy and not ask? I know, ouch on the double play for sure. Oh, that's very nice of your friend to do that though, mermaid. We are making some really cute story progression pieces in our legacy challenge. And I'm gonna play, I'm, I'm gonna go to bed early. I'm gonna pass out so hard. I stayed up till 3.30 in the morning playing Zelda last night, you guys. And I didn't fall asleep till like five. Exactly. Right. Exactly. Yeah. I'm curious to see, like, because that would honestly help if I can use, like, if I'll have to look into it to see if, like, CD keys is something that to see how they get their codes and how they source their codes, because I don't want to give a code away to someone and, like, have EA do, like, a sweep and then have someone banned. Because I've had that happen to someone before. Or not to someone, but I've heard of someone getting, like, having that happen to them before. Um, 
Steam isn't afraid to show the price of it all, like the EA app, and they literally list it all for like 900, is that pounds? I'm so American. It hurts sometimes. That's not pounds, that's pounds, right? I think tag at you and no shame, right? It's just there. Bye, Salem. See you later. Bye, Sims lover. I'll see you later. I hope to see you tomorrow. I love you. Have a good one. See, okay, I was like, wait, uh, <laughs> I know Euros is like the E with the little stripey, stripey things. I'm so good at stuff. Y'all, it's it's amazing. I'm so painfully American. I'm just kidding. I'm so pain so painful. Please help. We're not doing good over here. Uh, cat. You can't really see him, but there's a cat there. You can tell because of the way that it is. Hi. You dollars a Canadian, right? Hi, Ciara. Yeah, that's the Euro sign, I think. For the longest time, you know how in Pokemon they use like the little P with the two stripes? I thought that was the sign for yen, the Japanese yen. For the longest time when I was younger. Because I played Pokemon, you know, and it, it just, it made sense. <laughs> cat connects to the butt, booty cat. So cat, exactly. Cute bird. Hi. He's so handsome. Hi, handsome man. American streamers in the UK, if nobody in America streamed, I'd be bored at two and a half in the morning, right? <laughs> oh, it's so true. I feel that. Hi, Kyber. Such a sweet kitty. Found the yen. There it is. <laughs> yeah, on the Poke Bucks one, it's just like a P instead of a Y. And then the two stripes below it. I thought that was yen for the longest time. Listen, I was in like kindergarten when that came out, when that game came out. <laughs> no shame out with Pokemon, I did too. Monkey hat, I see. I feel so seen. <laughs> I love this. It's so good. Um, Y'all, last night we beat Ocarina of Time and I'm so excited because now we're starting Majora's Mask. So I've been playing that a little bit as well. So like I mainly play The Sims, if you guys are new here, and then I play a lot of Ocarina of Time. On Saturday, I'm planning something with my moderator Chi and good friend Chi. So I'm gonna be doing something with her on Saturday. And then um, 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 uh, probably Majora's Mask. You can't for Majora's Mask, really? Or you can't wait or you can't like watch for that, you mean? I'm so excited. Ocarina of Time was so good. Oh, can't wait for it, right? Hi, Sammy. Welcome on in. Nice to meet you. Or nice to see you. Hello. I know you've been here before. Hi. Hello. <laughs> um, so I started it a little bit the like last night for some stupid reason at two in the morning. And I'm gonna restart it again. Cause like I just barely like I did a little bit, but I know there's like a lot of community members that want to be here for that and see it and I want to do it. No, not now. I'm I'm pretty tired. I fell I was streaming last night until 3:30 and then I didn't fall asleep till 5 and then I woke up at like 10:30 11 o'clock and I'm just like <laughs> It is a very long stream time. It was crazy. I never had a chance to see my major gameplay. I love that Garris. So, um after I'm done streaming, all of the vods for the gameplay will be on YouTube. I just can't download things when I'm streaming because my internet goes Bleh. bye see you later tank thanks for hanging but this week is base this core week is basically going to be like sim 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 sims because of the updates and stuff that are coming in the game pack i streamed for 14 hours yesterday and it didn't feel like it i'm your gamecube and on and off so my favorite one made nice this is my first time going through it i'm excited it's so interesting Majora's Mask is so different. Oh my God, I'm so excited for the pack. Um, 1.30 my time and you just have getting off. I was like, ma'am, right? I'm like, I'm definitely not addicted or anything. Genuinely though, I'm actually having like so much fun with streaming. And it was so, it's so addicting. Two late streams. It was like noon to midnight and then noon to like three in the, three in the morning or something. 2.33 in the morning. so excited. I can't wait. 
I wanted to beat it before the pack came out, and I succeeded. We made sure that happened. <clears throat> 3.30 for you, 4 a.m. It was 4 a.m. for you, right? And then I somehow still wanted to do Majora's Mask stuff afterwards. I think I just wanted to keep going, but didn't think about it. <laughs> At that point, I wasn't even really being productive because my brain, I was just so tired. I'm just like, nah, just not thinking of things properly or doing things as best I could. <sighs> you know how that goes. All right. So if you guys don't know, this is an uncapped subathon. So I am going to go get some rest because I'm actually tired. Um, Get into the zone. It's, it is, which isn't it? Um, I didn't. I got like maybe four hours of sleep last night. I wish. Um, yeah, exactly. Like after a long time, my brain is just mushy, 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 mushy. <laughs> so I'm going to do a few things here. So I play Twitch VODs when I'm not streaming, like when I'm sleeping and stuff like that. So I hope you guys will leave a lurk because it does help. I really appreciate you. Um, I'll be back probably around like maybe noon central tomorrow. I'm probably, uh, I've been running late the last couple days because of the fact that like I've been playing so much Zelda at night. Whoops. It's my bad. It's kind of fun. Um, exactly right. I need to like rest up a little bit. So if you guys don't know, hold on, I need to look. Um, we'll play more whimsy stories tomorrow. I'm feeling it. Thursday's gonna be a big day. Lurk. Uh, so how do you get, uh, or how do you get out of one? Um, just be lurking is just hanging out in the stream and like lurking in the shadows. Like you're not saying anything, but you're there. You know, you're just watching. <laughs> you're just lurking. Um, so you just leave the stream on. You can like mute it and stuff, but just make sure the stream is playing and then it helps. It helps the stream and stuff. So I really appreciate you guys. I love our lurkers. I'm a lurker. Leave and stream on while doing other things, exactly. Or you could uh, leave the sound on if you want, if you want to listen, have something in the background or mute it if you don't. But all of it helps. Um, so how? How many seconds until noon tomorrow? Um, falling asleep to the videos, I love that. Thank you so much for that monkey, that's amazing. I'm gonna get myself all set up here. So tomorrow is day 15. I'm gonna go ahead and just set that over. Day 15, we're over two weeks, you guys. Straight, this is amazing. Bye, Sky. see you later. Thanks so much for coming and hanging. Joseph Dissef and woke up to Dr. Glue and it scared me. He's great, right? <laughs> He's like, whoa! I know, day 15. So nuts. All right, if you guys are unfamiliar um, with how this works, it just looks like this. That's all. Um, And the script. Here we go. Uh, that and boom! So the timer at the top is the countdown until I am back. Um, And then I play videos for you guys in the background. It almost makes me look not in the background. Um, so boom, here you go. You guys can enjoy um, some of this madness. It's 100 baby challenge stuff. This is episode eight. So I'll see you guys tomorrow at noon central. I hope you have a good evening. Thank you so much for all of the fun tomorrow and we're or today. And, and also tomorrow preemptively, but we're going to play the more whimsy stories and I will see you later. Have a good one. Bye. Love you.